Hello, everybody. Hello. Morning. Thank you for joining us this uh, Sunday, <laughs> this uh, Googly, December Googly. 17th. There we go. Yeah. So anyway, uh, thanks for everybody joining us this morning. And you know, uh, like a big demo that I usually am, uh, I forgot to switch to the 5G. So let me do that. You guys are still going to be here. I'm going to be fading in and out just for a second here. And then we'll continue here. Because if I don't do it, we're going to have problems. So let me get it. Uh... Don't make fun of Martin's glasses. They're prescription glasses. He has to wear these. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, Ryan. Francois. And I'm back. There we go. All right. <laughs> That's right. Nice, Christmas nice glasses, week. Martin. <laughs> Dave, what happened? You were gone for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I know, huh? <laughs> now we're good. In the there stream. Go. All right. So, yeah. So, anyway, again, thanks, everybody, for joining me today in the chat and uh, here in person. I really appreciate it. And, uh, of course, uh, I believe uh, tonight is also a retro roundup. So, some of us will be on there. Um so anyway, yeah. So uh, yeah. So uh, Garth, what pray tell are you doing today? Optical drive stuff. Lots of stuff. I have a whole list of stuff. <laughs> All Optical right. drive, Mac Pro stuff. We've got MacBook Airs. Did you get the stickers <laughs> off those MacBook Airs? Ouch! I did it. It came out perfect. You st you didn't see that one, did you? Did I show you that one? Mm -hmm. Really bad one. Yeah. Anyway. Not the anyway. Hello Kitty one, right? Okay. Oh, okay. God, okay. No, no, not that one. Okay. <laughs> right. That one's big. <laughs> hey, Martin, how are you doing today? What are you working on today, sir? Uh, I'm just trying to uh, fix some hard drives. <laughs> <laughs> the hard drive I'm saga. There you go. Mess around with my real white G3. Ah, there you go. Fun to machine mess around with. And uh, Frederick, what are you up to today, this morning, sir? A few things, uh, not necessarily in that order, but yesterday I acquired a uh, iMac uh, G4, you know, the lamp one. Uh, and I'm going to look at that, see if it works. And i um, also going to continue um, with my TRS-80 Model 3 repair, recapping it. Uh, something that I started last week, but mm -hmm. had to leave. And um, I'll just do a little video editing so I can uh, e publish my uh, first video in the series of the 63. Mm, nice. And uh, we have, we're joined by Starbuck Ted. Jason, how are you doing this morning, Jason? Doing good, doing good. You know, got the whole nah going on today. That's what I felt like today because it's raining. Don't feel like doing anything. Uh. So I was like, nah. <laughs> uh. And for me, I got all kinds of stuff here to tinker around with today um, and some stuff that's an ongoing project. Uh, and I also got my kit for our next uh, group build there. That's the um, uh, component tester. Oh, Same one Bruce trying to do. I already have one, but uh, we're, I'm going to build this other one here. When and are then, we doing uh, it? Uh, the the, the be uh, next uh, be the thirty first because I'm not going to be streaming uh, next yeah. Sunday at the twenty fourth but the thirty first yeah okay. I clearly didn't get the memo for that one oh he didn't oh go, no. go, go. resend the link well you got you got you got Dave, time. did you go see to, him uh, I thought Will Will told you. <laughs> Oh, here we go. The finger point. Oh, he did. No, he did. No, he did. Martin, Who Martin, this anyway? Martin's embarrassed to admit he spent all his money on these comical glasses. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this one's a bit lazy. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, you got lazy eye. There yeah. you go. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, uh, it was on uh, Bruce's stream, the last one he did, uh, mm. that kit on there. He's got a link. Go to his last stream. Click the link. It'll take you right to Amazon and order it up. I, I got mine like in two days. Yeah, so. yeah probably Judging my history my because I've seen it before on Amazon. Yeah. Judging by my last group project, I, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> That's fine. You'll I, learn. I that you in have the bin. Dips in the right direction. 
what could go wrong? I think the chip's already on it. Uh, that's the good news. See, it's, it's already soldered yeah. on it, I think. So you're good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's not. <laughs> so anywho. Yeah. Your plugs are acting wonky here. But anyway, yeah. So, um, and if you guys saw my uh, last video. Uh, part one. About this one here. Uh, yes, there'll be a part two. I, I was supposed to have that logic board Friday, but for whatever the reason, it didn't show up. So anyway, as soon as I get oh, that, we'll be doing that. Because what I did not mention in the video is I do have a dead USB port, the one that I plugged that thing into. Mm. And this thing is this. And so this does boot up, but the internal monitor is not working. I I can roll over to the external monitor. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I know it jacks something up on the board here, on the main board. But at least it is booting up. Um, but uh, it's it doesn't act right. Let's just say the behavior is different than it normally is. Um, well, if it's missing a USB port and it can't see it, then it's going to cause its system instability. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, and I'm hoping that this one that I'm getting, they said it was tested, it works. You know how things are on eBay. Uh, as Justin would say, uh, things that he later, eBay the place he, he later regrets later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, eBay regrets. So it, yeah. <laughs> had a lot but, of those. Uh, yeah, but you know, I must say, I've, I, I've only ever had one issue with eBay. Uh, uh, and I'll knock on wood here. I got good, good solid wood here to knock on. But anyway, uh, we'll see. We'll cross our fingers. It does have an i7 processor on it. We'll see if it works. Oh, I, I can, uh, if it, for some reason, if it doesn't work, I could always pull the processor off of this one and stick on that one. So, yeah. Hmm. We'll see. It's socketed. It's not, not welded hey. on there. So, yeah. Gives you something to tinker with. <laughs> My first hard drive has nearly completed scanning for bad blocks. It's good so far. You going to come up here, Bob? Get your fluffy butt up here. So anyway. my main Mac, right. my iMac, it's hard drive this week, <laughs> which is a fusion drive. Like the one you have in yours, Dave, only it's newer. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, oh, no. So it just stop booting. The system stopped booting. It was like stall, 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 stall. And um, really, I couldn't wear it. Anyway, long story short, after mucking with it for a very long time, trying to very carefully not destroy data, uh, definitely was having some uh, issues with the hard drive. So I, I actually ended up getting an external USB uh, SSD drive just to use temporarily as its drive. Mm -hmm. I don't want to buy another Mac right now. I didn't really want to take it apart either because it's like, I don't want to waste money on this stupid thing. Um, so I think I can use the external drive. Why do you have to buy another one? That the, the tinker. No, I want to, I'm really wanting to get a new Mac. Um, something that's like, like much more powerful for that um, to do video editing and things. But oh, it's just nothing too. available right yet I want to do or spend money on. So. Um, uh, are you going to succumb to the M series? Studio. Guys? He's going to go get a studio. Oh, yeah. I, I need a, um, I'm going to get a, um, I don't know, maybe probably a Mac Studio. Or I'm, I'm going to see what happens yep. comes out this year. I just don't know. Just don't get a Mac Pro. Nope. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> no definitely not. Say. That was a waste of space. All that empty <laughs> space inside the new Mac Pros. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love an Intel one just for, I don't know. Looking oh, yeah. At no, it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's one of those. Wait, one. Well, the ones that cost right. a house and get it for a yeah. discount of like maybe a half a house. We will be able to afford a 2019 Mac Pro in about 20 years. Yeah, actually, I, Ooh, I, I suspect it made me sooner. I like chime sounds. You could use your uh, trash can Mac Pro there, Garth. Yeah. No, oh, that you have one of those? That one's, I've determined yeah, already that that thing's come down already. Slow. Right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Will. Are you, do, they, do they make a M3 studio yet? No, that's one of the reasons why I'm waiting. Ah, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I suspect they will skip M3 to the studio and go straight to M4. But, uh, I we'll doubt see. it. They'll probably well, make one, and then the M2s and M1s will, you know, go down in price. I mean, the M1 TSMC. is still a very powerful system. You could probably get those dirt cheap right now. Yeah. TSMC have just demoed two Ow. nanometer um, processors, um, so the M4 might not be that far away. Mm. Yeah, the way they've been releasing those uh, M, M processors, yeah, it, it's probably not going to be too, too long. But I honestly think they just need to slow down a smidge and let people actually use their current devices for a few years before <laughs> trying to suck well, them nope. out of somebody else. Otherwise, it doesn't sell. <laughs> I've, 
got um, I've got an M2 Pro, and I'm quite happy with that. And I have no plans to upgrade that for the next five, six years. So I have a regular, boring old stock uh, minus the uh, RAM upgrade, M1 Mac Mini, and, and I mean I don't do anything fancy pantsy on it, other than you know tinkering with Mac stuff. But it it uh, <laughs> it uh it, I mean it will work beautifully if I wanted to do video editing or you know I did a, some photo editing on it. But other than that. It was yeah, beautiful. I yeah, they are good. The, the only <laughs> the only issue that I found with the M series, like Mac Minis or the uh, base base model IMAX, is that for some reason, and I don't know why, if you hook more than two cameras up to the to USB, it will not detect them. It won't let you use them at the same time. Are they the same name brand cameras? No, I've got different ones, and it will not work at all. Is it uh, directly connected to the device's device, or is it using a hub? I've tried both the hub and using a, an adapter from USB-C to USB-A, and it still doesn't make any difference. So in the end, I've had to go back to my 2010 um, and Mac Pro. the hub, was it powered or not powered? Um, I've tried a powered one and an unpowered oh, one, no, both by Anchor, weird. and yeah, it just doesn't work. I think really the cap was my mute button here. I don't know whether it's a Sonoma thing or whether it's tied to the know. Apple Silicon. I've got no idea. Or whether it's just a limitation it. with the USB. I had issues um, with um, my Air yeah. when I had too many cameras and stuff and it was getting kind of wonky. Um, okay. I was using a, um, like a regular USB 3 hub. Switch, not switch, a hub, a powered hub. <laughs> anyway, the point is, is um, yeah, I actually ended up, but it was, it was fine. It was, it was just something basically was getting kind of slow and, and flaky, right? I actually ended up getting a CalDigit Thunderbolt dock, and that thing is freaking awesome. Um, I mean, you can just put cl cram so much shit into it, so it's, it works really well. <laughs> um, I've seen mm -hmm. it for sale, too, actually, um, yep. used for fairly cheap. They're not cheap, though, if you buy them brand no. new. It's like 100, and, I think they're like two something. Yeah, my, I think it was 289, but it's yeah. freaking mm -hmm. awesome. I mean, it has all these ports on adapters, and so I mean, I don't have to have any adapters of this stupid thing, so. Mm. Um, yep, I, it's, I was doing research for my Mac. Um, here for a dock and because you know that doesn't give you that many they don't give you that many usb ports on these things and um yep that was one of the docks i was looking at and i was looking at the price and it's like nope not for just for tinkering that's like mm -hmm. another that's like a whole mac right there yeah i, I figured well, uh, um, i figured i definitely okay. be able to use it in the future too oh you will so. yeah because <laughs> you do yeah. you know multiple camera things and everything else so yeah well, I'm, I'm kind of like Garth. I'm I'm waiting to see what they come out with because I, I I really do want to get an M series Mac, um, and I'd love to do that for the video editing. But I, but you know, like like I said, this one I've already Garth. I've already used this one for uh, 4K uh, <laughs> rendering, and it it does work. Unlike this one, when I do 4K. This one turns off for a minute and it turns back on because the processor is like ramping up full blast on it, you know, trying to process. It literally or this off. one, yeah, it will actually shut down. I got to hit the button and it turns it back on, like it goes to sleep, okay? And it'll uh, turn back on. It okay. now, it doesn't lose anything, but it takes a darn long time to render the video. <laughs> this one doesn't do that. It, it'll do it. It doesn't shut off. <laughs> wow, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know. Think, well, you know. I mean, this has got what, like the first or second Gen i five in it. So, I mean, you know, poor thing's just, you know, um, having convulsions here. You know, trying to. I mean, and it's got the SSD in it. It's got internal uh, M SATA in it on the, on the main board too. Um, but yeah, just it just ten eighty p no problem. You do it all day long. But boy, I think the iMac is just sad because it's, it's being held together by tape. <laughs> well, there's a reason for that. <laughs> I, I think I've just fixed my G3, so that is my content for today. So see you later, guys. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just got this optical drive working. I'm done. Yeah, sure, All right, sure. see you later. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting to fix the G3 as quickly as I have. Um, weird. Absolutely. Well, what did you do? Um, to you it? could always break it and start over. <laughs> I, I put I put a SCSI card in it, but for some reason it wouldn't boot from the SCSI card. So um, thanks to Ron of Ron's computer videos, he uploaded a archive to the garden with all the firmwares for all the Adaptec cards that we can flash. 
Um, oh, really? Um, wow, how yeah. cool. Nice. So on this nice. particular card, it required a 1.2 firmware for it to boot on a G3 or later. Um, so I had to update the card, and it's working fine. Is yours a 2940? No, this is the 21... No, yeah, 21960. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the long uh, PCI-X, the 64-bit hey, well. one, oh, cool. with the 50-pin um, and the two 68-pin connectors on. So, yeah. Mm. You can boot it OS 9, eh? That's nice. Uh, it's working. So now I could benchmark it, I benchmark, guess. Benchmark, benchmark. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's what's going to well, this works. Cool. So you just take the old drive out that's broken, you put a new one in, and it works. <laughs> Who'd have guessed I, I think I actually might cut it. <laughs> when I get bored later, I might actually take apart the sketchy drive. And I don't bother repairing the old drives like Garth does. I just buy new SATA ones and buy the adapters and stick them in. <laughs> Good old SATA. Trusty, trusty old SATA. <laughs> All right, so I'm kind of done with that for right now. What I need to do. Maybe I need to get my capture card working. That might be a good idea. I may try and do that now. Just put my capture card out yeah. instead of trying to pull the camera at the screen. Yeah. That would probably be uh, easier on you and down, down the road. Yeah. So we got, looks like we got Will added into the chat. Yeah, he's in Florida at the moment, so he won't be able to oh, yeah. Hello, Floridian, yeah. for the moment. <laughs> and uh, Martin, I put that link in the private chat for you on that thing, uh, Bruce, as, just in case oh, you're interested. Oh, that little kit okay, thing? Okay, so yeah. what you're saying is, is I need to spend money. Uh, Only yeah. if you want to. <laughs> Only if you want to. He's not going to twist your arm. Twist. No, twist, no, no twist. pressure. All right. So what That's does this right. do exactly? Oh well, here I'll, I'll. When you have one assembled, it'll look kind of like that. This one works on battery. Oh, or you another plug case. In. So goody. And you Ooh, get the what? acrylic case. Yeah, but this is this is very very handy. You put unknown. It does surface mount components. Uh, it's got a little RF generator on there, so you could uh, output RF if you want. Um, and you can, if you've got uh, anything that's unknown, you can stick it in there and it will tell you what it is and the value of it pretty darn close. So, okay. it, so, if, so if you've got no markings on the components, you stick it in there. It says, well, this is a electrolytic cap, or this is a ceramic cap. Uh, and it gives you the, the value of it and stuff. So it works pretty good. It like I can get them here. Oh, it's a Mac Pro. Mm. Will it even fit on the uh, table? <laughs> you get a little little wiggle room there. Very a little. little. Bit. I can I can get them, but I can only get them assembled. I can't buy kits. Oh really? Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, that'll so save you time, I, I guess, if you get it assembled. Well, look what I did! <laughs> it didn't go so into bin this time. I think I'll search just for find the, uh, something else to build. Dave, do a search for the LED glasses. Remember those? Oh, on um, Bruce's thing? Yeah, I saw yeah. that, yeah. Because we were even talking about that. Martin can build one of those. The LED glasses, yeah. Heck yeah, go mm. with those other goofy glasses. Let's see, let me go to let me go to Amazon here. I mean, there's like a bazillion of those anyway. I mean, honestly, yeah. the, the testing kit too, you could probably find on LA. Yeah, I'll have, I'll have a look, I'll have a look. But no pressure, obviously. Uh, pasta. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's see uh holy cow there's a bunch of them hey this one looks like yeah, the one that like jordy has from star trek that's pretty cool <laughs> trekking across the universe let's see it's star wars <laughs> wow they got man they got all kinds of uh glasses wow. you'll have to send me a link oh yeah let me to the... It's fun. I can literally look in there and see the. Uh... All right, where, where in? Ooh, kind of makes me want to tinker with my old Mac Pro. 
I don't even know. how there's this connector in here. It literally looks like an M, M SATA connector or something. But I think it's for Bluetooth. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm looking at all the different ones here. Yeah, there's just a bunch. I don't know, whatever one. But you could probably just give a link and then tell them to look for one of those type of ones. It doesn't have to be that one, obviously, because there's a bunch of them. Yeah. What version of so Mac OS you running on that bad boy? Cool this is Leopard. Nope, it's not Leopard. I'm going to I think what I'm going to do. I have my oh, old I server. Upstairs. I could work on. I might do that. And I want to transfer what? all the guts in it over to this one because the power supply of that one's dying. <laughs> and it's easier to transfer transfer everything into this brand new one. I don't know. Board wise and everything. No, no, I'm just going to, I mean, all the drives and stuff. I'm just gonna, oh, gonna I got you. Instead. I, um... The other one I have is, uh, I don't know how to say it, older. <laughs> it's older. Let's just, let's just say that. <clears throat> I'd rather use this one. <clears throat> All right, you want to put this in? Uh, copy link. Oh, I need a HDMI cable. Really? Mac OS Snow Leopard. Oh, that's a long link. Wow. Well, here, here, here's the ginormous link I sent you, Martin. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you got every letter on there. Oh, God, this thing fills up like half the thing. <laughs> it's giving away Dave's location. <laughs> I just clicked it. It, it, ta it takes you to the page, so it does work. All right. It's a... Uh, it looks like it, you can program some stuff on it too, which is cool. It's Bluetooth. That's pretty neat. Well, this is for the thirty first, right? Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, let's see, what's the price? Thirty one ninety five. Uh, free shipping if you have Amazon Prime. Oh, he's asking a date. I think what date? What stream? Oh, the it's going to be on the thirty first. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. And hopefully it'll get you know arrive on time, considering the, the holidays always slow down shipping because of. What well, says it? What well, says arrives before Christmas, so December nineteenth. Yes, yeah, so that's what they say. Yeah, what does they the lie, actual shipping companies say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. When you once it gets into the property or not the hands, rather not the property, but the hands of like UPS or USPS or whatever the case may be. Um, this time of year, those those services sometimes get a little behind. I, I added it to my cart, so that way I won't forget. Uh, there we go. All right. Okay, this optical drive is bad too. Aren't I lucky? Hmm. Really? Just yeah. going through optical drives here, like all my backup stock is gone. <laughs> all right. Is it not spinning up at all, or uh, it's making some interesting noises and then ma not mounting? And then I'm looking at my notes, I'm like, I wrote a note that said optical drive does not sound good at all. I'm like, I'm glad I checked that. <laughs> I could just read my notes. Well, you proved last week that it, uh, it doesn't help when you drop it out the window. It doesn't make it run any better. So probably yeah. not for optical drive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got Bob. How's it going? Hey, good Bob. Um, Hello, got Bob. Right. So where it's is that, that Trina person? Trina's in bed. <laughs> <laughs> taking her nap. <laughs> yeah, she was taking her her um, post wake up nap, huh? Well, she's resting up for retro roundup. We'll just leave it at that, right? <laughs> She'll probably sleep through that too. Nice. <laughs> hey, person behind gut bomb. <laughs> That was Lori. She just poked her head in and said, "You don't happen to be on video, do you?" I was like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're um 
your mic is a little bubbly. I don't know how to, how to describe the, the sound of it, but it's crackly. Crackly, yeah, that could be the word. Thank you. Rain part. Well, I hear I hear Garth doing some crackling right now. No, no, no. Yours is like when you speak into the microphone, it 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 kind of like it's, it's breaking crackly. up. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, that's it. Robot. Yes. We get like about every every other word. Yeah. I'll be back. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> now I'll do some crackling. I don't think that I don't think that's Garth doing the crack, man. That, seem... that was me. Yeah, it's you. Okay. I'm just like... I'm just uh, <laughs> looking at this kit for on the 31st here. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Cheater! Dave's, you're kidding. Dave's you're sneakily you're building it off the camera, so he'll be like, "Oh, I got mine done first. <laughs> he already has one done. Oh, mean... Martin, I lied. You know what? The the uh, it's not it's not already. You have to you have to mount that on there. That big chip. But there's other components, surface mounted components that are already mounted on there. Dope. So. All right. So I am really out of optical drive now. Let's <laughs> okay, try it. Crinkle, crinkle. Gut bomb. All right, crinkle, let's crinkle, see. little star. Oh, gut bomb, you back? Now you're muted. Ah, it's a nice trick. He's tricking us. How's that sound? Nope, still, the same. Still, do, still doing it. It's Bluetooth. Yes. Bloody Bluetooth. That's why I don't like wireless headsets. Let me move this out of the way here. Aluminium. All right, what am I going to do? Is that improved at all? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. I, I turned it off and back on again. Ah. Yeah. Have you tried turning it on <laughs> off again? <laughs> That works every time. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's amazing how many things are fixed with a simple reboot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It, your Absolutely. sound quality is very much improved in my ears as well after rebooting it. There you go. By the power of the reboot. Garth, why are you doing what you're doing? Because he can. <laughs> this is my server. Well, will be my server. Why? Because I can uh, run Tiger on it. Ooh. <laughs> and again, why? Why? make fun of me when I tell them to do this here. <laughs> That's what I was like, again, why? <laughs> Tiger and? Them, not me. <laughs> oh, that ram. That ram. Right. I don't have anything in particular to work on this week. Welcome to right. my world. Uh, it might be me and Jason being the peanut gallery down here. Ah, the, the Jasons. <laughs> the Jasons. There you go. I mean, Fred's just chilling too. I don't think he's really working on oh, no, it. He's, I'm Fred, editing at right this now. moment. He's he's editing this video. Oh, well, see, this 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 word goes over here, and this clip goes there. <laughs> no, no, no. Delete that one. You don't need that. I ordered a RGB to HDMI uh, to use with my SE30 and my Plus, but it has not arrived yet. But all the other uh -huh. parts to enable the TTL video out have arrived. Oh, cool. so, what does the board look like? Is that uh, the big one, this big square one? The RGB to HDMI? Yeah. No, I ordered the little one that's the same size as the Pi Zero. Okay. It doesn't have any uh, DB9 ports, so I'm going to have to make one for it. Oh, uh -oh. I guess I do have one project. I need to extract a VGA connector from a card I'm not using and, and replace one on the uh, 3DFX card that I'm trying to fix. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that's that. That's a proper sounds, job. That's, that's, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Um, honest. I get, to, I get to use the Moo gun. Oh. Mm. That's how Bob, that's you wanna, okay. Bob, exactly. you want to hear the Moogun? Huh? <laughs> want to hear the Moogun, bud? What, gee? And I, I went to, I bought some stuff on Facebook Marketplace this morning. And I want to unbox it. But I want to wait until Eric is here, so I'll do it later. Oh, okay. Because it's, it's photography stuff. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Is it digital or old school? Old school it's analog shirt. photography. Oh stuff 
mostly it's it's almost all dark room equipment yeah it star buckets the way that it's supposed to be let's just leave it at that yeah <laughs> if it was supposed to be that way yeah. it'd still be that way <laughs> the effective <laughs> resolution of it hey vinyl came back so analog photography yeah. is on its way <laughs> yeah yep. so my son's got Vinyls. into analog photography is he doing his own film development or is he sending it out no no, not that, not that much yet. But all right, I'll be right back. That's Sounds the like fun my laundry's part. done. I gotta swap it out. <laughs> I definitely don't want all that around the house right now. <laughs> That's not dangerous. It's just it does take up space, though. Uh, where is my little mm -hmm. driver? Let's see if I can get this working. Actually, I think the uh, the color chemicals. If you're doing color, then that can be a little harsh. Oh yeah. I kind of wish but I did like that in high school. We had classes for like photography and stuff. I would have liked that, I think. That's um, what I got was somebody's old high school darkroom stuff that they never oh, ended nice. up using. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was an amazing deal. I got their whole darkroom for 40 bucks. Holy smokes. Yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah, I was finally able to use that uh, Rode mic on my uh, last video. That's very handy because I got yeah, that I watched... special. Go ahead. Sorry. I watched your um, iMac repair part one. Oh, okay. I was very happy to hear it chime. It chimes, but it's not happy. Uh... <laughs> yep. Do you have more details now, or are you saving that for part two? Well, I'm waiting for the board to come in because it was actually supposed to come in that day that I shot that video. Um, hmm. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I have a I have a dead USB port on it. That's the one that I plugged it, that uh, powered USB hub into. It yep. is no no worky. Uh, the other the other uh, ones work. Oh. Uh, that doesn't. And like I said, I don't have any display on this, uh, and I hope I didn't wipe out the display when that happened. Um, but I, like I said, I had the, uh, the video out cable to the big screen TV and I do see both monitors. Okay. But when I click the one for the iMac, uh, it doesn't let me select it. Yep. It, it doesn't, it, it won't let me select it. It is like it grays it out. How's the machine out. stability otherwise? Are you are you running the stream off of that, or are you running it off no, of the Gar no. Garth iMac? Uh, I'm running off the Garth iMac. Yeah. <laughs> so and, the uh, uh, the Franken Mac has gone back inside. Uh, the Franken Mac is uh, back beside the uh, Macintosh SE on the shelf. Yes, it's all covered up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I put the and I put the, the other dr uh, uh, SSD drive back in it that has Catalina on it, so it's all happy again. So it did not enjoy Mac, running the Dave. What's that? What's you that? Back up your Mac. You back it up, right? Yeah, I did. I'm terrified. I'm terrified about the iMac I just gave you up, like because literally, like you know, less than a week later, my drive start. Well, literally, started eating itself. <laughs> <laughs> and mine's a newer one, so I'm like, ah. Uh. Well, Garth, you know. Uh, I'm quite an expert at opening these Macs up. You know, I've had lots it's of experience. It's not that. It's the data. Really else, you know, it, that tool right there that'll save you a lot of grief. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I uh, yeah, I backed everything up, um, and I just, um, like I said, I, you know, I'm, I, I am spoiled with the SSD drive in it uh, on the other one, yeah, because it's very, very, very snappy. Yeah. Um, this other one, the other one works fine. Don't get me wrong. It's just you know, it's, it's, oh, yeah, I, it's I just noticed the difference. Your SSD. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, the, you get... it, I never used one of those hybrids. I never bought anything with them because I thought the idea sounded kind of dumb. There's, it's definitely a noticeable difference. Yeah, it is definitely too, especially when it, you get like more than just nothing on it, other than an OS. You know what I mean? Because the OS kind of lives on the SSD more, right? And then you mm -hmm. really don't notice it too much. But then once you really fill up the drive, yeah, it's you know, you, it, just using it's fine. But trying to like I try to do video editing on it, it's hilarious. <laughs> 4K video editing, it's like ah. Although so Dave's saying it's it's working okay, but like my last video, which was in March, um, that was a lot, and it was excruciating. It was like 
anyway, so it it takes a long longer time to edit it for sure. Um, you know, yeah. but like I said uh, on this other one here, I do be doing 4K. It would actually go into sleep mode and turn itself off. And you have to kind of wake it up to get it to, to go back, continuing uh, to down or to uh, process it. Yeah, so I gotta say, Dave, that actually sounds like he's already telling you right there that hey, my off <laughs> my um power supply is dying, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, I was I was recently doing some video editing on a Mac Mini M2 Pro machine with 16 gigs mm -hmm. of RAM, and that is very capable. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure that it is. actually I'm probably just clicks right through it. That actually might be used by my wife. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> I literally spent I spent all week like trying to figure out like how to fix this stupid Mac, and I was trying to, because it's it was more important to me that I you know I have a time machine backup, but I just don't trust those at all really, and I just want Plan B basically, right? So I wanted to make yeah. sure Earth. I had a backup. When you get it. this working, just give this to her, and then the, then the Mac Mini is all yours. <laughs> this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The problem with honestly, the the stupid thing is, I have to buy a display for her, and I don't know, she likes her iMac display, right? And I don't blame her, obviously, right? So it's like there's no yep. good display that's relatively cheap that's directly comparable to that, you know, like a 5K mm -hmm. Retina thing. <laughs> so it's like, ah. can you use the iMac as just a display for the uh, for the Mac Mini? So you can if you tear it apart, rip the innards out, buy new cable stuff, you know, I mean all that, and then yeah, no, it but doesn't it, have it doesn't, doesn't have, have a way the, to do that. No, they they killed that whenever when they went the Retina. Um, just the way they, they draw the built-in display. Um, but yeah, I don't know, whatever. I, um, it's fine. We'll figure out something. Did they ever make a 5k just display or was the only 5k you could get the iMac? They did. They came out with one about two years ago. It's a studio display. And mm -hmm. it is expensive. That's the problem. And it's really not that great of a space. Literally, they shove, they shove the, what is it, six-year-old now? I mean, it's basically the, the Retina 5K uh, display from iMac shoved into a display with um, a camera and speakers and stuff. So I don't know. I tried I mean, a, an iMac 5K, and it looked beautiful. They yeah. do look nice. That's yeah. the thing, unfortunately. Yeah. I, I, I have one myself. I've been using iMacs um, you know, for that for a while. Um, yeah, I mean, I used to yeah, get good deals on them yeah. to work, though, of course. So, boom. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I, I noticed. I said, "Oh, I can look at 5K videos now." So, <laughs> so I was looking at one of mine and go, "Wow, that, I thought the other one was clear, man." Like, wow, it's like you're right there. You know, it's really crystal clear. <laughs> it's like, wow, this is cool. Fired up. The the best comparison I can put to it is like in the early days of HD. You could get HD CRTs, and those looked so good. I've never had a screen look as good as the HD, like a 32-inch Philips HD CRT. Mm -hmm. Amazing picture. Yeah. And, yeah, like, it's lower resolution than 5K, of course, but with the CRT, <laughs> that doesn't matter because it has, yeah. like, natural um, blending. So it, it looks looks fantastic. Not yeah, good for I'm, retro games because it does like scaling and processing yeah. to the image, but for HD content, like stuff yeah. that's regular HD looks like a 4K Blu-ray. Yeah. I mean, even like on your G3 IMAX, I mean, the, the displays look so great on those things. Um, yep. I mean, it's like, wow, oh, these are very vivid. The CRT and the EMAC is fantastic. Too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Zach got the uh, uh, the the Molar Mac. What CRT does that have in it? Oh, I don't know. That's just kind of like a regular 15 inch. It's 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 pretty good. It's not like a Trinitron or something, but it's it's not it's not horrible. Mm -hmm. Yay, it works. Okay. Kurt, that you must have filtering on because that machine is much quieter than I know that it is. This is um, it's actually very quiet. This one, and that actually one of the reasons why I want to, so what I have in my old server, which is a, um, let me just say it's older. <laughs> That's all I'll say. And uh, I want to <laughs> basically take its innards out of it and put it into this one, like its drives and stuff. 
and uh, and it's actually the, the power supply on this one's dying too. So I, I think it's power supply anyway. But um, this one's quiet. It's actually a slower one though. I don't need to be that fast. Hmm. But it is. It's very quiet actually. <laughs> well, he says Muller is a heavy it? monitor. Uh, just close one up to pack. So I, up in I a was box using these. I was ocean. using these literally for the last twenty five years. I don't know for like different systems and stuff as a server, literally a file server and also uh, AFP server and stuff. And uh, so I still have mine migrated for years and years and years. And I, I want to get it going again, but I do also want to get an actual NAS, you know, an actual like everyone else. <laughs> but um, I still want to have, have this thing yet. going. What's that? You don't? Okay, good. I, I don't have, have a NAS. I, I have 16 terabytes in my HP 8300 Elite. And that's oh, nice. my Plex server and web server and wow. AMP yep. server and all that stuff. 16 yeah. terabyte. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, two. I, mean, I used to have these drives. things running twenty four seven. You know, like I before this, I had a mirror drive door in a closet, hilariously. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and then when this came out, I you know I got an extra Mac Pro from work and um, served files off it for years and stuff. And um, but I you know I shut it down years ago because it's just ridiculous to run that, and we weren't using it much right anymore. So, but I still have stuff. Hey, would not field access. When that mirror drive door came out of the closet, it looked fabulous. <laughs> yes, exactly. <right. laughs> <laughs> that's funny i got a picture of my old closet and it's like it's in the bottom down there just running i'm like my god that that must be cooking in that closet with the uh i actually have my 15 inch sony crt in there too uh kmac says the molar is a heavy monitor Ugh, i just closed one up to pack in a box to ship by ocean to cayman yeah need that's a crazy. whole shipping container for that yeah Hopefully I didn't get smashed, but I know you know what you're doing. Yeah, I'm supposed to get that uh, graphics card that I ordered for that HP 8300 that I have. Uh, I'm supposed to get that uh, Tuesday. We'll see. Did you order it from like AliExpress or something? No, I ordered it off of eBay. Um, uh -huh. It's a... Um, what I, what I ordered, I, I realize it's not the fastest thing, but it's going to be a lot better than what I have. So it's a um, it's an AMD Radeon A5 series. Uh, it's got two gig uh, DDR3, and it works from for Windows 8, and Windows 10, Windows 7. So, and I got a, I got a really good price on it and free shipping. I guess that's why it's Eight. taking so long to get. So yeah, A5 so or R5. Uh, R5. Okay. Yeah. 230? So, the R5 230? Uh, let me look here. Uh, let's see. It is a chipset AMD. Uh, let's see. Doesn't tell me. Ah. I'm seeing one PCI on, Express um, X16. Yeah, I think that's uh, the 230. I'm seeing it on Amazon for $56. Oh, I got it less than that. I got it for Excellent. 25 free shipping. So Perfect. Yeah. I got to keep yeah, within my budget. Be it's yeah, a, it's that, a that decent. Be really it's good. A, oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Anything's got to be better than the stock card in it now, which is nothing. Yeah, <laughs> it's not going to play modern games, but it's going to blow the Intel thing out of the water. Okay, good. And then, what are you? Pl you're planning on hackintoshing that machine afterwards, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that card will be great for that. Oh, cool. cool. Good. Yeah. So. Okay, this works. Welcome back. I brought toys. All right. You brought a hard disk drive. From a what? What is the thing in your left hand? The same thing, another hard drive. Oh. It's on, on the sleds for the uh, uh, Mac Pro that's over here. Wait, you mean you're actually working on a project? Well, it's not really a project. I'm just going to tinker with it. <laughs> he likes Don't get Mac hasty. <laughs> Monitor. Oh, I do have an SSD in that. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, my poor wife, She she she's highly allergic to poison oak. So a couple weekends ago, 
Uh, we were finishing putting up our Christmas decorations, so I had to work Saturday because uh, somebody couldn't show up for it. Because I generally don't, I, I don't work. I just work four days a week. But anyway, um, so she said, "Well, hell, I'm, I'm going to take and get these leaves raked up, and that way he can get and set set the inflatables up and stuff." And so anyway, a couple days later, uh, she woke up one morning, and her eyes were swollen shut. Ooh. And her face was all swelled up, and I said, you know, I said, you better go to the doctor. You don't look so good. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dave, Dave. Dave knows how you to talk to You better drive yourself the to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, because I had to go to work, so she did. Uh, she went to the emergency room, uh, and and she didn't realize she got poison oak. And so when we went, went there, they said, well, you got poison oak really bad. So they gave her a shot, <laughs> and this is good for two weeks. And then she, they also gave her some other stuff, and she is, uh, so as far as um, her face, all the swelling's down on it, her eyes are fine, uh, but she's like, her skin's like a lizard. I mean, it's just because it's drying it out, and she's so itchy and stuff, and she's been, like, taking the Benadryl and stuff, you know, at night and stuff. But anyway, so. Um, what was so her what she Was it cortisone? Um, probably. I'm not exactly sure what it was. It was pretty heavy duty though. Cause after about the next day it started kicking in. So uh, oh if it was cortisone, it would have been like immediate. But but uh, anyway, uh well you know she's allergic to a lot of stuff. Um and she's got the second to the most rarest blood type on the world, so so she's gotta be really careful with stuff. Yeah. Don't let her drive any race cars. <laughs> well, that's fine. She drives her car. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't let me drive her car, her new car. I, I think I've she, driven it once. She's very, she very, pos very possessive of her vehicles. <laughs> what did she get? Mm, she got at the time. Uh, during the pandemic, uh, she got a 2020 RAV4. Love it. It's got every, the thing is fantastic. Uh, and it's a hybrid. And she, uh, she used to have a 1999 RAV4. So that thing looked like new. So we took and we traded in. We got a thousand bucks for it, that old, that old RAV4, and got the new one. And, uh, but it's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, this thing's got heated seats, heated steering wheel. Uh, it's got auto dim lights. It's got radar cruise control. Uh, it's got, uh, if you walk in front of it, it will actually stop you uh, or somebody behind you. It'll tell you. Uh, somebody comes up beside you, pass you, it'll tell you. Uh, if you let go of the wheel, it'll drive itself for a little bit uh, as long as it's sets <laughs> in the road. Not recommended on a curve, uh, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it can do it, it, can do it, if, it if it needs to. If it needs to, it, it'll it because it, it literally will it literally will yank the wheel out of your hands to to correct itself to avoid a collision. So yeah, that's yeah. nice. <laughs> so it's a, it's a nice car. That thing's got a lot of giddy up and go too. Um, and she gets about uh, uh, let's see on a tank of gas she gets uh, uh, five hundred and. 29 miles to a gallon or something like that is what it says. I don't know. She hasn't put it to the test, but that's pretty good. That's more better than my 529 miles to the gallon would be insane. I'm sorry. You mean for, for the tank, right? Uh, for the tank. I'm sorry. Yes. Told, okay. Yeah. It's not too bad, Dave. All, 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 yeah. Yeah. Although I did hear, I don't know who it is. Uh, there's a new electric vehicle, 900 mile range. New battery technology. For a charge. It charges, right? it does a, it does a, a full charge in 10 minutes. Huh. So, and sounds, I don't, and I don't know fishy. who. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it, I, 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 I want to, I want to, I don't know if it's, Ray, Ray, was it Rayon or uh, Tesla? But yeah, they've been working on new ba battery technology. It's not lithium anymore. It's ions. It's a iron something. And the matrix of it's like Swiss cheese. So it can take, it can draw energy from any part of the battery rather than going from positive to negative. And so they've been working on that for a long time. Well, as, as you know, lithium that, that is. Battery. Uh, go ahead. 
Oh, I say because you know because lithium is a uh, a uh, a resource that's not real plentiful, you know. So um, and so they've been working on something else, but yeah, you have to Google. Yeah, it. I, hope, I hope that new battery technology is a bit lighter, so they can start making effective sports cars with uh, batteries. Oh yeah, that'd be pretty cool, huh? The torque would be awesome on them. Uh, yeah. You don't have the power curve on an electric motor like you do on a combustion engine. So. Hey, what, what's up with your BMW there, Dave? You got it going or better? Or? Uh, no, not yet. Um, I have new plug wires for it. I have a new fuel pump, new filter, new... Um, what do you call it? Uh, an attenuator where that all they all all those three components get hooked together because the fuel pump's dead on it, and the plug wires one's not staying on it really good. So uh, I can turn it over, but I don't have any uh, spark. Hmm. Oh, okay. And I also ordered another coil for it now. What I'm waiting on now is the weather now because it's. Yeah, uh, I've got it all covered up. And there's Christmas decorations on top of it. There's Santa and his reindeer on top of it right now. So <laughs> <laughs> makes it hard to work on. Huh? Yeah. So in January we'll we'll start wrenching on it because all the um, all the electric uh, is fine on it. You know the lights work on it, turn signals, the high beams. Emergency flashers, the AC, I can, it'll, the fan turns on, but I mean, the AC doesn't work because obviously the engine's not running. Um, dome light comes on, emergency flashers come on, um, horn works. So, Rudy, to charge it, you have to, to charge it, you have to put it on its side and then plug a lightning cable into the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, they're they're MagSafe chargers now, uh, Rudy. You just put the MagSafe on it. There you go. <laughs> that is funny. <clears throat> All right. I have Seagate Ironwolf drives in this. Four terabytes. It's incredible. And I bought these. I'm like, these are huge. <laughs> So many memes. Oops, don't need that one. Okay. All right. Chunk. You gotta hook up your uh, your foot pedal to this so it'll just automatically archive and then serve your screenshot. <laughs> as you click the pedal. It's uh, by the way, that, that prototype is by Toyota. Uh, with a, a sounding 900 mile range. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just get more information on it here. Wow, it's a wicked looking vehicle. Yeah. All right, anything else in here I need? No. No. Oh, it has a manual transmission. I'm on board. It has a all solid state battery stack prototype. More loud this um, I'm still reading I'm about it here. Uh, the science behind it. Um, it's it's not a it's not like a, a tip a sequential manual mm -hmm. either. There's a clutch pedal. Hmm. I mean, it's a gimmick, but. It's a gimmick that I like. Ooh, loud. Yay. Wow. Well, that's going to definitely uh, shake things up if at all. Uh, 2028, uh, let's see, posted to view in 2028. So I'll be able to get one in 2038. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. Oh, and here's uh, Eric. Hey, Eric. How you doing? 
Good. Good. How's everybody? Good. Fantastic. How about you? Hi, Eric. Good. Feeling better this weekend. Oh, good. What are you printing there? Well, um, they are Christmas presents, stocking stuffers. So this is a bayonet mount um, holder for um, wax stamps, you know, ceiling stamps. <coughs> Okay. And then here's a stamp that goes focus. <laughs> so it's I'm going to I'm experimenting to see how well these work and I'm also experimenting with making my own sealing wax. But uh so this is the one I tried yesterday. Awesome. Oh, cool. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Um, I went ahead and ordered some sealing wax online. I think it's going to work better to get the real thing, but uh, normally... What, uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, I'm, well, I had a question about sealing wax. Mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, what's, what's the difference mainly between that and just regular candle wax? Is it like a more, uh, more rubbery or what? Yeah, it's not as brittle. Uh, mm -hmm. Regular candle wax, you know, paraffin-based mm -hmm. candle wax isn't very flexible. Mm -hmm. You have to add beeswax to it if you want some, mm -hmm. you know, uh, smoothness and flexibility to it. Oh, okay. Uh, beeswax is expensive. Um, so one way of doing it is you take a Crayola, Crayola crayon because it's a better mm -hmm. quality uh, material. And mix okay. it with glue stick. Oh, hot, hot glue sticks. Yeah. Melt it together. The glue stick gives it that flexibility, and then okay. the crayons give it color, as oh. well as um, I think it alter the yeah. the melting point and everything. What I haven't tried is using it with a wick to see if it smells like burning plastic. Mm -hmm. So um, I went ahead and bought some. Uh, melt sealing wax online to see if that'll mm -hmm. do it. The other possibility would be like the mason jar sealing wax. Mm -hmm. You know, I could I could get that, but I think it's just straight paraffin, so I'd have to mix mm -hmm. it with beeswax. Anyway, yeah. Long and story short, um, a project that was going to be pretty inexpensive because three D printing these is not much uh, has turned into like a thirty dollars stocking stuffer. So. <laughs> <laughs> by the time i bought the crayons and then i bought these were only a couple of bucks from michael's i bought these little boxes so i could put the stuff in to give to my wife and um oldest daughter you know making the kits for them they're into cats so the uh this is a, a paw print cool hmm, and cool some of the other ones don't, I don't think they're going to work too well, too low res. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see that. That's a, a kitten sitting mm -hmm. there. So, what I resolution think, are you printing at? Well, this will do 0.4, the ender three. So, um, so I think the larger ones, like the this cat head. Will work fine. You can go down to layer height 0. 0.12 on an Ender 3. Yeah. But I don't know if that'll improve it or not. Probably not. I'm it, gonna it start, will I'm certainly gonna make, make it, it take longer. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna make it, um, turn it around and make some that are uh, convex instead of concave. And yeah. see if that improves the stamp at all. Because when I did it with this, um, this cat's paw... You can see it's got some yellow stuck in there. Mm -hmm. There's just enough texture and stuff that I had to clean it out with a um, toothpick. Mm -hmm. I'd rather not have to do that. It could also be the quality of the sealing wax that I'm making. Mm -hmm. So, which is why another reason I ordered some. So you have to, I mixed it up in this jar and then you put it in a um, boiling water to melt it. Kind of a thing. 
So. That's not the way I melted crayons when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Matches. I put no, I put them in a bowl, a plastic bowl, because I'm smart, and yeah. I put it on top of a lamp. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I wanted it to take a little less time. <laughs> so, but I, I also had a heat gun. I could use that, but I was afraid the glass might fracture. So, I think your your method was probably better. You yeah. you put the glass jar in some boiling water. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so did it like old school candles? Were those made out of beeswax? Yeah. Well, good ones were made out mm -hmm. of beeswax. Um, okay. You could also make candles out of aloe. Mm -hmm. But that would sputter, and you would get dripping hot fat from them. So, <laughs> Eric, I know, I know a cheap source of beeswax. If you want to yeah. continue on the making your own, you get bees. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, um, I just have to have Garth send me some. <laughs> <laughs> so but these uh... little bayonet mount things are pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, you know, it's That's just cool. a little indentation bayonet mount. You put it in, um, and twist and it holds it on there. So you don't have to print the handle. You can just print the, uh, the stamp. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That's neat. Oh, the reason why I ask is because you see a lot of old movies and you'll see them tipping the candle on the envelope and then they take their stamp right. and stamp it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that, that you're talking about, it wasn't paraffin as much, or it might be a blend. Beeswax candles were the, like the, uh, um, uh, the epitome or the, you know, the most expensive kind. And that's what a lot of people used if they had money. Um, gotcha. If you were in medieval period and you were just a common laborer or knave, or what do you call it? Um, schlep. Schlep. Yeah, um, you could use, you could use right. rushes, and what right. rushes were was a particular plant that had a spongy inner layer to it, and you would mm -hmm. soak them in fat, and then you could mm -hmm. light one, and it would slowly burn down. Well, they give really bad light; they stink, and uh, you know they're they're you can use them, but they're they're not very good. You could also do fat in a um lantern with a wick in it stuff yeah. like that so mm -hmm. did you design the handle yourself no actually i went to thingverse and found one so what i've been doing is modifying the indentation on here for you know this the stamp part cool yeah yeah so <coughs> Wanted to do something that was kind of unique. Hey, Dave, can you make me big? I want to unbox this thing. Or Don't do it. Up. It's a trap. Oh, I think Dave's way I'll do it. So you got that equipment? Yep. Oh, there goes cool. the There goes the camera. The I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> Can you believe it? Gut bomb is not in plaid pants. Oh yeah, I'm wearing jeans. My skinny, skinny dad jeans from ten years ago. <laughs> All right. So this is the the good box. Yeah, open that up and show us the paper. <laughs> oh gosh, what is it? There's 10 sheets of this. I have no idea. It's kind of grimy, but paper lasts a lot longer than film, and yeah. it should be fine. Yeah, as long so, as it wasn't exposed to a lot of heat. Yeah, and I think this was in a basement. So this is 11 by 14, and there's 10 of them. I got nice. this whole package for 40 bucks. This would be like 60 bucks on like Jeez. Adorama yep. or B&H new. So. Yep. That's pretty good. Um, I got another easel. Ah. And this one is a little bit nicer than the one I've got. This needs to get cleaned up. But uh, yeah, this this is really nice. Yeah, that's worth. Uh, I haven't bucks right looked there. in here yet. This uh, I don't know what these are called, but it's like a little microscope deal that you use yeah. to like 
find the grain to make sure you're focused on your uh, enlarger. I can't yeah, remember I what grain these are called. Uh, yeah. Uh, film winder, I think. So if you're yes. winding your own spools. Yeah, you put a 100-foot roll of uh, 35 millimeter film in there, and you can put a cartridge in and roll it into it in a light tight thing so you can do it out in the open there's a label on it that says don't open it unless you know what you're doing yep. yeah <laughs> that sh that should go on a power supply or a crt <laughs> some incandescent light bulb well uh, 15 amp or 12 15 watt 15 watt? I'm not watt. Yeah, they're for your safe light. Um, I'm not sure what these are. Filters? Maybe? Look it's okay. a puzzle. It's empty. These little sleeves are empty. They're perfectly sized to put CDs in. I say the CD case. CDs. <laughs> right? It's a CD case. They might have used them for gel filters or something. A There's pack of filter. uh, contrast filters. These are nice. Yeah. A lens for the enlarger. Not sure the lens is in here. It may be on the enlarger. Oh, now it's in there. Yeah, is it what what size is it? Does it say? Hundred and five millimeter. Okay. Trying to remember that might be for six by six. No, it's too narrow. Thirty five millimeter. And it's got some adapter plates. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I did not bring the um, enlarger in because it's gigantic. Yeah. And, nope. But I'll bring that in later. Yeah, there's Negative your six carrier. Yeah. And this one is a lot more hefty than the one that I have on the enlarger upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, Besslers are really good enlargers. Um, another lens assembly yep and another lens assembly without a lens in it i'm going to need to look at the manual uh sorry gut bomb i had to uh tell my wife about my uh our, our uh, uh granddaughter so because she was asleep oh. last night so go ahead no problem the mixing stick for chemicals yeah, I had no idea what this was. <laughs> yep. It is to make bubbles. It's a little I used the tongs for mixing. Yeah, you make spatula. square bubbles with it, right. <laughs> this one is almost empty, so there's there, there's not very much in this one. But yeah. these are heavy. They feel like they're like only had a couple of them used. Are those sheets so, or film? Oh, it's paper. Sheets. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you've got the paper like, itself was worth it. 150 bucks worth of stuff, at least. I mean, the lens is worth 30 or 40 bucks. Yeah. And then these just crazy. Yeah. Wow. So that's box where, where did you one. get? Where did you get? Where did you get all this at? Got bomb? Facebook Marketplace. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, and I drove to the guy's house, and he was uh, he was really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I love <And> it. <laughs> I, I wanted to give him an elbow bump uh, when I was leaving because I, I don't want to shake hands with anybody because I'm really yeah. weird. Um, and uh, he left me hanging. <laughs> really? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I assume he was but, an elderly gentleman getting rid of his photography stuff. He was, I don't know, maybe about 10 years older than me, uh, getting rid of his kids' high school photography stuff. Oh, I see. 
Okay. So he didn't know what any of this stuff was. And I think that's maybe mm -hmm. why the price was so low. Yeah, I paid 75 just for the uh, same and larger. So there's a uh, thick light in here. Yeah, does it have the filter? Right now. Nice. Does it have the round filter that goes with it? Not right here, but I've got a safe light already. Okay. That looks moldy. I'm not as mm, much moldy. <laughs> this is spent some time in a basement. The box is neat, though. I love two it. Two filters and viewing screen. I like that Yankee font. Though. Oh, I don't know if it needs a dome. This is a different type of deal. It, it may just have a red plate that I put on there. Yeah, the, that would be your safe light plate. Um, Kodak makes a standard size round one that you put in there. Film washing tank needs to be washed itself. <laughs> yeah. Peter's film tank. tank. Another development tank. The stuff's yep. in there too. Or Patterson. Some of the stuff, so. anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I think this goes with some of these trays in here for like uh, cleaning your prints. It, that, that probably goes to that um, film washer. Mm -hmm. This Have timer is a lot bigger and a lot nicer. Yeah. Have you tried it yet? The one I've got. No, I have not. It's, oh, it's very smooth. Yeah. I haven't plugged it in, but it, the movement is really smooth. Well, that thing's cool. Yeah, a nice large dial makes it easy to see. Yeah, the uh, I saw a listing for one of these from somebody else, and it was listed as a darkroom timer that could also be used as a classroom timer. Because it's big. Um, some trays. I do not know what this is. That goes through and underneath that film washer. It oh. goes in the center of it. And you can use it oh, to yeah. pull up and down the film. That's awesome. That's three, three dirty trays of um, this size. Mm -hmm. Eight by ten. And then three of these giant ones. Well, well, he had, had 11 by 14. 11 by 14 paper, so yeah. Yep. yeah I spent some trays really going into the dishwasher to be cleaned. Yes. Well, <laughs> uh, they probably have chemicals on them. I wouldn't do that. I'm going to wash them. Uh, I'm going to rinse them first and then wash yeah. them in the dishwasher. So uh, that is everything except the enlarger. And I'm not going to bring the enlarger up because my back hurts and it's huge. But, uh, <laughs> does it weigh more than a classic Mac Pro? It does. It's more Thanks of an for e listening machine. to my TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more of an e machine weight. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's two molar max. Those are some heavy beastie boys, those Molar Max. Mm. I've actually oh, never seen so a Molar Max, so I wouldn't know. <clears throat> Molar Max <laughs> looks like a giant tooth. Yeah, it's, that's how it got its name. <laughs> I don't need to be big anymore. Thank you very much. Got it. Yeah, I think I have that exact easel on um, my watch list on eBay. Oh, cool. And it's it's like uh, 25 bucks, I think. So, yeah, you came out really well. Yeah, you did great. This brand is Premier. Premier. I can camera.
Oh, this needs to get clean too. <laughs> well. Oh, the stops on this thing are great. It's got like spring loaded stops. The one that I have doesn't have stops. It relies just on friction alone and it is uh, quite frictiony. This one is smooth, and the stops work well. <laughs> Great. You get the lu deluxe model, huh? <laughs> yeah. friction is a word. Yeah, if you try to buy a new easel, they want like 250 bucks for one. Yeah, I saw that on Amazon. It's ridiculous. Crazy. And now I'm going to go wash my hands, because that stuff's great. Oh, yeah, damn right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't lick your yeah. fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Num, 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 num. Get all get it all get all off the fingers. Get them cleaned. I feel well preserved. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. So Tinkercad. Tinkercad. That sounds like yeah. Three printing stuff or something. Yeah, I gotta work on making some different uh, doohickeys. And thing and thing my boobs. Yeah. <laughs> since since we haven't seen Joe yet, I figure I throw throw that little thing my boob out there. Now I made sure I sent him an invite. I, he was the first one I sent one to. So. <laughs> <laughs> did you send the correct link though? No, I'm just <laughs> I did. Yes. <laughs> I'd never do that. Everyone. And you know what? I also sent it to him as well. <laughs> Just in case oh, well. you didn't. Uh, to everybody, yes. I, I, I do it for everybody. That's right. Cat! Oh, yeah, yeah. Zoe, that is not your monitor. She should have sure it is. All right. Choo -choo. Go on. I'm going to crack open this Ugh. optical drive and see why it's so eject crazy. So this is the be uh, funny if you opened that up, Garth, and a mouse ran out of it. Yeah, <laughs> it would be funny. This is the docking station I use for work, and it's actually a um, pretty good docking station. Oh, Wavelink. Yeah, Wavelink. It's a uh, USB-C four four K um, triple display docking station. Nice. Yeah, works. Seems to work really well. It's three times USB three ports, one display port, two HDMI's, a um, USB C port, and an Ethernet port. Um, another USB three port on the front, micro SD card reader, SD card reader, and a well, you know, a headphone jack or whatever the heck that thing is. Yeah. But it's I mean it's decent. It powers three monitors off a laptop, so it works for me. Good enough. I wonder how much one of those little wavelength w wavelength things cost. Yeah. Why do I keep putting away my drivers? Oh, I'm always... Hi, Betty. Hey, I heard that. Oh, you're cold, honey. Oh, you cheaty. Yeah, I know it's cold out, honey. You don't. Know, <laughs> like, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, all, I switched over to my Yeti Whoa. microphone, so it picks up everything. Yeah, I can hardly wait to get that graphics card so I can post my um, results in Tech Amber's uh, PC challenge. Oh, wait a minute. That's cool. Took apart this whole drive and I realized I only need to take out one screw to get to where I need to go. It's kind of cool. Oh, that's nice. 
I mean, I might need to take out more, but initially. <laughs> Hold this on for now. It's so quiet in this room. Alright. Well, get squawkers squawking, and they won't be quiet. Ugh, you don't want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, get, yeah I, I agree. I agree. Okay, so this this bad boy here is about 130 bucks. Okay. And how long have you had that one? Well, this works. So, it's a. Uh, I don't. Well, I don't know if you remember, but I don't work for. I left Apple again. That company is oh, uh, not Apple itself, but uh, the uh, third-party vendors is horrible. Oh, really? oh boy. Um, yeah, they don't even give you benefits. So I went to a different company where I, you know, I got medical. I got 401k with a uh, um, oh, nice. match, match up to 10% on the 401k and nice. full medical benefit, you know, all this stuff. And I guess still yeah. get to work from home. Nice. Sweet. Well, sounds like a win win. Yeah. Because, yeah. uh, you know, with being a diabetic, you got to have that medical care, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> but so I'm working for a company called uh, Glory Global now. They do um, a lot of um, money counting machines uh, for like home, the Home Depot use, Walmart use, and stuff like oh, that. Oh, I was thinking propane and propane accessories. And then they, what they do is they, it, <laughs> you know, makes their tills for them and stuff. So for the day. Yeah. Um, we do a lot of troubleshooting of those and a lot of, um, stuff, you know, troubleshooting the shelf checkouts and stuff. Yeah. So other than that, you know, it's pretty much, you just sit there and you answer phone calls and you nine out of 10 times is a mechanical <laughs> issue. So you yeah. actually have to send out a technician because we don't do the, obviously can't do the mechanical fixing uh, yeah. remotely. So. Oops. Not too shabby. Don't look at the laser. Right in the eyeballs! Ah! Ah, see, I fixed it. Oh, oh nice. Oh, what was wrong with that? By doing nothing. Oh. <laughs> so, so is it really fixed? I mean, it failed once, and then now it's not failing. Okay. So what you're saying, it's magic. All right. What he's saying is, once he gets it all put back together, it's not going to work. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> I have low confidence at this point. Until you, until you find an issue, if it just goes away, it doesn't really mean it's fixed. <laughs> yep. Let's strip it down further. Yeah, might as well get it all uh, oiled up and all that good stuff. Come on, Rain. Go away. We've had Rain for like a day and a half. I tried mm. that Chris says uh, hi. He has a fair amount of things to do today, but he just wanted to stop in and say happy holidays. Hey, Chris. Happy hey, holidays. Chris. How are you doing? Hey, happy holidays, Chris. Merry Christmas. Have a good new year. Hope to see you soon. Well, if you do get some spare time and, uh, you know, get all the stuff you need to get done, done, and uh, you want to jump in and say hi, hey, we'll be here. <laughs> I like to make noises when I move because I'm old. <laughs> Dave, Dave knows what I'm talking about. That's why he's laughing. <laughs> Are you making squirting noises again? Grunting noises because I had to stand up. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've, I've heard about those, Garth. Yeah. Randy. <laughs> The uh, guy that owns the, the that we rent this house from, uh, he, when we were working on the sewer line, uh, oh my god, I thought he was dying. Uh, he was <laughs> he, he was he was what? bending way down. He's I'm helping him dig the the line out, you know, on the ground, right? And so anyway, uh, he gets up and oh my god, I thought he was I thought I was gonna take call nine one one. Man, he was like really <laughs> making some noise. I go, Ray, are you okay? He goes, oh, yeah, I always make that noise. <laughs> I always make that noise. Dang, man. <laughs> That's, that was hilarious. Okay, let's try this now. I vaguely remember having another drive that did this exact same thing, and then when I took it apart and mucked with it, it fixed itself. Yeah. But I don't remember. <clears throat> 
it's working now. It's strange. It might just need some, like, you know, action to get it back aligned or whatever. Those I gotta say, like sometimes it's just from setting so long, it, it kind of, you know, decides it doesn't want to work and then have to use it a little flip there. sensor in here that looks like it detects when the door drives all the way open and that's what was happening i think it would get all the way open it would say oh wait and then shut itself back in because it felt like it was getting pushed oh that's the one you were yeah that you were having an issue with last week yeah so we'll just put it back together see what happens whatever motorized screwdriver huh. <laughs> there you go <laughs> putting putting case I just realized the blue scuzzy won't mount dmg images uh you know what's funny it's rename them it kind of rename it and see if it does rename it to what hda or hdr i forgot what it is Oh no, HDA. Does that work? Does it? It, it does, but um, so just FYI, make sure you put obviously the whole like you know, HD zero zero or whatever, right? In the front right. Of the two, you right? have to follow the but, naming eventually. Is it a, is it a image you made using what though? No, no, no. I'm, I'm what I'm. I've put all my CD images into the folder to use the toolbox for the blue SCSI, but it reads oh. toast files images and isos but it doesn't oh. read dmgs oh i, I see what you're saying dmg no it won't you're right change the dm I... well dmg is not uh interchangeable with iso is it well i don't know i think I you can think make an I, I think you can make an iso can't you, you? can but you but have I... to use use a mac to do it but like considering DMG is like one of the most popular formats for a Mac, you'd think that Blue Scuzzy well, would mount that. It could be proprietary and you can't get the doohickey for it. I don't know. You'd have to ask the other Eric. So actually the the, the thing is though, if I, I'm not sure because if you're doing an optical thing, it's a little different than just a disk image. It actually will mount a DMG if it's, if it's the right actual format. Right? Yeah. It will. And you actually don't even need to rename it apparently now, uh, except oh, the, really? obviously the beginning of the file name, right? HD, whatever. But since an IS, since it's trying to mount as an optical disk, yeah, that, that, then there's all sorts of weird things happen there, right? Depends on how the image is actually formatted. Right. I see. Right. So I'm going to have to probably drag these into disk jockey and convert them. Yeah, it's funny. I was I was uh, mucking with disc jockey trying to make bootable ProDOS images, and it wasn't work, quite working right. And so Eric's like, "Yeah, ping, you know." I can't remember his name, darn it. Anyway, yeah, that managed to find two bugs. <laughs> I was like, "We're gonna look crap." So he's like, "I got work work to do." Unfortunately, he can't p compile the current version because of um the tools and uh the actual Xcode stuff is broken. <laughs> he's trying to get out of it. It's like great. Good luck. Oh. Yeah, because they were supposed to expand the capacities of the drives because we're restricted at the moment to like 10 gig. Yeah, it was at the ROM switch. The ROM switch. <laughs> Okay, if this works, good. If it doesn't, that doesn't matter. I'm going to put it on the shelf anyway. I mean, meaning I'm not going to spend any more time on it right now. You're going to use it daily, or Actually, I, I honestly wanted a good drive in this system because I actually use this thing to... Um, that's another thing I use it for, is actually if I need to burn a, note, a CD for old stuff, and I need it to... Sometimes it doesn't work right if I burn it on modern stuff, right? Nope, still does it. All right. It's being hey, Retro Tech, Chris. And Gut Bomb brought us pizza, everybody. Oh, oh nice. nice. Looks good. I want pizza. I should probably go start. Homemade. Oh, I made it last better. That's even better. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
The doe's homemade too? Yep. Boy. Who doesn't like pizza? There are people out there that don't. I, had a, I love it. I can eat that every I had day. Had an, uh, when I managed champs, when I managed champs, I had an employee that she couldn't eat cheese. Um, really? so, but she loved pizza, so she used to get a pepper weirdest weird combination of pepperoni and pineapple cheeseless pizza. Yeah, my um, youngest, yeah. Or oldest daughter doesn't like uh, cheese either. Oh, it's not that she doesn't like it; she just can't eat it. This particular girl. I had a vegan roommate who would order pizza just without cheese. Yep. Yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's just weird seeing a pizza come in with just sauce and toppings to me. It was I was like, that's that's different. <clears throat> like a naked pizza, man. No cheese on yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically just eating like take just basically breadsticks instead of dipping the the, the sauce dipping oh, the breadsticks in the sauce yeah. you're just eating the sauce right yeah. on it well i like <laughs> i love breadsticks yeah, yeah. <laughs> i love breadsticks too cheese sticks breadsticks yeah, you got I, a stick. <laughs> olive garden olive garden breadsticks with the free um uh the free salad Poking tool. Is that that little middle finger thing? Is that the poking tool? I do have this ready to go. This is what I was using to. Um, yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. It reaches in there. I don't have to touch any metal with metal stuff. And... That's your CRT adjustment tool. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. Now, Frederick's got a board. Or he board could use it for his adjusting, his discharging for us, right? There you go. I'm watching a pizza disappear in real time. Mm -hmm. I know. As he turns it around so we can see the slices. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we won't, we, we won't comment on that bit. He's just left. That one piece is the same size as the other one. Who cut this pizza? <laughs> that's how you can tell. That's how you can tell it's homemade. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, like, oh my drive. Frederick, uh, please tell us about the board. This is not the board you're looking for. Move along. What is the maximum amount of SCSI IDs per controller? 18. I'm making that up. <laughs> it's, um... I'll have to look for eight. that, Rudy. Looking forward to your video. It's, yeah. it's eight, but the controller takes one of the IDs. So it's and seven, your, uh, I believe. your Mac also takes one of them. That's what I meant by the controller. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Right. Okay. So, just easy wrong, I'm assuming you use Three is usually used. Three. <sighs> Looked at the laser. You're safe using zero through six. And I don't know about later Max, but like early Max, they don't like remember what drive you decided to boot from. Will boot sequentially in decrementing order. So it will start at six and then it'll go to five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Until final yeah, and volume. Another thing that I've noticed as well with the blue scuzzy, scuzzy CD changer is if, if you change the disc and then you want to boot from that disc, it then doesn't remember that disc and defaults to the original disc that it started with. Which is... Yeah, it just like, relies on alphabetical <laughs> for that. It doesn't have like RAM or flash memory to store that in, so it doesn't really know what to do. No, but it has an any file, so you'd think that it would write that information to the any file so that it would know what image to boot from. Yeah. Is the any file anything like the any key? Yeah. Oh, Jason. <laughs> You've been warned before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, PC eater. Little... You've been warned. I need my little adapter. Well, I really distorted that. 
Oops. Uh, where is it? By the power revert. I will be back, I guess. It is in wing. Uh, Rudy, I made you a mod moderator, so you can, uh, if you want, go ahead and post your uh, video link in there. Not a oh problem. no, you gave him the power. I don't even think I have a mod. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are. I appreciate sure. because you can you you can post links in there. Yeah. Oh. If your if your name's I... Blue, mod. I comment through the stream yard so I don't see it. I do. Now there's that. Yeah. I mean, if I if I'm lying. a mod, I'm pretty sure you're a mod. I mean, you know, that's how it goes. You can be a mod too. <laughs> well, thankfully, we don't have to do much uh, um, modding in this chat. There's not a whole lot of nobody's you know, watching jerks. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, true. Well, yeah, well, only we have people, five that, only, people that, only people that want to be here are watching. Yeah, yeah. We have five right now. We, we, we yeah, were one of those up, people's me. <laughs> we were up to twelve when we started. Now we're down to five. It, it's like a seesaw. It goes uh, all the way around. <laughs> And well, as soon as Trina shows up and uh, the, and the and the talks start going downhill, you probably get more views. Now, now, now we're up to six. Now, <laughs> going back up. Oh, you're welcome, Rudy. Anytime, buddy. There's his link right there for his video. Why is that not working? says he's watching it right now. Oh, that he's watching your stream. Yeah, one we're two. being watched. We're both we're being watched. Just, now we're up to seven. Yeah. And uh, getting to uh, that note, um, let's see here. Temperature says. Pre please press that like button during your stream or after your stream. Much appreciated. And uh, also, um, go to uh, JC go to JCM onecom He's got all kinds of goodies. In fact, I just bought that. Um, Thing that you just got from me not too long ago, Martin, that Apple um, uh, light bright kit. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, I ordered that yesterday, actually. My capture cards just died. Uh oh. That's not good. Have you tried turning it on and off again? No, there's no light on it. I updated the firmware and then decided not to work again. Ah, uh, that's. So the firmware may have bricked it? Probably. That is a problem for another day. Yeah, so it cannot read. It doesn't matter if you put the, the thing in front of it, it will not read a DMG. Yeah, you talked to Eric Helgeson on that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't recall DMGs ever being supported. That's fine, I'll just convert it. Because if you wanted to use a blue SCSI for like a G4 or something with a SCSI card in, then you're not going to be able to mount DMGs either. Well, in the OS, you could. You just make that DMG a, a file on that volume. Yeah. But that, I know what you mean. It's not the same thing. No. Maybe I'm asking too much. I don't know. No, not necessarily. I mean, ask and he he could always add it to his list. I'm sure somebody's probably already asked. Hmm? But I will message him and see what he says. There must be a well, reason behind it. Volume of request too. Which makes a difference. Yeah. Yep. 
Well, I converted it in disk jockey and then it's just created a file saying where is my file, so that's it. I can't see the contents of it. I don't think I really need this ring on here. Oh, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. Now, I think I'm going to try it without it. <clears throat> All right. I mean, Let's see if I can break this. It ought to be able to support printing that much of an overhang. It's not that big. See if Sheep Shaver will mount it first. Yeah, I think I'll try it without it. my files gone. Oh. It's not good. No, no, it's just a text document that says, why can't you see your files? This hard drive is formatted with the Mac OS extended format. Oh, I see. That's why I can't read it. Oh, I'm an idiot. Are you trying to read HFS on um, seven five HFS plus on seven five or something? Seven six seven six one. That's that's yeah. that's why it doesn't work because I'm booted into the wrong operating system. That explains it. That's that famous Doom mod. Where are my pants? <laughs> <laughs> Laser, which will do nothing. Laser. But, uh, the lowest hanging fruit at the moment. Oh, so, uh, extended, what was that, 8.1? Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't like it. We'll give this a try. I don't like 8.1. Yeah, I, I usually do 8.6. And the, Garth, didn't you say 8.5 is flaky? Um, well, I would just say if you're going to do 8, something later than 8, just do 8.6. Just because if it's on, obviously you're on a PowerPC system and there's better PowerPC code. Now, granted, if the, um, I'm doing my little figure. If the system is kind of slow anyway, then it might depend. It might actually be better to be on 8.5. But yeah, generally I'd always go 8.6 than 8.5. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. It won't work, but... <clears throat> I love these random names that give stuff. <laughs> Let me see. If okay, Rudy. Can... Get plenty of groceries. There you go. So Ooh, like groceries. Definitely not going to work. Buy stuff to make us homemade pizza. <laughs> okay. Pizza sounds good. Pizza always sounds good. We have I leftover uh, turkey. We made turkey dinner. Uh, what are you Friday? doing, Jim? Friday? Yay! It's a gut bomb on a Martin bomb. Excellent. It's Why a photo that? bomb for the ages. <laughs> Why is that so big? <clears throat> because it's, it's because the stream is offline now. There is something really weird going on with OBS since I've updated it. That's that was your first problem. Yeah. Once it works, just don't touch it again. <laughs> last okay. Oh, yeah, last time I did an update on a crash loop. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, that was good. That that's why I'm nervous. Uh, not not this week. Like I said, this next Sunday I won't be streaming at the thirty first, so we'll be and I'm going to be using that new uh, streaming software. So we'll see how disastrous that goes. Ooh. 
We can get 15 of us in here. Yeah, yeah it's going to be loud. <laughs> it's not going to be that much difference from 12, uh, 10 to 15 on us. I mean, come on. It's only five extra people. Uh, there's a big Depends difference. Depends on who those five <laughs> extras are. <laughs> just, just going from the, uh, the Discord discussions, having that many, yeah. it's, it's exponential. <laughs> Yeah, I, see you, I, you know, I, I noticed you guys have been hanging out there quite a bit at, in the evenings. I, I haven't joined in because there was like a bunch of you in there already. I was already doing stuff, but yeah. Yeah, uh, Dave, you're always welcome, Dave. Dave is making excuses. Yeah, kid. Dave, where you been? <laughs> What's up, Dave? Don't like us, Dave? Did you even noticed oh, we no, were doing no. you, you, you uh, thought you were too good to come in, Dave? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Betty, uh, Betty said he couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have the cash permission. No, I just, um, I, I like I said yesterday, I was just too uh, tired to do anything. I, we, were, we got back from San Jose, and I was done. And uh, I, I really need to do a YouTube short of my wife driving. Uh, you guys will enjoy it. Uh, but as I'm right, as the passenger, I am uh, dreading it. Uh, <laughs> Is she doing race car car some drifting or something, you know? No. Um, let's, like, let's how are you still alive way. to talk about this? Because, like... <laughs> well, he won't be when she, if she finds out about the stream. You're still around I, to live, I, tell I mean, Well, I asked her, I go, I said, do you act this way when I'm not with you? She goes, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the, see, when you get to a certain age, you don't really give a you know what what someone Pretty else much. thinks including yep. and especially your spouse yep does yep. she drive fast. slow or does she drive fast yeah well, no, that's, crazy. that's no she she drives fast uh, that's not the issue okay. it's this she has to comment on every oh every, hi jack how you doing buddy uh uh road rage everything. road rage and, and i go you know they can't hear you <laughs> But I can hear me. <laughs> Look, I do the same thing, and it helps to vent. You know uh, what? You know I would call it more than venting. Uh, <laughs> you no, know, it's more than venting. <laughs> oh God! Oh, uh, I'm just You're like stupid, uh, baby, baby, I, baby, I, I can't. I, I can't get down my seat low enough. <laughs> All right. Wow. Why That's are you bad. embarrassed if, if they can't hear it? What's she, she pulls that just... gun out of the center console and makes it out the world <laughs> rage. Yeah, right. <laughs> Too much. No, I'm, I'm glad she doesn't have one. She'd probably use it on me uh, in, in her fit of rage, you know. But no, it's this it's just especially um, after watching the stream, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Steve's no, like, she's it's not just, watching, is she? She's no, standing behind she's you, dude. Probably. Hi, dear. No, no, she. Uh, she, no, I mean, I'm not saying anything that she wouldn't deny. Already so, know. you know, yeah, she already knows. <laughs> so, yeah, but so yeah. what you're saying is if um, you do do a short, um, obviously it's not going to be a live stream because you would be demonetized. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I've been so tempted just to turn my phone on and just let the conversation roll, you know. <laughs> yeah, just hit like, hit like voice record and just get the audio. Yeah, well, I, I would be doing a video too, but you know, because you can you can do it any way you want when you edit it. You can just do video only, or or I mean, um, sound only, and just put something up. Yeah, put a hidden camera in a car. But it's just, a it just it is, and I told her I and I said you know, I go don't don't be doing this. You're going to give yourself a heart attack. You know. <laughs> so anyway. So oh, that's why it's very exhausting on a trip back. If the tra see if traffic goes good, no no drivers on the road, not a problem. All right. <laughs> and what I mean by no drivers is no one on the road. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> like it was everything was okay in like April of twenty twenty. Just her on the road. Yeah, during the pandemic it was fine. Yeah, she just there was no bound road, you know. So yeah. <laughs> as soon as all those bad drivers came back, the words came back too. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? Right. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? 
So what I'm doing is I'm playing with my uh, choo-choo train parts here, so that I made. So choo-choo train, train parts. Mm -hmm. Careful playing with that; make you go blind. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, uh, is Trina in? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel her well, somebody had to fill in at least one comment. Somebody on had that to day. represent her somehow. <laughs> Dude, I mean, that was the first comment, a Trina-style comment. So, so far, I'm poor sure. Trina. No, Trina these are. Um, she got it anyway. <laughs> yeah. So no, these are uh, okay. This is for the uh, locomotive that I've been building in the last, I don't know, two three years. Um, so these are the MU lines. So when they connect up other cars and stuff like that, you hey, know, Frank. they have these. Frank. Yes. Hey Frank, how's it going? Frank. 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 Yes. Frank. And Jack. It's Jack, 68K. And Francois. Yeah. Francois. Francois has been here for a whole lot of time. Yeah. Hey, it's Cup Bomb. And he's big. Rudy. Rudy. <laughs> Wait a second. Ah. Creepy 3D printed skull there, man. Did Cup Bomb have plaid oh, pants on now? Oh, yeah. Anyway, these, these are the, uh, you can see a little better. These, um, these fittings on the very end, I'll try to zoom in here. These are very, very detailed. Um, this is really isn't doing it justice. But you can see uh, they're very detailed. They're, they're uh, brass castings. They just slide on it. But anyway, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then these are the, uh, these are the unfinished number boards that I made. So nice. the, they'll all be backlit, so they will light up. And I have to cut these down, and then these get mounted up inside it. So I made for the front and the back. I made four of them. This is one that's pretty much all cut down there, right there. Because you won't see it. It's, this is flexible enough. I warm it up, I can heat it up a little bit, and it'll just get uh, glued up behind it. So, yeah. Uh -huh. That CD-ROM drive doesn't sound I right. I fixed great. it. No. <laughs> you fixed it? Oh, I thought somebody like like pulled out a Dremel. Head. That was unexpected. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought that was a Dremel. That was a CD-ROM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. And, and these are some of the uh, brass castings uh, that go oh my God. on the uh, airlines underneath of it there. These have to be uh, trimmed down a little bit, but they're pretty much ready to, to go on. At this point, I would just paint them and then I'd attach them. So, yeah. Let's get my other test disc, not my good disc, and put it in that thing. <laughs> Gee, windy outside. <laughs> windy out today. <laughs> Sounds like a chainsaw, girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's better. It was horrible. <laughs> it's better. That must right, be the uh, eight times speed, huh? <laughs> See how many this image has. I swear he's firing up a lawnmower or something. Why that sounds so horrible? Probably because it's broken. No. Is that the one that wasn't working, Gar? Yeah. This is the one that just makes some weird noises and doesn't read. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I lubricated the rails and then it stopped making weird noises and actually it's going to be acting normal. So it must be something just misaligned. Here. Oh, then he then he put the case top back on and it's not working. Noise? Yeah. <laughs> Could it oh, be the so case like our, top? Is the the gears um, not mesh with the? Is that a tray load or? Because if it was no no no, it's all just old or uh, newer caddy or tray blah, 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 tray load. Oh, yes, not yeah. caddy. Um, okay. I think. Yeah, if it was working it without fine. being assembled, so maybe it was something to do with the assembly. <laughs> I think I think the thing on top just was misaligned. This game without a disc in it. <laughs> Sounds good. Beep, beep. Okay, one more try. What could go wrong? Actually, let's just kind of plug it in. <laughs> what could go wrong? Let's just have, let's just have power for them to.
Gasoline does not sound good. Grindy. Still. Oh. Grindy. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? That's what the gear sounds like. Where's the other drive got? Oh boy. I'm going to try that technique we used last week where I throw it off the deck. <laughs> well, how did that work last week? It didn't make it worse, which I was kind of disappointed by. <laughs> he wanted us to break it more. Well, at that point, oh, it was kind of a lost hope anyway. One man's disappointment. I would assume so. If you're throwing things off a deck, yeah, you definitely didn't have any hope of it working. Get in there, fingers. So what you need to do, Garth, is set you up a camera outside and put it on slow motion, right? Right. <laughs> have it so that way you can see how many times that bounces on the ground. It's working. <laughs> and by working, I mean it's not making horrible grinding noises. <laughs> how did you do it? I think I had the, uh, I think I had the, the drive door, the tray, not aligned right in it, I think. I don't know. So the whole thing was not vibrating? Sure. Yeah, I think it was literally like... <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. She's breaking herself apart. Let's Keep see if it actually mounts a disc. Mm. Well, I don't hear a Dremel. It's working. It's oh, working. Good. It sounds... Huh. Okay, that's my oh, ironic. That, cool. That sounded good. No, I don't want to launch Apple Music. God, I hate you, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's a, a really old CD. I think it's HFS, so it's it's mounting just the audio portion of the disc. Yeah, great. Now my Apple Music's freaking out because like, oh my god, I've got to update your music library on this computer. I haven't done this in <laughs> twenty months. years. Great, but it's working. You, you you scared it in submission. So I think what was wrong the uh, the, the actual head rails needed to be lubricated. Um, they were kind of sticking, so just mm. clean them up, lubricated, and obviously get oh. it realigned right, and then it works. Nice. It would make that weird noise even when you didn't even weren't even trying to read. Yeah, I don't want to log into Apple Music. <laughs> Ooh, nice one. But you must. We want you to. Let's try another disc. Actually, it has data. <clears throat> you guys hear Penny in the background? He's going nuts. Uh oh, what's wrong? No. Uh, I think. Some Amazon driver is delivering something a block away, so she has to make her She's thing. letting you know. <laughs> By the way, there's somebody at the door. Not even at I know it's working because it told me it's not readable by this computer. <laughs> okay. I need a, uh, I need a disc. Someone a mile away is walking the dog. A DVD. I will be back with a DVD. Does anyone know if WD-40 ah. reacts with plastic? Uh, it makes it smell. Yeah, I, I, I have not run into any issue of it, not saying that it can't, but... Okay. <clears throat> I have not run into any. You have to make a um, 
by making these little, I don't know if you can see them, yeah, cups that I can put some WD-40 in. Uh -huh. It has a blotter that you can use to do release material for the stamp or a release oh. coating. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Is that your own design, Eric, or, were you, or did you get that like on the archives of the files or something? Or? Um, I got the stamp uh, blank and uh, uh, holder from uh, Thingverse. Mm -hmm. And then I'm making the um, pattern myself. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Hear the neighbors out there using a leaf blower. Yeah, but I can hear that slightly can in the background. Yeah, yeah, a little bit in the background. You hear like a whine. Yeah. <laughs> this is grimy. And this has been through the ultrasonic, and it's still grimy. Oh, you don't have a camera really? right now. Oh, come on. There we go. Now now we can see if it's grimy or let me, not. Uh, let me make you big here. There Oops. you go. I think I hear patches outside. Probably want some food. Hmm. That does uh, look... Uh, I mean, does it looks obviously it looks better than it did before, though, right? Yeah, it does look better, but it's like, still needs some scrubbing. Mm -hmm. IPA and electric toothbrush works really good. There you go. Ooh, 99, 100%, pretty much, yeah. Yep. I don't go for an electric toothbrush. I go for the Simpsons toothbrush. <laughs> uh, for me, I go with the Oral B electric toothbrush, a reused one, obviously. So there you go. Just put it on there Mar and just kind of let gravity do its thing. <laughs> Marge will be doing her thing today. <laughs> well yours is definitely fancier that's for sure <laughs> i got these from trina um they she bought them in that uh unboxing extravaganza of a couple months ago when she yeah. bought that guy's whole table at world of retro computing okay <laughs> So have you played any more with your uh, Mac Plus uh, gut bomb after you've modded it? Uh, yeah, um, I'm waiting to get a speaker for it before I take it apart. And, and I'm also waiting for the RGB to HDMI to arrive. Before yeah. I'm mess, much more messing cool. around with it. Cool. Did uh, John get uh, that... Um, internal SCSI board did he get those made up for yet or oh not yet i think he ordered some boards but he's still got to put them together yeah um, i bought a uh blue SCSI v2 external board. i think i probably just i think we did an external one nice because with the rominator in there and the ron video board Whoa. i don't know if i'm gonna have a room or the SCSI one. I guess you do. You have all that stuff in there. Yeah. 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 I had to mod the uh, frame a little bit because there's, um, John showed two versions, but I think there, I think there might be three because mine still look different than the ones he had. And so anyway, I had to chisel out some of the uh, frame, which was no big deal. It was easy. I just marked it up, took it, you know, took everything apart, took it out of that machine and used a Dremel on it. Uh, with a cutoff bit and that that steel cut pretty easy and then um, so that way when I put the board in there there's there's plenty of clearance 
Yeah. Because it was uh, it was uh, hanging up on the frame. It really literally need to go like because uh, he he has a provision on there. You can move that a couple of spots on that. And I had it furthest back, or as, say furthest back, I think. And it still wasn't. Even if I had it at the other location, it still would have hung up on the frame. So um, I just cut that out and works good. I mean, it's kind of interesting. Uh, all the stuff we do to them wasn't even possible back in the day when it, when those machines were made, you know? Oh, that's kind of a mess. Yeah. yeah. I can't really see that probably. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Let me make it. Let me make it big, Eric. Let's, we'll get a good view of it here. There you go. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Let's well, it, it's a bit of a mess though. It's not focusing. Come on, focus. You know what that looks like. In the late 90s, <clears throat> drug manu illicit drug manufacturers would put little designs on ecstasy pills, and that's what that looks like. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any experience with those drugs. None at all. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it needs supports. It, it got really wavy. Or I could invert it. Well, maybe if I print it upside down, it'll be better. Cool. I've got an extra drive now. Nice. <laughs> Meaning, yeah. I took it out of the system. Meaning it works. I shouldn't have swapped the other drive before trying to fix this one. I might try to fix the other one later. I might try to fix this other one again later. Um, mm -hmm. The one with the eject thing. I bet you anything, if I just lubricate all the gears in it, maybe it'll just work because maybe it thinks it's got friction on it or something, you know? And it tries to pull back in the tray. I don't know. I had an Xbox 360 CD or a DVD drive that did that. And once I put lube in there, it stopped pulling it back. Oh, cool. Perfect. That's not by people what I did Steve. before, I bet. Um, don't hey, put Steve. labels on it, Garth. That just gives you false hope for the future. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of truth in that saying. <laughs> See what I wrote on I'm like, if you could actually read it. So it's from Mac Pro. Wait, worked? Wait. Was not working, oh, making noises. Lubricated rails now works. I mean, I'm looking at that now, and I just wrote it minutes ago, and I can't even read it. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like my writing. I know, it's terrible. <laughs> this is the uh, this is the MacBook Air I cleaned up. Um, the one was all covered with the stickers and stuff, which I don't know if this is this is a separate one from the other one. I don't think I actually showed it you guys out. We were on a Discord thing and I showed it to people. Oh, okay. It cleaned up really nice. Yeah. But does I didn't get to see it with, with yeah. the stickers on it. Yeah, it had like this plastic covering on everything and stickers and I don't know, actually I gotta say, the one, if you get one with a plastic covering on it, the little case cover, um, it actually protects it pretty well. Yeah. Got two like that now. Keeps keeps it from getting so dented up. Yeah. I ended up giving sure. up the other 11-inch uh, one to in front of my son's. I think I told you guys about that. But he's like, oh, this is my first MacBook. He's like, can I borrow it? And they borrowed it. And he's like, can I have it? And I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> it, was, it was a two gig <laughs> model, though. It's a two gig with the 64 um, big SSD in it, so. Cool. Not really missing much. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to eat some food here. Next Are you touching up some solder joints or a good bomb? Uh, preparing them for the moo. The moo gun. Mm. Okay, these are going to need some more. Okay. Right. Chemistry before the moo is going to be effective. I really should have left my bleed, my knife edge tip on there. Well. All right. 
You know, Steve, if you're not doing anything better, you could hop in if you'd like. Um, no pressure. <laughs> it has been a while since you've graced yourself on our stream. So, again, no pressure. Yeah, just, just in other words, what he's, what he's saying, Steve, is get in here now. <laughs> but politely. Save the show, Steve. <laughs> Right. I guess that's kind of the way you feel when you purchase things on eBay. I guess that, that could be considered uh, false hope, right? <laughs> Fine watching the dumpster fire from afar. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Quick time VR. Make sure you install that. Wow. Or... No. <laughs> uh, I think I will keep the optical drive on the server because I'm suspecting I need it again. The server's probably going to go to the void in the garage. <laughs> Frank says, Mac 84, I put labels marked, not working on some machines, in anticipation of the in invaluable future. It's like, <laughs> right, don't bother on it. <laughs> Just to remind you. <laughs> <laughs> don't waste your time. <laughs> but, when you, but when you get things repaired, then you can uh, give yourself a pat on the back. That was easy. There you go. Gosh. Moo. K and B pest control. There you go. Okay, I am hungry. Dave's low pressure stream. No pressure. Just low pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> so I think I will put Mavericks. Yeah. I want to put Mojave and I'm going to do El Capitan. Why not? Why not? I know. Because I can't put Snow Leopard on, so what's the point? Table here. <laughs> Good old Snow Leopard. I really need to clean this corner of the bench up. Uh, Steve, if you're still watching, um, more pressure. <laughs> well, you see, uh, my workbench is not as tidy as you think it is. Look at all that stuff over there. There you go. That way, I just want to make you feel better. There you go. That's terrible, Dave. <laughs> all my uh, all my janky uh, Engineering here, you see, I got every all the ports maxed out on here, and all this stuff I got plugged in. Um, and I do have my Christmas lights up here again, they're, they're kind of janky, they're just kind of stuck up there. <laughs> so, anyway, Steve, just thought I'd throw it out there to you. You're making date, Steve, you're making Steve feel nauseous again. <laughs> Alrighty, 
let's take and making the cow nervous. <laughs> A lot of pins on this. <laughs> I bet. You're pulling the, the VGA connector off a card, you said? Yeah, I'm pulling the, uh, this, this one's really nasty looking off oh, this uh, Voodoo One card, and I'm putting a new one on it. Like, look how gross this thing is. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, trusty. Yeah, the video signal coming out of this worked, but it was like very noisy. Oh, I have a complaint. Okay. The U.S. government lied to me. Uh oh, what they do now? Oh, no, that's they terrible. were supposed to deliver a package today, and it's not due till Monday now. Oh, oh yeah. This time of year, things are going to get delayed. Yeah. Just like the government to promise something and then not deliver. Yes. And it wasn't until after it met, you know, it must be an automated system where it says, oh, delivery status not delivered. Time and date supposed to be. Okay, recalculate. <laughs> now it's Monday. Yeah, I... I had something similar that um, it said that it was not going to arrive today, but it never changed the header at the top of the page that said the delivery date. So it arrived on Tuesday and it said it's supposed to be arriving last yeah. Saturday. Well, I think I can salvage this uh, stamp by just trimming off some of the garbage. Okay, well, that's good. So I'm saving a whole, what, uh, five cents? Probably less. <laughs> but it does save you some sanity and some time. Bluetooth mode. Connected. Bluetooth what? Because it sounded like a French word for poo. She sounded a bit um, excited. It connected. Hmm. Bluetooth meld. Meld, I got it, not meld. Still works. You know what? It's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one bit. How you doing there? How's it going there, sir? Yeah. 
cat's got something to say. Yeah, well, she's very talkative. I know. Uh, the sun might be on now. You find a nice spot to out there. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Go check it out out there. $30 a bubble wrap, $20 in pool noodles, two rolls of tape, and I have one Molar Mac and one 575 packed up. Yeah. Yeah. Now, wow. That's a lot of pool noodles considering how cheap they are. Yeah. A lot of bubble wrap, too, it sounds like. <laughs> Hire an intern to carry it on his plane seat. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you better make sure you have that on the right side of the plane. It might make the plane lean a little bit when it takes off. <laughs> yeah. You need a load master, too. <laughs> yeah. 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 Gotta warn the pilot to compensate for it. Yeah. Make sure they don't put it in the tail section of the plane. Oh, nope, by ocean on a pallet with other boxes unwrapped. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the best thing. If you can get it in the center of a pallet of other stuff. Hire some parts of it, Somalian pirates to do the boat Uber as a side hustle. <laughs> 15 boxes. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. Well, at least these things are pretty fast to print. I, I saw a video of the, the new hotness, bamboo, whatever, yeah, printing, and I'm like, that's criminal how fast it prints. <laughs> wow. When I first got mine, I mean, I knew it was going to be fast, but when I first saw it, I just was like, holy crap. It was, uh, it was shocking. Yeah. How fast it actually gets. It's always nice when it exceeds your expectations, right? Yeah. And the, the thing is, it's, it is so fast and so much more high quality, too, at the same time. Yeah. When compared with the Ender. But that's not to say the Ender is bad. The Ender is an excellent printer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one's working out fine for me. Once I got it leveled, I haven't had to mess with it. That's great. I don't did, move did it. Did you either. replace? Did you replace the springs with those with the yellow springs, the leveling springs? This is completely modified by um, Joe. I haven't touched oh, anything. Probably. Yeah, probably has the yellow springs then. Well, I knocked one of the capacitors off as I was cutting this, this guy off, and uh, I, I didn't lose it. I set it aside, I saw her back on, I just cleaned the pads, and now the capacitor is gone. <laughs> can't remember where I put it down. Bravo. It's how train is missing. 
Well, two good things on that gut bomb is, uh, number one, you didn't lose it. And number two, you know where it goes, right? <laughs> yes. Well, I did end up losing it. I just didn't lose it when I initially knocked it off. <laughs> but I have no idea where it went now. <laughs> we can't blame Cat. so... <laughs> Well, a box of a thousand old floppies. What's going on with Garth's screen? I know. <laughs> I think it's pre recorded stuff. It's a test video oh. I took like 25 years ago, or not 25 years okay. ago, like 20 years ago in my office. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's really disturbing. Yeah. Well, very was this That's almost as bad as Squawkers in the corner. Was this your Apple office? Yes. <laughs> It. <laughs> I'm building on some C64 yes. so I can get some parts machines. My 64 C64 stopped working. Watching Adrian's 128D video Oops. makes me want to test mine out. Oh, this is much better. So that's inside. Let me make you big, Eric. There you go. Oh, yeah, that looks really clean. Yeah. And, and the little footprint. Okay. So. What did I, you do? What did you do different on that one? I inverted it. Okay. So, oh, yeah, and it fits on there fine. That way okay, it cool. prints the, um, the paw print on the top instead of the bottom. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely do it that way. And are you using supports for the bayonet mount? Nope. No, no sports thing. at all, but it came out clean. Excellent. So that looks great. So I think I'll do that from now on. Yeah, I think this will work a lot better with this wax. Now I got to try it. Where's the heat gun? <laughs> I'm watching Garfs. <laughs> These all the Apple employees over there? Yeah, yeah a guy at work <laughs> shot this at work. And uh, okay. this is probably around, um, I want to say 2000, maybe, 2001, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All edited in iMovie, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. Because Apple eats their own. Well, oh, actually, no, he probably did this in Premiere, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh god, that's flashy! Look at all the all in ones. Everyone had all in ones, <laughs> except for me. They wouldn't give me one. I wanted one. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> hey, it's Leo. Leo was the best. What did really? you have at the time? Um, well, I started with I started with an eighty one hundred. <laughs> whatever. Jeez, in in ninety nine. Yep. With a fixed frequency, the sixty inch display. Eighty-one hundred. <clears throat> hmm. These all people that worked in your department, Garth. These are people who worked in the uh, CPU software division. Oh, okay. The the what division? CPU software. Oh, okay. It's Margaret. What building was that in? Building six. Oh, building six. Okay. Uh, I take uh, it. Uh, She's from too. Ireland. <laughs> you know, I don't think I've got a lighter. Wait a minute. I probably do for the grill. You can tell, you can tell Eric doesn't smoke. So that was was that over in, on uh, Infinity Loop over there? Your location or? Yep. Yeah. Obviously not the new uh, spaceship building they built, but yeah. Oh, no. Actually, uh, <laughs> Rubenstein's in here somewhere. Oh, okay. Cool. Look at him. What's this weirdo with a suit on? Apple. <laughs> <laughs> well, there he is right there. Rubenstein. Oh, yeah. He ran yeah, out the door. Sure like, enough. please, sir, let me get a video of you. Get out of here. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> 
Was that your boss? Or? That was uh, Hardware Engineering. Um, okay. Senior Vice President. I feel like a really fun place to work. It was then, I actually. I mean, it was wasn't, pretty right? grueling, but... I don't even know who that guy is. <laughs> how, how often did Steve come and visit the department? Never, thank God. <laughs> yeah, when Steve comes to visit, he comes to yell. <laughs> Dave Murphy. I lent him, I, I lent him a, a video cable for 6100 and he had returned it. <laughs> what a jerk. I, I, don't, I really hold a grudge, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. That's pretty neat. Well, that, that what was that in um, uh, uh, three twenty PDI uh, uh, <laughs> resolution? Or? That was a Sorensen movie at um, well four seventy eight by three fifty six by three fifty nine. Mm, okay, just a yep. Sorensen movie. I have actually a bunch of these old videos. Apple and PC. You remember what uh, camera they used? Um, he probably had at that point. We had some FireWire stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess it was like a Canon XL1, which was like the default DV FireWire yeah. cam. Yeah, and, and they would have had one definitely one. in the group he worked in. Um, to, you know, for yeah. testing and stuff. So, <laughs> Canon XL1 was like the standard for for a while. Yeah, I'm going to go upstairs and boil this and test it. I'll be back. Okay. That's cool. Oh my God, this dates it. Here's the What's Up video. What's up? What's up? Okay. Oh, jeez. My dad thought that was like the funniest thing back then. <laughs> Every time I would see him, he'd be like, ah. down in Santa Cruz. You just do swing dancing down there. I was going to say somebody was a bit wet in that video. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I remember when swing dancing was big for about three months. <laughs> that movie Swingers came out. Just look at all those overgrown Rick Astley shirts. <laughs> they look they look so money. I think this is from like two thousand, I'd say. It's funny though, because it looks like they dressed from way before that. That's just what things looked like in the late nineties, early two thousands. You just tend to forget. You got a member too. Uh, that's Santa Cruz. Uh, things things work a little differently there. I was going to say, I'll, I'll rephrase that. You want to forget what you wore back in the 90s. <laughs> Remember you were saying hey. uh, Bob about having surface shells and. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I always thought it was weird how on a Mac the letter K represented crack. And like, right. They never did that on PC. PC, they just said cracked. But on a Mac, it was K in brackets. <laughs> yeah. It was glued on. What a... I mean, darn it. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Go to where you Spice Girls drink Pepsi. <laughs> 
Burn it. <laughs> My wife is a huge Spice Girls fan. In year 2000. That's awesome. Oh, she Spice was Girls? 16 years old, so prime time for Spice Girls. Yep. So we still sorry, have the I'm whole collection of Spice Girl dolls. dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I actually have the, um, I have the Steve Jobs, where is that? Uh, what was it called? I don't know. Jobs? Steve? I wonder if that's ever been uploaded. I'm sure it has. I don't know what it's called. It was his, his uh, memorial thing at, at Apple. I got the copy of it. Um, oh, wow. Some of the stuff I hear so dumb. Oh, Pretty grody. Pretty grody, huh? I'll tell all this got through. Does not look too healthy right here. That's all black. That's all black going here. Make it big. There you go. Oh, yeah. 
Not, mm. not great looking. Some corrosion in there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what I can do about that one. Yeah, I think it's gone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trace is totally gone. I, I can replace it. This one I'm harvesting is in a lot better shape. Uh, hey, uh, Gut Bomb, do you have in your HP 8300, do you have a Wi Fi card in it? I do not. I use the uh, built in Ethernet. Oh, okay. All right. Because I. You're uh, going to need, if you want to do Hackintosh, you're going to need to get a very specific um, Wi Fi card. And I would talk to uh, um, Martin about Martin, that because he, he yeah. does more. Yeah. Because I was trying to take advantage of the mini PCIe port in there, because you can, that's, you know, you can plug yeah. your ether, Ethernet card in there. Because I have just the regular basic one that goes into the regular uh, PCI slot. And anyway, um, so I got one. But the problem was, is it, it said it was mini PCI uh, E, but it was still too big. So obviously, because uh, I got the antennas for it too, but <laughs> so so what I did is I said, well, let's just cut some pens off of this and see if it works, you know. <laughs> eh, didn't do anything, yeah. <laughs> oh, hopefully they're not used. Right? <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, that's one way to do it. Not 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 recommended, but anyway. So this is it right here. Um, I, I got the little antennas. Uh, and like I said, this is supposed to fit, but it doesn't. It's, they were too, they were too, like, like a pin too long on both of them. So, yeah. So, I, and this says Intel on it, but uh, yeah. on the card. But I need to find out I think which you one. May need, you may need to use the internal slot, like an actual full PCIe slot. 
because there there are several. You don't have to I think there are three or four slots in there. It depends yeah. what version. Of, it depends what version of um, the operating system you're intending to run on it. Why? Uh, in, oh, oh, you mean on the Hackintosh? Yeah. yeah. Mm, I don't know, what what version can you run on on that machine? Uh, I don't, what is the processor in that machine? It's a fourth. It's i, um, it's i, a fourth, I five. Or a third gen. Yeah, it's a third Sandy gen bridge. i five. Yeah, yeah. Sandy Bridge. Yeah. So uh, you should be able to run. What what graphics card are you using in it? Uh, uh, well, I just have the stock one, but I'm, but yeah, but I'm R5 gonna be having two thirty. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, Dave. I just remember from earlier. Yeah. No, that's fine. Go ahead. It's fine. Yeah. Um, see, the, you can buy the Broadcom Wi-Fi and Bluetooth um, combo PCI cards. They mm -hmm. are. Um, I'll 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 find the model number for it and I'll send you the link, but. Um, you should be able to pick one of those up pretty cheap. But they, if you're going to run anything new, like past Big Sur, then um, they drop support for Broadcom. Um, I don't know what Apple were doing, but because they've switched everything over now, they're trying to remove all the third-party legacy extensions from the, the OS. Well, they're, so, they were so, trying to prevent hacking. For, yeah. Uh, that's, that's part of the motivation. They yeah, they could use them. So you could do like Big Sur, <laughs> Sur on it, or um... yeah, you should you you'll be able to run Big Sur. Um... Okay. What about Monterey? Would you be able? Uh, that's twelve point seven point three. I wouldn't go that high. Not with a third okay. gen. It'd be. It wouldn't be. Okay. Big. Be just Big good. Sur. Then. Okay. Or or uh, Catalina. You'd probably be safe with that then, right, Catalina? Yeah, Catalina's no. okay, but you get you okay. kind of there's a lot of support lost now with Catalina, so Big Sur is probably your target. Oh, okay, All right. The machine is no slouch with a decent graphics card, and by decent I mean for the machine, like a 1050 or a 1050 Ti. Those machines are perfectly capable of like VR, so it's not like they're that under power. Yeah. It's still got uh, a three point it's still got a three point something gigahertz four core with hyper threading, so eight logical cores. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so that's what I plan on doing. Is that that'll be my special thing uh on it. Um, um after after I submit it on that one thing, I'm going to be crazy thing. I'm so we're going to hack and tosh it. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, the official guide doesn't support the R5 230. It doesn't mean it doesn't work, but I don't think many people have had success with it. I figured it would work well just because it was AMD, but I don't I don't know a lot. Yeah, the the minimum. Um, for that range of GPU is an R7 240. Mm -hmm. R5 isn't on the list. Mm. It kind of goes R7, well, R9. Um, well, we'll give it a try. Worst case scenario, it won't work, right? <laughs> you, or it'll be very best, unstable. Yeah. The thing is, worst case always... scenario, you'll get Visa graphics, so mm -hmm. it it it'll work, but it, you won't have the uh, acceleration. Acceleration. Or yeah. acceleration. Yeah. Fair enough. I just want to have some decent benchmarks to uh, uh, when I post it to uh, Tech Amber Stream. So on her. Yeah, that'll do just fine in in Windows Ten. Yeah. Uh, what is the model of the machine that you've got? Just out of curiosity. Uh, it's an HP uh, 8300 uh, Lite. Elite. Or Elite. Oh, is uh, it an yeah. elite, elite desk, is it, or just an Elite? Not an Elite desk. It's a small form factor. So it's the HP Compact 8300 Elite. Mm -hmm. SFF. 
A setback, yes. Okay. I have one too. And I did Hackintosh it before, I think, on High Sierra. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. Did you have like a dual, used... part, dual partition or just the whole thing was that? The whole thing was that. That was just when I first got it. Um, you know uh, a YouTuber named Nazi Lab? Yeah. He did a video on this exact machine oh. and how he got it and how he hackintoshed it. And mm -hmm. I got it from the same place he did because he's a Utah guy and I lived in Utah at the time. And he got it at the University Surplus store and I got my net. I bought it specifically because of that video, but then I like installed Linux on it instead because it worked yeah. better as a server. Yeah, it's trying to I got, I got mine out of a dumpster about, I think it was February of this year. <laughs> I paid 12 bucks for mine. You got yours free. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to find um, information on the um, Wi-Fi and whether the internal one can be used. Uh... I can't remember. I didn't. I didn't do Wi-Fi because I I always use Ethernet at home. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think I did use Bluetooth, and I got it working in under Mac, but I can't remember how I did it. it I may have been using a dongle. Uh, oh, excuse me. Jeez, sorry. <laughs> ah. Uh, so, it appears that it will support Monterey and Ventura. Yeah. It won't be too bad either. You've got 32 gigs of RAM in there, so that, that makes up yeah. for a lot of the shortcomings of having an older CPU. Um, mm -hmm. I'm posting you the model of the um, Broadcom adapter that you need to buy for that, if you want to go for Wi-Fi, but honestly, probably you just get by with Ethernet. It all depends whether you want to use AirDrop and all that sort of stuff with it. Yeah. Well, you need Wi-Fi out in the garage, right? Yeah, I don't have Ethernet out here, so I have to Okay, so yeah, you will have to try and get this card then. Um, they, they do do them on eBay. Let me, let me take a look in a private chat here. I don't know how many PCI slots that machine has. Uh, it's three or four. I think it's three. I think it's three and there's, it? and there's, okay. there's a one X. Yeah, there's a one X slot in there that's just perfect for a Wi Fi card. So I'll make, let me go to eBay and see. Uh... Um, in terms of. In terms of uh, small form factor graphics cards, I, I personally would have gone for something like an RX 560 or um, maybe a GT 710 for that machine. They would have been my options. I think you're the, you were in the constraints of the cheap PC challenge, right? Yeah. That's yeah. I didn't want to go over budget. Did. Uh, yeah, right here on it's Amazon. free. My clean VGA. Right. Uh, let me just have a look at the R5 and see if anybody's got it working. Or... Yeah, it looks like it's twenty-one dollars for that on Amazon. Oh, they sell it on Amazon today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have it on Amazon. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. The Broadcom. 
Or the uh, Wi-Fi code. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I copied. I, I, I copied code. the model number and I put it in and it pulled it right up. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it's a it's a Wi-Fi Bluetooth com uh, combo card. Yeah, it says perfect for Hackintosh. Uh, adapter won't include any wireless card. What? This this one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me have a look. Oh. Let me oh, see right. if I can find you some. Oh, it sounds like it's an adapter to fit it into a different yeah. kind of slot. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, an adapter. Oh, it's got the mini PCI uh, adapter on it. PCI Express. When when does the when does the challenge end? Thirty first was your last day to enter. You know, post your results. I'm just wondering if I posted you one tomorrow, how long that would take for you to get it. Well, the, you mean the network card? Yeah, because I've got stacks the, of them here. He doesn't. He doesn't need the network card for the PC challenge. That's just for yeah. Macintosh. Yeah. Uh, the we'll challenge do that is just after. for the benchmarks. Yeah, yeah. I'm just getting that. I just got that graphics card to do to have better benchmarks. No, no. I'm talking about the. I'm talking about the Wi-Fi card. Yeah, he doesn't need that for the challenge, so that's not time constraining. Okay. Yeah. So I've got tons of those cards. Wow, I got all those antennas on the back of this thing. Wow. Yeah. Dual yeah. Band, band Wi Fi card, uh, AGN and AC. Oh, it's got AC on it. Nice. Right. Yeah, they're, uh, they're AC, yeah. Natively support airdrop, handoff, plug and play for Mac OS. Sweet. Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah. It's, it's $49.99. That's, that doesn't break the bank, but like I said, I'll have to. I'll, I'll do that. Um, I'll have that for because we'll we'll do a we could do a stream on that how to hack and tosh it. That'd be pretty cool. You can buy them. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Just having a look on um, eBay. The most of them are coming from China, so that doesn't feel real confident. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, they are, they're literally like the only cards that will support, like, Bluetooth and handoff and don't mm -hmm. require a driver. They would, you, they're just plug and play, you plug them in and they work. Oh, okay, cool. Will that work uh, all the way up through Ventura? That will go to Ventura, but that's where it stops. Mm -hmm. They drop support for Broadcom in Sonoma. Bastards. Ventura is better anyway. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I like Ventura. Which is the one where they updated the, the settings menu to look like the iPhone? Was that Ventura? Ventura. Or... It was yeah. Ventura, yeah. I meant I preferred the version before that. that I hate Monterey. The yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I right. use Monterey on my Mac Pro and I, I just refuse to go above that because it's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's that's what I have on uh, this Mac here. The Garf sent me is Monterey. Yeah. Yeah. Monterey. Yeah, I forgot to stick it to that. I knew you can, you can take you can take Big Sur, um, but I left it at Monterey because eh, you can do that part. <laughs> you can do Sorry, it. Dave, there is a pre there is a pre configured um, EFI for your machine on GitHub, so it's not going to be too difficult to set that up. Yeah, it's a pretty common Hackintosh target. Yeah. It's because oh, it's yeah, so it's cheap and so widely available and it's like really compatible. Yeah. yeah. And it cool. you know, this machine doesn't even need a graphics card. You can just use the internal um IGPU if you want to. Yeah, that'll actually be easiest. Will, yeah. Will that work well, with the uh with the accelerated stuff? Yeah, you just have to run the open core legacy patcher and it'll patch the operating system with the previous version of the drivers to make them work. That's, oh, it's, okay. it's, an app, it's just basically an app you download and it does the rest for you. You don't need to do anything with it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll get that uh, Wi-Fi card uh, first. So that way I can have internet out here and then I can yeah. download it all that. Dave, don't you have to get internet so you can have internet? 
<laughs> you wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> uh, good point, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> All right, lost uh, my shoe. All right. <laughs> so throw my back out, lifting another match. Oh no! Dude, I threw out my back said... this morning on the way to pick up all the photographic equipment. Oh jeez, that sucks. By leaning out the window at the bank using the ATM, it just oh, yeah. like yeah. twisted my back in the just the right way. Probably, whatever. <laughs> Don't do that. But it's fun. Good advice, Eric. This is easier to do. It. It's <laughs> easier said than done, though. Slap <laughs> This is that is how you know you are getting old. Well, my server works I try not to think about it. When the simple things in life throw out your back, you're old. Yep. Dude, sometimes <laughs> sleeping throws out my back. I'll wake mm -hmm. up and my back will hurt. And I'm like, what do I do? Yeah. Oh, well, I have that problem. Cause I, <clears throat> I sometimes have to lay in weird angles in the middle of the night. I wake up weird angles because cats are crawling in different little spots. <laughs> and then I'm like... Those cats are going to be the end of you. I mean, sleeping yes. is a lot easier now. They're the end of us all. <laughs> they will take over the world. <laughs> okay, move down your turn. Yeah, I have a bed all to myself. So do I. I have a bed all to my cats. I mean, self. Right. Are you on a 1950s sitcom, Eric? Basically, yeah. <laughs> no, my wife's back is so bad, and um, I've got sleep apnea and yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. It's just easier to have her own beds. Yeah. Same room, just different beds. Nope, different, different rooms, rooms too. Yeah, that's yeah, what we, my uh, wife, wife and me do. She 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 likes her TV on. I like it uh -huh. nice and quiet, so I sleep yes. upstairs. I want it absolutely her. dark and quiet, and she has her TV on to get to sleep. <laughs> yep. Joe, wow. where's the Joe? Joe. Where? It says Joe. Joe. Joe! Oh, there's it's Joe. It's Joe. Hi, Joe. Good Hi, morning, Joe. Joe with the golden retriever. I love those dogs. How you did it doing today, Joe? Doing okay? No. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm not feeling well. I just oh. woke up, to be honest. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I bought something from your store. That should make you feel a little better. It does. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you feel, and I hope you feel <laughs> better very soon. It may ship late. <clears throat> oh, it's all good. I haven't no started hurries. building any of my orders yet, but you it's know, all right. it's all right. Hey, I, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, not feeling good. Go ahead. No, I added. So uh, you got it. You first. You first. Can you imagine oh, so you got be it. Like people. Wow. You got an <laughs> right early Christmas you? present from your husband before he took off. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so there's my thing that you need here. I got a, um, I added an item from your store, a couple items, uh, to my Christmas list, and um, I, I believe someone may have ordered something. Um, so. I have a weird feeling you may be <laughs> correct. Yeah. <laughs> but you are not going to find out, Eric. No, no, no. Oh, it could be one of many things, so that's that's all good. <laughs> <laughs> but you know Joe can see it, so you know don't spoil the surprise. Joe knows. Oh, of course he knows. Call me Santa. Is that your thumbnail, Frederick? Yeah, and, uh, attempting to do one. Uh, it needs an right. arrow and Mr. Beast. Yeah. <laughs> no, it needs, it needs something pointing at that polka dot guy that sells all the Mac stuff expensive. It's very, very uh, colorful. You have your YouTube pose on there, too. <laughs> Just right Earth. here. Are you making a cat version of the uh, foot for a Macintosh? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's <laughs> like that. It could be. Speaking of cat. No, it's, it's a... Um, 
a wax sealer stamp. I'm making them as stuff. Hey, Ginger. You'll love this. Somebody mentioned cat and you had to come over, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so they... Podcast to run tonight, too, man. That's yeah. such a common cat name. With Ginger? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, well, she's yeah, a ginger cat. Cats. Look at her. Yeah. I prefer Marianne. And then uh, the, <laughs> the cats have destroyed the, um, the, the cat tree. This is missing a, a little ledge, you know, a little spot on top. It finally broke off after like six, seven years of multiple cats jumping on and off of it. Behaves correctly. Please press that like button and go to jcm-1.com and buy now. And buy all your cool toys. Yeah, I love it. Every time you read that out, you really have to think about it before before you read it. <laughs> the, the dash really throws you, doesn't it? We're making a little box that has the kid in it with. Um, oh, nice. WD 40 and a canister for release material for the stamp. And I'll put some of those uh, little candle wax melty things in there. I hear a cat. Cool. This is, this is how you fix a busted trace the ghetto away. <laughs> That's my technique, too. We, we like I the ghetto, the... Or, or as, or janky. We call it janky. There you go. <laughs> I used a leg from a zero ohm resistor. There you go. Nice. Yeah. You know, uh, John, the big bad biologist, that's what he uses sometimes too, because that's what he said in one stream. He goes, I just save the clippings from my components and use them yeah. to repair traces and stuff, which which actually is a great idea. I make necklaces out of old briefas. <laughs> Dave, you know what you're getting from Christmas? <laughs> oh boy. Surprise! I've got some dead batteries around here. I'm at Christmas morning now. Let's see how horrible this hard drive is. And then they would leak all over the tree. As my mama told me, it's the thought that counts. There you go. What's <laughs> stretchy? Yep. Just like when you're a kid, you get your grandma gets you socks, or when you're a kid, you want toys and what? stuff like that. I and still it's funny get when socks. you get older, you appreciate those. I, hey, I like socks. I like shirts. My you know. my kids and and I have always enjoyed getting new underwear and socks in their stock. Oh, that good that good old uh, toothbrush and uh, toothpaste, you know? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, every year, Bianca gets a tooth. A toothbrush and toothpaste in exactly. to go with all the candy. <laughs> Gee, you mean I'm the only one that got coal on my sock? Uh, shall we <laughs> shall we play international shipping roulette today? Uh oh. Um, I have an order from Poland. Cool. Oh, that'll be interesting. I have a, an order from the Isle of Man. Oh, cool. Isle of Man. Joe, it's international. What is that? Isle of Man. You can it's next to the Isle, of, it's next to the Isle of Woman. The Isle of Man is uh, basically just off the coast of Britain, between the British Island, between like right where where the border of Scotland and Ireland, or Scotland and um, Scottish. England, uh. We could have just asked Martin and, and cut to the chase. There you go. <laughs> it's over there. <laughs> Yeah, here, just, let me get uh, out my map of U the UK. Right right here. I don't know how to do my fingers like this for Michigan. <laughs> 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 wow. Das boot. Yeah, so my hard I drive. I love died. the UK's um, uh, shipping instructions. It's like eight lines that will not fit in any shipping software in the United States. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I shipped something to. Namibia. Um, to, uh, oh, what's his name? Dan. You got an order from Namibia? From, yes. He's from Orkney, or the, the those islands, not the Shetland. Yes. But the, well, yeah, also near Scotland. Yeah, and his, uh, his address is like a little over the pond, something 
yeah. whatever, <laughs> Orkney Island. And I'm like, yeah. oh, I thought that was a joke in his return address. He says, no, literally, my home <laughs> building is named a little over the pond. Yeah, wow. they're, they're they don't. They have also have addresses, addresses that are numbers. just like building all names. It's great, just names of things. Uh, yeah. I shipped something for to the guy with the hat. Whose address was um, something. Uh, I'm going to paraphrase. It's like Chester College, so and so, Hampshire. Yeah, yeah. just Chester yeah. College, no street or anything. Yes, yes, the postal service will know where it is. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you, you, in the UK, if you you're given a house number, but you can change to ditch that house number and give it a name if you want to, as long as it's yeah. He said they, literally, they've never had house numbers on his island, ever. He's because he's looked to see if he could get one, and there isn't one. That might be because Orkney was not originally a British territory. They allowed yep. belong to uh, Norway. Yeah. Like the Shetlands, yeah. So, he said, "If you just addressed it to Dan, Orkney, <laughs> it would get to him, because he's the only one. There's only like fifty addresses." Wow! I just, I just kicked a solder ball out of my beard. <laughs> How did you, you manage that? Him? Did you feel it like you were off the today? board? It flew off mean? the board into my beard. Were but you having audio issues? Much of a beard. How did it unable to speak? I, I went in the bathroom to wash my hands. I looked at my face and like I had this shiny spot and I picked it up. It was this little tiny solder ball. How many solder ball in your face? Jesus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you uh, before you found you... that. <laughs> Paper. <laughs> it's a good thing you weren't using a uh, solder flux. There you go. <laughs> It'd really been hard to get out of there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, I have a very cool thing I learned but, uh, while being a uh, part of a printer company. Um, that's a weird thing. When you put your paper into your printer, what is the number one thing you're supposed to do? Felt side goes up. Uh, aerate your paper. You're correct. And you got to fan it really good, both sides. Fan the yep. Yep. Or you'll get paper jams. Yep. I did and, not know that. And like regular and regular and paper usually has two sides to it. It has a felt side and a wire side. And uh, it used to be marked on a ream of papers. I don't they, they don't mark it too much anymore because with the multi purpose paper now it's pretty much uh, um, felt on both sides, but uh, in the printing industry, when they do like they use the hammer mill paper, uh, it's marked right. Uh, it's it's got a little arrow on the ream, and it tells you which side to feed that that gets printed on. It's also marked up and down too, so maybe you know which side's up and which one's side down. Yeah. Funny story. All uh, my you... sheets of paper have up printed on them already, so I know which side to put them away from. When I was, <laughs> when I was you want to fan it really good before you insert it in the printer, absolutely, because it makes your life a lot easier. Yeah. When I was a tech, I Ask used to repair printers, and uh, one <laughs> client had this problem with uh, uh, the paper. And there was always like a tear, a mini small tear in the middle of the page every time you printed something. Oh. So I literally took apart the printer to, you know, there's a gear somewhere that's mangled up and it's probably tearing the paper. I could not find it. Then I decided, wait a minute, opened a new pack, a new package of paper. All the paper was torn new in the package. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Crazy. The whole batch, the whole box was defective. Yeah. Creed let that, one go that, get through. Yeah, that that slipped through the quality. Oh yeah. <laughs> or maybe that was the quality. Bad paper. All right. Mac Pro Ow. done. We do need a little skinny mini. Uh, Jack sixty eight K says, "Did you fall asleep when <clears throat> soldering uh, gut bomb?" <laughs> <laughs> It just flew off the board as I was soldering this guy on, I guess. Uh.
yeah, working in the uh, printing industry, when I used to work for AB Dick Company a long time ago, uh, you know, we go to all these print shops, and they have pallets and pallets full of ream boxes of ream paper, and so mm -hmm. you had to make sure that it was fed in properly because uh, it had a, they had vacuum feeding systems, so little sucker tubes come down, lift up, and insert the paper into the press. And but if you had the wire side up, it wouldn't print very good because it was a it's dustier on that side than the felt side, and also it would jam because it's wanting to roll the other way. So that's why they always indicated the felt side versus the wire side. So it jam like yesterday's jam, pretty much. Yeah, jam only. Absolutely. This this is about only here has a frowny face. And, and we're not talking toe jam either. Yeah, that's right. Wah, wah. <laughs> this, this component here has a frowny face. You got the eyes and the mole frown. Oh, yeah. Poor guy. And, and look, Sad I think jam. I know why it has a frowny face. It's a bit broken. <laughs> He's grumpy. Wah, wah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm still going to turn it on. It's still going to work. What's up, Pusky? Yeah, I don't need to take this off, do I? It's taken me a year to go through an entire box of paper. Yes. Really? I don't print a lot of paper. I print 90% of what I print is internet shipping labels. Yes. I print, well, I've got to print receipts. Or I, I find that you go through more printer ink than you do paper. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a laser I have printer. printer. I think it evaporates. <laughs> I have a laser printer, and I have not like it's it's an HP never stop printer, which like mm -hmm. you can refill with a funnel. I guess I've never had to had to refill it. I've had it for like five years now. Oh wow! Hmm. Cool. I don't print that much. But... Mm -hmm. A few shipping labels a week. What uh, resolution is that on that? Uh, Why are there two of those in my cart? I want to. I don't know. Them. It was cheap. It was one hundred and sixty bucks, and uh, best printer I ever bought. It's worked every every time. Never had a jam. Yeah. Jam! Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh. Let the printer be printer. <laughs> <laughs> and we go to proceed to checkout because this is my last ream of paper so I need to make sure that I have more on hand or else people will be grumpy at me you can start printing with seats on napkins <laughs> got a handwrite receipt how about no <laughs> Joe Using what happened to you guys used to print out all the stuff in uh, the instructions on an Im image writer printer that wasn't terrible. <laughs> I would love to get my image writer connected to a modern PC. Did it actually work? I have to like act, go and jump the check. Yeah, you could use that, that's something I'll have to invest in as an image writer printer. I just don't want to pay the shipping on them. Call uh, Steve. Yeah. I heard he has like a hundred extra. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about setting up a Raspberry Pi uh, print server for it. Mm-hmm. And then trying to figure out, how to, you know, just convert a regular text print to, you know, output to it or something. Does does Cups speak Image Writer? No. Cups the uh, universal printer sure. thing. Do, do. Sorry. I don't know. I, I haven't looked know. into it yet. I don't know. But I thought you wrote Cups, Garth. You should know. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you know, Garth? My my software company only wrote teach teacher testing software. Oh. It's called my product was called Test Scores. My company was called Oddsoft. And I got a cease and desist from a, a UK company that sold software for helicopters called Oddsoft. <laughs> really? 
That's at a crazy. very, very real company. <laughs> nice. Rider 2 works fine in cups using the IWHI driver in Ghost Script. There you go. See, wasn't it easier just to look it up for yourself than to ask me? Fight me. <laughs> <laughs> and get this up ridiculous story about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I have. But we I never doubt you for a minute, Garth. And those so, days, we wore an onion on our belt. <laughs> oh, well, I have a microscope out. I should look at some of those moldy um, things like that. <laughs> It's a science lesson. Okay, so this looks grimy. Oh, I just realized I no longer have to like deal with that. Never mind. That's awesome. Let the inventory begin. Yay. Do you have to take inventory every year, Joe? I'm sorry? Do you have to do inventory every year? Oh, no. What I mean by inventory is every time I get a list of orders, I have to manually go through every single one and determine what they ordered and put it on a spreadsheet so that I can determine I need to build 25 of this and 15 of that and seven of this. And I build them all on mass and in, in like an assembly line fashion. And it saves me time. Oh, okay. I know when we used to own own our shipping business every year, uh, we'd have yeah. to do inventory. Oh my God! Count Ohio box. got rid of that um, requirement yeah. about eight years ago. Yeah. Inventory is no longer required. That's good. like you paid yeah. tax to buy it. Yay! Yeah. yeah. Yep. Coming in handy again. Yep. Come on, come on. When I used to work at Costco, I was I could never get out of doing inventory because I was a management. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Your turn again. You no. delegate that to staff. No. No. Nah, uh, right. Well there was Trust one staff. one problem with that. Uh, the warehouse delegated to staff to do inventory for everybody else. So yeah. <laughs> but at least they get they got to go home. And they didn't have to come in Sunday morning to do post audit. And uh, yeah. so I would just, so instead of driving home, I would just sleep in my car. And because three hours later I had to get up anyway, so I just stagger into work and, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, you must have get smoked. Get the post yeah. audit done. <laughs> let's, let's do a bunch of complicated counting. <laughs> this will be accurate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Oh, I forgot briefly. I work for the government. We don't care about accuracy or any of that. <laughs> you just got to be somewhere in the neighborhood, right? <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's separation of duties that's important, not whether you do a good job. Oh, okay. Got it. Uh, did I just delete the wrong ones? Damn it. Oh, I hate when I do that. <clears throat> you too. Watch out. This order right here is the last V1 uh, DB25 I have in stock. Oh, wow. You're not going to make any more. You scared me. V2 Wi Fi. V2 Wi Fi. Get. That reminds me, I got to ask Drake to see if he's got those, um, those new little. Um, Smart port devices, and yet uh, for uh, Apple 2C, 2GS, and stuff. 
SP2 or SD2 SP. All these people uh, developing these products I wanted to sell. It's making me grumpy. <laughs> right when I'm like working on getting more time to do development, all these cool ideas come out, and it's like, stop doing it so I can do it, so I can quit my day job. <laughs> They're stealing your idea. There you go. Hey, you know, we are getting very close to the holiday times here, and uh, you still have time to get your Christmas gift for your your nerdy loved ones. So, right there at the link at the bottom of the screen, DVAT15, you can save yourself some money. Go to Kai Wheats, and you can get a K, KM601 multimeter. Now, this, this is the old version. You get a new version. It's got rechargeable batteries in it, a little kickstand on the back of it. And improved test leads on it so you get those faster measurements but anyway uh buy now and uh that way you might get it by by christmas or not uh just depends on your postal <laughs> service <laughs> <laughs> or not it's hilarious maybe maybe you will maybe you won't who knows but shop now Try and find out code. that's right i'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. it you know it's, it's uh we, we have no control over the shipping <laughs> That's my little plug for today. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we always we always do our PCB weight commercial. And, uh, Thirty minutes for that. Calling you right now to say it will ship quickly. Yeah. Keep talking. Well, I think they do offer different uh, shipping services, so you you could you could get it before the. For Santa stops by. That's right. There's a chance it might be zero. Yeah. <laughs> or less. <laughs> hey, Bacchus, how you doing? All right. All right. Yes, thank you. Merry Christmas to you, Bacchus. Let's get out the, the grease that Dave hates. <laughs> I don't don't hate there, him. I just it, don't. I just don't know. He said anyone who uses it is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how you phrased it. No, no, no. no. My memory's bad. Sounds just like Dave. It does, doesn't it? I know. It's weird. <laughs> I do like my technique for creating an applicator for this stuff. You take a Q-tip and you cut off using uh, flush cutters. You cut off uh -huh. the end here and make a very like um, beveled cut. edge here. And it makes mm -hmm. this nice little sharp tip thing you can use to um, apply grease with in little okay. small spots. Pointy. Mm. Epic trunks. Oh, oh. yeah. And, and then when you're done, you can put the uh, cut. Yeah. <laughs> bevel. What was it called? Baboon or something? Banana? Baloney cut. Baloney. I, I know I said, I'm like, what does that mean? And then thank God someone else to ask is like, I'm not asking. <laughs> Bologna ween. <laughs> I'm calling that baloney cut from now on. That's my yeah. favorite soldering tip. Do you know baloney man? Baloney man. This Friday. <laughs> so here's well, all the, uh, the other advantage of that is, too, is you can. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh -huh. Let me make you big. Hold on. Sweet. Let's oh. get a close up look at that, Eric. Let's go over here. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. That came out really good. That little paw. Yeah, so the, yeah. looks great. the convex one works better. Yeah. And the texture's gone. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, nice. it's, I flipped it over when I printed it. That made it a lot easier to clean up. You <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, nice. Meow. You 3D printed that? Ooh. Yep. Come on. Focus. You oh, can do it. I like it. Really? It's stupid. Do it too. Just like my camera. Put something up here. It's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm in focus. It's like, let me focus <laughs> on that book behind you. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's text there, though, damn it. <laughs> It looks like it's trying to focus on, I think that's a Wii in that box behind you. Or is it an Apple floppy drive? Maybe. That's oh, yeah. <laughs> no. mm. yeah. Here, let's do this. 
There we yeah, go. There, there, you, go. Go. there you go. Good. There you go. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. So I'm what? It, what do you now? So when you st okay? So when you impress on that wax? Yeah. Does does uh, when you pull that uh, die off of it? Does it come back pretty clean, or do you have to wipe it off, or the release is um, okay? It it seems to work okay if you if you put some WD forty on it. Oh, okay. That's what I was asking. If you had to put something yeah, on so, it. Okay. So this yeah. is my little thing of WD forty. I'm going to put in the kit. Oh, okay. Got some um, fabric in there, soaked in WD forty yeah. with some cotton. Yeah. And then uh, you just dip it in there. 325. Use it. Oh, and you, and you stamp me. it. That's awesome. Yeah. Good job. That's pretty clever, Rick. That really is. Welcome back, Rudy. Hey, Rudy. Rudy. Did you get everything on your shopping list, Rudy? My deal. Oh, I got eggnog. I should see. I bought a container yes. of eggnog because I every think every year I think I'm gonna drink it and I never do. It's literally in the fridge, not unopened and expired. Do you have a uh, um, do you have a, one of those creamy machines? No. Because you can <laughs> the problem that makes excellent ice cream uh, custard. My the problem is is that um, I don't drink like like whiskey or whatever. So yeah. And then uh so I was thinking, I was like, maybe I'll pick some wine in it. I just cognac. Just, just, that would be so gross. Just, just put it, it in your wine milk. cup. Plain. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> it so immediately awful. curdles your eggnog. Right. It's so gross. Uh, put, it's a wine I dog. put cognac in it. It's really good. <laughs> uh, a little, little rum is good in it too. Yeah. Just a little bit. Now, see, I'm diabetic, so I have to put a little eggnog in the rum. Yeah. Instead of a little rum in the eggnog. Actually, it doesn't work that way. No. This static bag has my name on it. No, you want the second choice. I wish they made a um, lower sugar content version of it, but they don't. Eggnog. Mm. Eggnog. I would avoid homemade, homemade eggnog. I would get store-bought eggnog that has been pasteurized. In the oh, market. yeah. Definitely. Unless, of course, your eggs come from the UK. Yeah, or if yeah. you're putting booze in it, then you don't. it'll kill all the, the yeah. salmonella in the egg. Hopefully enough so, booze. So a farine was <laughs> found an abandoned bird's nest, and it had well, um, a pre-hatched baby in it, so he became an eggnog. <laughs> oh gosh, that's perfect. I love it. Okay. I, pers so, I personally don't yeah. like it. Yeah. You know, it's an it's an acquired taste. You know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not a beer drinker. Uh, I'll drink it once in a while, but I I love eggnog. But the the latest is I haven't been able to find it lately. Um, not really? necessary. If I go to if I go to Folsom, no problem. But here, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of eggnog drinkers here. You don't have uh, a grocery store. I was a bit homesick. I was a bit homesick when I was in the UK and uh, learned how to make it myself. The grocery store that I go to every weekend has eggnog egg year round in a cart. Oh, really? In the dairy section. Wow. You know, how is magical? Is this uh, oh, what is I this? A, is this a, like a? Is this like a big chain grocery store or is this? No, like it's a an IGA. Idol? Okay. Independent Grocers Association. That's yes. what's I remember IGAs. We don't have them out here. IGA is awesome. Yeah, we still have them around here. The IGAs. Ah! I looked at the laser again. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we get really good. Uh, eggnog from Quality Dairy. It's a chain of stores in the Lansing area where I live. Is that one working, okay. or? No. That's Well, it's right now it is, yeah, but I'm going to show you guys the blinky laser. Oh, yeah. Look in the laser. Don't look in it. Don't look directly look. at the laser. Oh, beam. my God. <laughs> ah, my eyes! Did you, did you just trump the laser? Put it back together and then see it not work. <laughs> <laughs> My
Oh, trash. Oh, wow. Look at that. Still comes in a glass bottle. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be drank. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, they, oh, you actually have a bottle or I talked about it. Oh, yeah. Thomas Armstrong. Bottle. Do they uh, have it year round or is it just a holiday thing? Boom. There's a couple like fancier grocery stores around here. I've seen it in like that. Um, hmm. Well, I three definitely have two. to get some. It's three whiffies and two no whiffies. Jack brings up a good point. I always wondered if there are other kinds of nog other than egg. <laughs> hmm. Frankie dog. Never, never have heard. Uh, Christmas, Easter, and Thanksgiving. Uh, what Thomas says. That's yeah, here they usually have it at Thanksgiving and Christmas. I don't think cheese nog has the same ring to it. <laughs> cheese <laughs> nog. What about toe nog? <laughs> Oh, 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 my God. Oh, 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 oh. That's, all, that's awful. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look it up on Wikipedia and see what it says. Oh, God, no. Just stop. <laughs> yeah. I just remembered when I was uh, yeah, Rudy. a teenager. Yeah, see, Two he cheese. Likes, he likes, he likes oh, rum no. nog. No egg. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's just plain rum, Rudy. <laughs> it's a version of <laughs> curry nog. Yeah, you know, hey, I had a... <laughs> I had a really good omelet for breakfast this morning. I took oh, yeah. the eggs and I put some some sugar and some flour and some baking soda and some cocoa and mixed it into it. Um, and it made a delicious omelet. Yeah. Really? Wow. That's a nice cake. I watched the video. I made, a cake. I made a cake for <laughs> breakfast. That's the joke. I watched somebody today on YouTube making uh, chocolate fudge from mashed potatoes. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, I did not mean to send you that message, Joe. My BBA cable type on your, uh, on your, uh, and it actually looks quite, quite nice. Oh, interesting. It's something I would definitely try. Oh, we used to make a cake using um, tomato soup. Uh, it was like a, I don't think it was chocolate in it, but it was more of a spice cake, but it had tomato soup, and it was very rich. It was like on a stupid tomato soup can. It was actually very good. We yeah. used to eat it when I was a kid. Oh, my, dark. Oh. my wife ran out of eggs when she was making cake for her family once. Oh, so she used mayonnaise instead of eggs, which is perfectly yeah. acceptable. But she yeah. told her family that she had used eggs instead of mayonnaise and they flipped out. Freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, actually making yeah. a chocolate, like a chocolate sponge cake or a Victoria sponge with mayonnaise is actually a thing. People that actually do use mayonnaise instead of eggs. That's eggnog chicken it, free. There's a soy <laughs> milk version of nog. What do they call it? Soy nog? Uh, it's silk soy milk nog. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay. So far, it's working. Neat. All right. Good. This is fully a, I just now. found a board in my stash of boards that the manufacturer found a mistake and corrected it. Ooh. Oh. I can nice. see where they manually replaced a capacitor. Interesting. That's nice. Fancy. Have you ever wondered how they get milk out of soybean? Yeah, they, they oh, use really tiny bean. buckets <laughs> and they just use their fingertips. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. I if you squeeze too hard, it bruises them. You have to be very gentle with them. They have very, very <laughs> sensitive. Uh... That, 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 that just sounds <laughs> utterly ridiculous. There we go. Oh, <laughs> Oat milk, I got. Can you actually sell that? Oh, I've the Vietnamese it. have something called egg soda. Egg soda? Oh. Not sure I want to know what that is. No, Sweet drink made from egg yolk, condensed milk, club soda. I, it doesn't sound totally terrible. What do you guys give me if I drink the egg, the expired eggnog in my fridge? Uh, Come on, we're all about. Her. We're all eight years old, uh, so. We'll die my, I will give you my my uh, emotional support. Thank 
Thank you. I will give you a bunch of anxiety. Thanks. <laughs> how, how far is it expired, Garth? Like four days. Yeah, four days now. Yeah, you oh, would be that good if it, if it's if you keep the fridge nice and cold. Oil it. Refrigerator. What do you mean? <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah, you know that. I will say, plugs in. I guess already cool. said that. Already told you about the to-go bag in our car, right? That had exploded food in it. <laughs> no. Oh. What? What? Uh, we have like a to-go bag in our car. You know, like it's kind of more for like you know if you get caught along the edge of the road and whatever. And mm -hmm. uh, and it, we were in our car and like, what does that smell? It smells weird, like musty almost, and weird. <laughs> and then opening windows and like the next day it's still the same. I'm like, what is it? So anyway, digging around, I found. Um, my wife had put like food inside the bag, <laughs> like cans of something. I don't even know what it was. It was so gross. Was, but thank God it was at least in a plastic bag inside there. But it had all spilled and it just the most rancid, you know, horrible. Yeah. So I threw that whole bag away. She's like, why don't you clean it? I was like, no, there's no way I'm cleaning this bag. <laughs> It'll never come out. I'll reach like this forever, I'm sure. I had a, a pork, I think they were ribs or something, that was in a sealed plastic bag oh, God. fall out of the freezer in the basement to the floor and didn't notice it and um it it maintained integrity but it ballooned up and i was i found it before it had uh burst oh wow yeah thanks for that rudy spicy pillow <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> rudy Bad milk, great one, constipated. Oh, yeah, God. that's when you get emotional support from the other side of the <laughs> toilet door. <sighs> I don't know, Garth. Um, you could end up white, driving the white porcelain bus, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's ejecting on the white that's porcelain good. bus. Fixed it. <clears throat> Shifting gears. Just had to use some <laughs> little white listing grease. The, I'll be right back. I'll get it. Something here. Yeah, like double years. clutching and grinding. <laughs> Got to hold on to that white, you know, porcelain wheel. <laughs> Granny shifting when you should have been double clutching. Gross. All right. Let's see if this thing actually works now. So, so now that I've got these. Uh, Kit's going. I'm. I'm like. I want to give them to him before Christmas, but I'm gonna wait. What, are you do what is the deal here? It was Ben. <laughs> Joe doesn't like Ben. The incredible edible barf. You <laughs> f. All right, I'm gonna turn this on and see what happens. Smoke test. Three, two, one. Hopefully, the uh, 3D FX card doesn't like pop or something. Explosions. It works. But we can't see. I haven't turned it on yet. That's by design. The last time he turned something on, it disappeared. <laughs> See you, Bacchus. Bye, Bacchus. I need to switch my blade. It's working. Merry Christmas. Good. Good. Merry Christmas. Happy Chrysler. <laughs> my monitor is dead. I haven't even turned anything on yet. Not my multiple scan 15. I love this thing. Finally die. Oh, I'll be glad to be done with this so I can get back. To Usually I'll press, I'll press the power button and the light will turn on orange. Yeah. Yeah. Not Those the, switches break sometimes. Nothing. Does it work if you hold in the button? Nope. It's just Ugh. dead. Is that your Apple monitor? I, yeah, I'm sad. Are you getting video output? Yeah, you sure it's the monitor, not the computer? Yeah. The power cable wasn't plugged all the way in in the back. It's fine. Ah! Yes. <laughs> I love it. 
That's the best solution. It was a pep right. jack error. Three, two, <laughs> oh. Do you want to see the computer or do you want to see the video output? Um, you want to see where the smoke comes from? I can make from. you big. Yeah, the computer. The answer to that question is yes. Oh, my head. There's a cat meowing in my backyard. Three, two, one, is, it, is it your cat? Nope. It's uh, Patches, as we named her. She's the one of the feral cats. Oh, that's right. I forgot you had ferals. Yeah, we have five of them now. Is Patches them had... Named... Patches is had one, two kittens. Is one of them named Will? No. You don't get it? Will Farrell? I don't like that guy. <laughs> but nope, we got Patches, two babies, or not unnamed. Mama Cat, and then Lucky. Mama, Mama Cat! cat. Mama, yeah, Mama Cat, cat is the uh, mother of my three youngest cats. That's why we call them Mama Kitty. Oh. <sighs> Very cool. She's going to town out two, there. two dead obstacle drives are not working. It actually makes me happy because I was getting annoyed. I was, they were dropping like flies around me. Dude. <laughs> uh, now kings are dropping like flies. How am I going to? How am I going to? Uh, I'm not threatening the king. I'm educating my nephew. Bron, if Sir Marin speaks again, kill him. That was a threat. See the difference. You're looking at my Game of Thrones. password. This doesn't look yeah. quite right. It looks kind of green. Green. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, my soldering job may not have been as top notch as it could be. It looks really weird on the monitor, too. So it's not just this. Whoa. It could He's just green. be a connection issue. VGA cables are notorious for having shoddy what? connections inside the. Hey, wiggle it. I'll tell you for the Are you, are are you saying it's another pep cat here? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yes, probably. <laughs> Richard. Wiggle it. Why Rudy. Just a little bit. But you did get video, so that's, you know. Yeah. It could be and just it's a. It's a lot cleaner yeah. than it was. Are you using any adapters for the <laughs> video? Is it missing red? It looks like it's missing red. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm using quite a few adapters. That could be it, the issue. It looks the same on the monitor, too. So it's going from the monitor to a VGA distribution amplifier, which is basically a splitter. Oops. That's splitting the VGA into the capture device and the monitor. All right. Yeah, so I probably just need to solder the. I, I need to check my soldering on the uh, VGA connector that I added on. Mm. But here's what I'm going to do I'm going to fire up GL Quake. Paste. Oh, yeah, drivers. I'm going to go grab some lunch while this is printing. Lunch? What are you okay. getting us? All right. I don't know. Uh, uh, turkey, turkey on rye, please. No oh. rye. Sorry. B BLT for me, please. Yeah. No <laughs> rye? Rye is great. Unless you don't Freaking like rye. sandwich. Bagel lux. Ooh, I have kippers upstairs. I should have those. Oh, those are good. So a uh, gut bomb on that to graphics card, um, that AMD card, what will the stock um, Windows 10 drivers work fine or will I need to do the AMD driver download on it? Oh, definitely do an AMD driver download. The drivers okay. that come with Windows are always bad. Okay. Is it mean or is it slowly losing its color? It's missing red. It, yeah. yeah, it's missing red. It's got blue and red. Subscribe. I saw red. <laughs> but I want to see if it's clean. If it's clean output, then I'm going to fix it. If it's not clean, I'm just going to throw it back in the closet to fix another day. Hmm. 
definitely missing the red. <clears throat> you getting rain up there yet, Dave? No. Uh, are you guys? Are, are you getting any rain, Garth? Um, the rainstorm just killed his internet, so I think that answers the question. Uh-oh. <laughs> Man. He's gone. He, mu he must have a lightning storm. <laughs> getting any rain? Gone. <laughs> Maybe he yeah, his internet is. Oh, yeah, he says, hmm, disconnected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your answer to your question, Garth, if you can hear me, no, not yet. Although we are supposed to be getting some rain. I got let me look on my phone here. Let's see what their estimate is. Oh, let's see. I'm not weird. You're just unaccustomed to me. I'm not weird. <laughs> Uh, no rain in the forecast today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, but that's subject to change anytime. Sunny and 74. Well, he says, weird, I'm still connected to YouTube, but can't. Can't get Discord to run or StreamYard to connect. Oh, that's weird. Let's see. It is currently 50 degrees and cloudy. In my shop, it is 24 degrees Celsius. So that's 24 times 1.8 plus 32. Yeah, time for reboot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It is currently 75.2. It is where mm -hmm. my room is. Um, mm. Out here in the garage, it's about uh, maybe 50 degrees. And outside, it is uh, 62, which is the warmest it's been all week. Because we're going to be getting up in the high 50s. The Did Dave's mic just die? Hello, you hear me? Yeah, okay. Some I heard okay. rustling around and a voice that vaguely sounded like yours, Dave, so I wasn't sure. Oh, well, I'm not on my wireless mic. I'm on the, uh, I, I have the uh, uh, Yeti mic on here because uh, my road mic. Boo, Yeti! Boo, 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 boo. Garth, has some eggnog. There you go. <laughs> 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 Rudy says we're going to have a green Christmas here. We're we're trying to to grow green. Yeah. Yeah, so, Joe, have you have you talked to Trina today, Joe? I have oh. not. I well, when I arrived on the stream, I had been up for about four and a half minutes. So, uh, okay. No. Hey, Justin, how you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, got Justin, your screen Garth looks was bluish. here, but he got disconnected. He's trying to get back in. Uh, oh he's no! Having a technical issue. Yeah, my. Well, uh, I think the red, the red cable on my uh, VGA is not working, but I can fix it later. But I, I'm not uh, going to bother if I don't uh, get clean output. Wiggle, wiggle, so I just want to get Quake started to see if it's clean. Well, I have this... Uh, well, at the moment, I have the one of the 286s on the workbench because, as you can see, I actually bothered to start putting it back in the case. I also was last night installing... DOS and Windows to this hard drive that RetroTech Chris gave me. It's a 214 megabyte Seagate. Okay. And then I discovered that there is a, yet something else weird about this computer in that... It's Czechoslovakian. 
<laughs> that that could explain the weirdness. But so I think during my live stream when I was working on the two 286s, I had pulled the compact flash card out of the first 286, tried to put it in this one, and there were no partitions. So during that live stream, you see me really quickly install DOS to, to this compact flash card and installed some software on it. Well, last night, I tried putting this compact flash card into my computer to install DOS Bench on it, and Windows said it was not formatted, which is really weird. Hmm. So I tried to put the Seagate drive on the IDE to USB adapter and Windows never recognized it. Now, maybe that's because this drive's too old for that adapter. But I think this computer, probably something as a result of its weird password scheme where the the Duggars could give each of their children a password and still have a few left over. I think the where the master or where the par the partition table should be is being moved by this computer. I think it's like track zeros something else. It's like messing with the where things are. Mm -hmm. So I was actually going to start digging through my collection of cards to see if I had a, if I had an ISA network card in working condition. I think Jeremy gave me one if I can remember where I put it. Oh, actually, I think I see where they are. And I was going to burn an XTIDE ROM, disable the IDE and the BIOS of this computer, and see if the XTIDE would give me back the standard partition map. Or if it would act normal. Or is this the BIOS of this computer like really screwing with things? That's the question. Yeah. Mm. Ser or no ser? But, uh, uh, but, well, there's the pretty golden ceramic math coprocessor, though. It works like a champ. Well, so... I'm going to do my PCB way uh, commercial here, Justin. Oh, wow. Time. I know already, right? So maybe yeah. by the time Garth will be back in too. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. See you in a minute. And our channel sponsor is PCBWay. And it's hard to believe that PCBWay is celebrating their ninth anniversary. PCBWay is an innovator in many areas. They always keep adding products and services. So whether you're an individual and you're doing your own project, or if you're a big corporation, you have huge needs, PCBWay can upscale that. So whether it's printed circuit boards of any type, CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, design services to tailor to fit your needs, it doesn't seem like there's much they can't do. Also, PCBWay is having their sixth project design contest. And more about this, you can go to their link. Uh, you can look at the timeline criteria. Uh, you have until January 15th of 2024 to enter for the contest. There's a theme. You can pick out which one you want to do. There's all kinds of prizes, all kinds of cool stuff. These are the rules. You've got the judges that will be judging all the participants. Evaluation and submissions. So go to PCBWay.com and see what they can do for you. What? Yay! Oh, PCBWay. PCBWay. Right. And Garth is still not back. Right. He doesn't like us. Maybe his internet service provider doesn't like him. Well, you know that he does live out in the boonies, so I know all about that. Garth is up in the hills. The hills are alive with the sound of music. And I don't know how that song goes, so. That's how it goes. You know what are. everybody uh, else yeah. knows. 
Oh wait, if Garth's internet went down, maybe the hills are not alive with the sound of music right now. That's right. They're alive, They're alive with the sound of his crying. Yeah. The sound of sad max over the valley. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, do, do. That's, that's music. <laughs> or fiber, yes. Fiber makes everything. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's see here. So did you get your um, video done there, um, Frederick? Yeah, I believe I am pretty much finished. I'm going to hey, do right. a run through and then I'm going to publish. All right, awesome. Good job. Did you uh, roll your chair over your Ethernet line again, Garth? <laughs> I don't know. It happened really <laughs> funny because uh, I was still on my YouTube. I could still connect to YouTube and it was working fine. I could talk and everything. Couldn't launch Discord and, and uh, <laughs> StreamYard said it couldn't connect. It was on the end of the network. I'm like, what the heck? So it, I. Whatever. I, I actually rebooted. I was just sitting here. I launched, I launched Facebook and like our stupid little local groups like, is anyone else having problems with Comcast suddenly? I'm like, okay, what? <laughs> so, I'm like, okay, yes, I guess some pages. So anyway, I rebooted my um, router and it's all fine. Now, so I guess. Turn yeah. it off and on again. Uh, Thomas was saying that uh, the copper thieves were out and about and oh, stealing yeah. the wire yeah. or the fiber optic lines. Yeah, probably. <laughs> or the squirrels or the foxes. Or... Time oh. to order some food. All right, I've I've done all my projects for today. I mean, everything's been 100% success. Wow, that was <coughs> awesome! By that, I oh. didn't really do anything difficult. Oh. Nope. Yay! I found the data sheet for this. <laughs> The chip on this network card, but that actually doesn't help me. I need the utility to configure it. Ooh, hey, Justin. Justin. Hey, Garth. Yes. This uh, this two eighty six is very quickly earning itself a sus sticker somewhere on it. Is that the uh, is that a Emerson? This is the talking Emerson two eighty six. I love that boy when it works great. Well, it it actually probably would work great, other than I want to prove it's doing something weird with the hard drive. The bios. <laughs> you just yeah, I want to spaghetti in there, make it spaghettios, and then you'll be fine. <laughs> and no one. Oh, it's still dirty. It's still very dirty video signal. Really. Yeah, you see the big oh, yeah, the bars, bars and all the graining yep. and Oh yeah. Can you can you make it big? Yeah. There we go. It's real bad. No way. Yep. That's a bad Pretty poor, but it, you you saw it. It's the one I got from Rom and it's just yep. uh, I think it was Rough. stored in a in a sewer. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ron, why Ron gave it to you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> See if you could get some right. good use out of it. There you go. Back to the Voodoo 2, I think. Ah. Oh. I have weather music, weather channel music stuck in my head. <laughs> yes. I have some interesting music to have stuck in your head. I like that. Oops. Joe has a, a thing for super chill music, I guess. Is that like easy like listening uh, instrumental music or something like that? Yeah. Like, yeah. Is that the one? Is that the one they play on the eights? Yes. Well, yeah. yeah. It's really addictive. I went to get um, some uh, dark room equipment this morning and picked it up from some Facebook marketplace. And I was talking about it with my wife. And every time I mentioned the word safe light, she would sing the safe light repair, safe light replace. 
Oh, yeah. Now that's stuck in her head. <laughs> oh, well. Brilliant. Commodore's keeping up with you. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Cause the Commodore is keeping up with you. Are Ooh, you yeah. keeping up? Cause the Commodore is keeping up with you. Are you keeping up? Cause the Commodore is keeping up with you. Little world of gang, high technology. Keep it. And ever changing moves. In a world that's far from this belief. A changing Have you noticed that the, the arpeggio synth they use in the background is the exact same one that was used on Reading Rainbow? Oh, really? <laughs> How funny. Thanks, that may not be a coincidence. I did not recognize that. <clears throat> I needed that. Also, by the way, help, help! The Commodore is chasing me! <laughs> I'd love to see a parody of that, of like a full-size Commodore chasing people through public. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I, I'm working. I'm working on the Macintosh version of that. Okay, of that. Uh, so oh, that's a no. project I've been working on. Up with the Macintosh, w which which might require uh, cameos from all of you, uh, which I'll hit you guys all up for a brief no. like a six second cameo. <laughs> yes, of course. Do. You don't need to say. You don't need to say anything. Okay. <laughs> Hey, it's not blue anymore because I put my booty too back in. Oh, ah, amazing. Are you keeping up with the poopy door? Because the poopy door is keeping up with you. I don't know what the hell is wrong with Um, more. Actually, Interesting. I'm weird. I'm Interesting just choice. weird. That's what's wrong. Actually, aren't Mootsy something you want to get really far away from? Did you say Poopy Door or Mootsy Door? Poopy Door. Yes, we, yes, we door. Yes. <laughs> I'll go with yes. <laughs> oh. Here it comes. I, I thought he said. Ah, uh, maybe he's going to go Mootsy. <laughs> Mootsy. <laughs> Moopsie. I mean, I'm wearing Moopsie today. See? I got Moopsie. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Moopsie. Time I don't for have any cool, melt, cool sounds like you do, Joe. I haven't had a chance to, to do it. The, the only one I have is, uh, where's it at? Oh, God, I can't find it now when I need it. Uh, yeah, Swamp gobbler's just gobbling you. Moopsie drinks her bones. <laughs> Holy beep! <laughs> Run! I'm sorry, that's one of the funniest Star Trek episodes I've ever seen. It's oh, here. This is the only one I have, Joe, that's somewhat cool. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> what? What's that noise? <laughs> Run for your life noise! That's a surprise <laughs> sound. So, so, Joe, maybe what you should do is... You know some of the evacuation scenes from Star Trek The Next Generation? Especially the one where there's three people in the corridor and they all three evacuate going different directions? Yeah. Um, you should you should have that video, but over top of it, it's an evacuation announcement because a moopsie has gotten on board. And then when they run in the three different directions, a moopsie drops from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be that that would fix that scene. Yeah. <laughs> or you could just have your uh, commercial interrupt that scene, do your advertisement, and go back to that scene again. <laughs> Joe's thinking now. <laughs> well, the interrupt, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, it could be like those annoying commercial breaks during <laughs> shows where they do it at like the you're wrong a, moment. Stupid idiot. Yeah. Well, it's the right moment yeah. for them because they want to make sure you're still there when it the show comes back on, but Yep. Six V two. You keeping up with the Commodore? Because you want a douchebag? Are you <laughs> Are you prepared to run away from the Commodore faster because the Commodore is keeping up with you? In a world of fun and fantasy and ever scary shows. <laughs> I try to uh, update that song for modern audiences because there is something scary about it. Commodore keeping up with you, but uh, yes, actually, that commercial is very dated. Yeah. Actually, you know, I think depending on how big the Commodore is that's chasing after you, all you gotta do is just go through a single door because the Commodore is just gonna like run into the door frame because it's too wide to fit at first, and that might help you get away from it. You just have to apply power to its uh, adapter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you call the door to your bathroom, right? A what? commodore. A commodore. <laughs> a commodore. <laughs> 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 you know, oh. something we don't feel really oh. like. If I was using my new streaming software, I had drum. I can have the uh, the drum. <laughs> Get it? Do. <sighs> okay. What am I doing? Um, I'm I'm still looking for a network card that I can actually get the configuration utility for. That has a ROM socket. It's too bad we don't have an inexpensive way to recycle PLA. Not yet. There are several yet. open source uh, kits that are making it cheaper. Yeah. They've been all over YouTube the past week or so. Yeah. CNC Kitchen just had a video like today or yesterday about it. Right. Yeah, I've been keeping all of my uh, printer poop in a bag, waiting for the day when I can have some some PLA that I just use for prototypes. Yeah. Poop in a bag. It's in a dog poop bag. Mine is just in the bottom drawer of my desk. Actually, I just remembered. I I guess some, uh, why is this desk so heavy? And it's just like it's just like plastic static. And you're like, uh, that's where all that went. Yeah, I just realized I'd ordered some PCBs from Dave's channel sponsor, PCB Way. Windows Good 8, man, so. Justin. <laughs> Oh, also, if you've not seen David Murray's latest video, uh, I would not blame you for not watching it. It was, well, an update I, video. I am not but also, yeah, I know there's a number of you that aren't subscribed, but he also made fun of Parafractics. Uh, we all know that PCB stands for and the deadpans printed circuit board. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. So yeah, oh, boy. Practice, watch it. Yeah, I know. But anyways, I uh, I realized I have some of these boards now. Of course, what I also don't realize, what I just realized is, I bet I don't have the parts for this thing. Uh, that's right. I it? need. It's one of these like boards here. I forget what it's called. It's like a oh eight bit ISA. It's it's got a ROM socket on it. Mm-hmm. It's an XTIDE board. Yeah. Yeah. It just, it, but it only puts the XTIDE BIOS in there. So you exactly. Can use the that, controller. Yeah. I got some. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I need because, uh, but I don't have any 74LS. Oh, well, I might have a 74LS688, but I don't have the resistor nets for this board. Hey, okay, Justin. It's nice and clean. Justin? Yeah. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, 
I loved I loved his response to that. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, apparently, I uh, need to order parts for this, so. Yes, I have a, a coffee if you want to help me get parts for Dust Cinder no, Project. Yeah, it's quite hearing. Wait. <laughs> oh, okay. I will. Shame on myself for my coffee. Martin's got his 4400 out, I see. That's the uh, sound of Garth pouring the eggnog down the sink. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to oh, hide in the back seat of my son's car. Other noises. <laughs> you know, more human noises. Screaming. Oh, <laughs> oh cool. Francois finally got his account confirmation email from PCB Way. <laughs> he only requested it during my live stream oh, very Thursday. Good. <laughs> very good, Francois. <laughs> Hey. Okay, so I am just going to have to set this 286 to the okay. side because Are you keeping up with the Commodore. Commodore's <laughs> keeping up. That's all right, Joe. You can blame me now. All right, I yeah, played I that. You. It's going to be stuck in your head all day. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you didn't. You so played it, didn't you? Uh, I, I six, six, couldn't six, resist it. <laughs> Oh, you're, you're gone. Ah. What did you do? I kind of had my headset off. Got a plan. Got a plan. Wait, where's that computer? Hey, uh, it's not in here. David. I, oh, no, here it is. When Martin was trying out uh, Streamlabs, uh, talk station or whatever it's called. Yeah. Uh, you notice you can have five moderators instead of just two. You yeah. Have a whole team. Yep. Which is cool. And if, if you were to make me a moderator, I could make lots of air horn noises. During oh, Lord. <laughs> Don't do it. Well, we're going to be. Um, so the not this Sunday, coming next Sunday, because I'm not streaming on Christmas Eve, but on the 31st I'll be streaming, and I'll be using that new uh, Talk Studio software. So Dave, are we we'll, gonna have uh, tryouts again for moderator? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's free. I have to wear that costume again. It was, it was awkward. <laughs> what application is this, Dave? Uh, this is uh, OBS. Uh, it's uh, Streamlab uh, Studio. It's it's called Talk Studio, and Martin's it's, the one. It's a, kinda... it's a rip off OBS, right? <laughs> Isn't it? No, well, it's, uh, it's, it's 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 kind of a rip off of Streamyard in some respects, but it's got OBS built into it, so you, you have a lot more functionality on stuff. So you have the dynamic part like Streamyard. But then you have all these other things that you can do, which is actually, uh, as you know, you, you, OBS, is, it can be very confusing, all the stuff you can do. But you can import sounds very easily, um, videos a lot more easily. You can have multiple cameras, uh, so that'd be nice. Um, so, yeah. M many, many other features, too. You can cust totally customize it. So, And like I said, we can get 15. And also, uh, you can get... Uh, uh, people that are in the green room, you can get up to, I think, 20 or 25, and you can enable their uh, voice so they can talk, even though they're not on the air. So they're talking. You know, like now, when you say talk, are they talking to the people that are also in the green in room? The oh. They're talking to the people that's on the, in the stream. So you can hear their voice, but yeah. Yep. You don't see but their ugly not. looks. Okay. But so you, you can have their... 15 people in the chat and 25 people in the green room. All that can be dangerous. Room. It could be, yeah. Oh, this you is can, be you, I mean, you have control over it. You, you, you have control over it, but yeah. What's up, yeah. Spend all your time. But I've got, I, I've got uh, <laughs> some of it set up. I, 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 I mean, I just... Um, hope it works. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I just hope it works. <laughs> well, you won't. Because I was talking to Martin a lot about it, because he's been playing with it a lot more than I have. So I was getting the input from him, and uh, got out of Martin's fault. Some things about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Blame him. He's not there. Oh wait, there he is. 
so basically what you got to do is give Martin the, um, you know, administrative rights and stuff to help patrol all the people that are doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll have, I'll have more uh, moderators for sure. Um, hey, Mac, it's called, uh, it's Stream, called uh, Stream, Stream Lab Talk Studio. Ouch. It's it's just like StreamYard for the for the users. You just get a URL, you join the stream, and everything's done in the browser. Oh, so it's peer to peer. Yeah, it's way cheap. It's It's way cheaper than StreamYard too. It works exactly like StreamYard. So, like, you'll get a URL, you'll log in there, you can give your camera sources just like you do with this with the StreamYard. And and you can put your name. You have to put your name in. in Yeah. And yeah, the um, and what's the quality like? I mean, I know you have that, but what's the advertise? 1080, 1080p automatically. Yeah, oh, it's, it's okay. yeah, or less depending on your bandwidth. Yeah, <laughs> I, my bandwidth is low it. at all times. <laughs> oh, you're talking yeah, about internet. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. internet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Windows 2.0. What's that? You said yeah, on your bringing bandwidth. What? What system are you running on? A Pentium, on a Pentium 2, 266. With a Seriously, two. that's nice. Oh, I was yeah. like, what? I was 64 actually, megs of RAM. Okay, I would like some feedback on a possible live stream for to end December. I was thinking <laughs> of doing a stream called, is it a good idea to microwave this? Oh, wait, no, wrong, wrong idea. Is it a good idea to run <laughs> DOS on this? <laughs> And what I was basically, uh... well, this, uh, this was going to be like various computers for my collection where I was going to like, this one, this one, this one, like go get my oldest computer, which would be like a XT clone and try to run DOS 622 on it. That's or, a good idea. Which could be a good idea. Could also use up a lot of memory because you don't have any expanded or extended memory on it. No, I meant yeah. trying. <laughs> trying it, yeah. <laughs> or, like, maybe getting one of my fastest computers yeah. that still can do, um, I guess, the, the old-style booting. So I guess you yeah. can switch it to compatibility mode for boot. So it might actually like be like one of my... So it might be like a, a Dell Optiplex 3020 or something and run DOS 1 on it. Or C. Yeah. Because that would be completely ridiculous. Yeah, I couldn't get as far back as DOS one on this Pentium two. I, I got DOS two. Yeah. Run QDOS. Yeah, yeah. Seattle Computer Products QDOS. Or, or maybe even uh, um, trying uh, like free DOS or uh, PC DOS or something like that. That could be DOS fun. Run on could be fun. New, okay. New well, PC DOS. It would be different. Would it be? Um, you know. Interesting, definitely interesting to watch, and it definitely be content. So, it would yeah. definitely be content. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sure> Justin, <laughs> they'll be like, hmm. Stream content is always good to have. You know, you you have all the people here that would be guaranteed to watch it. So, all right, yeah. the food is <laughs> on the way. And, and maybe I might even could, um, if I could figure out a way to set it up. I don't know. It'd be cool to have like. Did you just use the East Coast Mike could? Yes, Uh-oh. I might could just use Mike could. Because I, I am East I Coast. I might did Mike could. I am my East Coast, baby. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> I got to differentiate oh, myself Lord. from those uh, That's a very uh, West Coasters. Thing, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, I thought it would be also could be cool if. Uh, I had like maybe some, I don't know. That'd be if I had like a Joe reaction video, for example. If it was like a really, really completely silly, really idea after retrospect, I don't know. Some some Joe reaction. Are you trying to get a reaction out of me right now? Uh, no. Uh, maybe. <laughs> 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 oh, <my gosh. laughs> because I'm going to have to directly ask Joe, not suddenly hit Joe. Yeah, you you know how that works. If you suddenly, hit, <laughs> yeah. I will utterly forget we even had this conversation. <laughs> yeah, of course. 
I, I gotta figure out how to get OBS to where I can like play a reaction video. Because I, I haven't figured out the art of playing a reaction video on demand. Uh, I know how to do it. Yeah. Ah, well, maybe I'll have to directly ask Joe that question, too, at some point. Mm-hmm. It's not hard once you understand it. I need a beverage. So. I'm gonna get Good a idea. Beverage. My beer glass is broken. It's time mm. to fix it. I was almost tempted here. to... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually almost tempted, mainly because I've flacked my thumb on something and it's still kind of throbbing. I'm going to go get a coffee no. from Sheets, but... <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh oh. Sheets to the wind. Uh a hey, uh, serve your own coffee from Sheets so that I know it's decaf. God, I could use a coffee. Right now. Uh, I've already had a coffee and a that? master's. So time for beer. What was that? But anyways, I uh, I've pulled out a power supply that. Uh, I think this power supply is uh, has something wrong with it yeah it's taken apart got problem are you running these all in the same uh, hard drive? a little gooey too uh yeah if they no, i'm make, using make this... compact flash cards i have one for each os oh okay yeah if dave could make this big for a moment uh, Stay right right. It's uh very very Hold on. Hold on. yeah yeah that we, that we quiet I'm hunting there we go. Warning, what you're about to see may uh, may not be compatible with trying to eat at the same time. But uh, uh, it looks like my... Uh, it looks per- There's no problem with that at all. It looks delicious. Turn on, Justin. Um, Somebody playing a game that's very, very loud? Considering yeah. this playing power... power yeah, considering this power supply is like a really weird shape. Yeah. And I cannot find a power supply the same shape despite looking on eBay. And not only that, it's like it's, Eco it's an, ATX. What's this power supply out of? An Emerson 8800EC. Oh. I need to try to recap it, so I got to figure out what caps it needs. But because yeah. I don't know if that's leaking or what, but this like this resistor here, I think has had it. I think you all of them have had it by the looks of it. <laughs> I mean, this resistor is green. It's more than green. Yeah, it's like. I think it's environmental. Yeah, it's like everybody here different. is just green. That was With a envy. Wobbly too. Oh. There you go. That's what happens when you have cats on top of the Mac Pro. It's warm. Well, at least they stay definitely warm. warm. But the Mac Pro is actually I um, oh oh I installed Linux on it because uh, I messed up the uh, version of I was messing around with oh, it and messed up something oh, on what's the. What's going uh, on with that? You know what you that should goes. do? You should replace the entire thing with another power supply. He can't uh, find one that's the same shape. He's already I said this. I can't find one that's the same shape. It's because this isn't like an AT size power supply that has the the side switch on it. It's yeah. not even that size power supply without the side switch on it. It's not a. It's wider than a standard AT power supply called AT. Just to confuse everyone, even though it's not like an IBM AT style power supply. Yeah, Actually, it's proprietary. It's a proprietary shape. Yeah, well, way. you can get a multi-rail, meanwhile power supply that's smaller and has more power, and you can yeah. throw it inside. Possibly. Just reuse the case to hide it. Yeah, exactly. Well, the problem is, I don't know that meanwhile makes a four-rail power supply because this has plus twelve, minus twelve, plus five, and minus five. Can you yeah, use a Pico? I don't. Uh, I don't know that the Pico will supply enough power because this no. can. This uh, plus, I'd have to do more modding than I really want to. Right, right. I guess you could replace every single component. Well, I mean, I guess I could price what a Meanwell would cost, but there's really. 
Well, I don't know how I would mount it in here, but I guess I could find a way. Yeah, the question you got to ask yourself is this side really kick? worth repairing. Well, considering the computer will not function like it used to without a power supply, and like considering this power supply is a different shape than like it can other work. options, I am going to have to do something to it. But um, maybe a gasoline uh, match. E waste. These you are some are, helpful answers, I'm aren't they? Kidding. You all are <laughs> hurt. You're, Let's get it running. Yeah, I would. You're, yeah, mean well is a good idea. A P Pico, um, a Pico PSU or something like that might work as well. Oh, well, actually, I just realized something. It seems as if this power supply is actually not supplying one of the rails I just listed off. Because I just realized. There's like two two pins on the power supply that are not populated. Negative so. twelve volts. Um no, negative twelve volts is labeled. All right, so five left, volts. So going to the main board, I have red, 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 white, black, 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 purple, yellow. <laughs> So which are the two colors that are missing? None of from that means thing? anything. Those are colorful. Well, I sure thought Joe would have colors. like immediately said, "Oh yeah, it's that's what's not going to the." Some of those are standard, and some of those are bullshit. Wait a minute. Hey, I've got a question. Can you guys hear me? No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can't yeah. hear you at all. Yes. No. Dude, <laughs> my headset has a thing where you flip the microphone up and it mutes you. But yep. apparently it doesn't work. Apparently oh. not. No. Nope. Do you have another mic on? No. <laughs> I will say oh, you don't cool. sound as as clean as you normally do. It's using the wrong microphone. Yeah. I got it's written around the board there. Justin, negative five, negative twelve. Yeah, I just easy, realized. Easy, that it's, easy. it's smart. Am I cleaner now? So Oh. I am not crazy. I promise I am normal. I okay. am not crazy. Don't put that hollow paradol in me. Hello, hey, Jim's Jim. retro hey, Jim. stuff. Hey, I think I see what's missing. Hi, Jim. Be right I don't back. think this. Sometime. I don't think this power supply has a power supply OK signal. I think that's what's missing. Is it an AT uh, or an ATX? I don't do think that, that power supply is going to signal okay, considering the state. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's not an ATX, right? It's an no, it's an AT. Style. Yeah, exactly. Is Isn't there it? really an okay signal in normal power supplies for ATs? That's the question. Yes, yes, there is. Uh, my answer is yes, there is, and now I'm trying to find a, the pinout to confirm. Probably that's the what's purple missing. one, though. No, the purple one on the PCB is actually labeled negative twelve minus twelve volts. Okay, because normally, because <laughs> uh, normally, I, yeah, no, I normally I think the purple one's actually uh, one of the signals. Remember how earlier I said sometimes there's a standard and sometimes there's not. Yeah, that's the case. Hey, uh, I actually have powered one of these boards up, not the one that's in the the computer I'm trying to restore, mind you, but I have a spare motherboard for this computer what? that I've had powered up before with a standard AT power supply. So if something proprietary is going on, I should have blown up that other motherboard. Oh, geez, that looks all goopy. That's grody. Or the other colors of the wires. That looks like rat crap. Is my sound any better now? It's, no, it's getting uh, still, worse. Still breaking up. Still breaking up. <sighs> All right. Hmm. All righty then. So let's see, 
plus plus 12 is yellow <clears throat> minus 12 is on this power supply is minus 12 is purple yeah, that's very and then we got Yellow's four four grounds and then minus five is white that's even though it's supposed to be orange i know this power supply is using the wrong colors and then plus five well, what, is red which... well at least plus five is correct what color yeah, are the pl- ground green they're, they're black so the red and black wires are the correct colors we're using oh, the, the plus, two, the plus 12 also uh well so plus 12 my back which is right where i can't reach it there we go oh i'm looking at the colors for the at power connector which the at power connector actually uses blue for plus 12 even though the drives use um yellow it says plus 12 on your board right there for yellow for plus 12. yeah yellow. but the thing is on a standard at connector that uses the standard at color code so there it is no your 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 blue is probably your uh, power okay no <laughs> Do, do, I'm no, pretty sure cause... that. Well, I have to look oh. at the pinout on the web, but if you look at the, oh, the yellow is... wire, I don't. No, I'm confused. Look at look at the board on the power supply. It says plus twelve for yellow. That's not what I'm trying to convey, but I'm not conveying it very well. I'm I looking really... at a gra- I'm looking at a graphic on the internet, which may or may not be wrong. That is the pinout of the AT power connector. I am looking at this board here and the colors it's using. And I have this power adapter cable that has a third set of colors on it. (coughs) And none of the three match. Okay, I've got a... My question also is what type of computer is it? Because Dell has been known to mix up wires. Purposeful. It's not. It's not a Dell. It's a Emerson computer. It's an ancient computer, right? Proprietary. It's, yeah, it's a, it's Who cares a, what the color code is? Where do the wires yeah. go? Yeah. Where, yeah. Really? I mean, what are you worried about? I mean, if you want to make a new connector, just make a new connector, right? I mean, no, no, make them it, all black. <laughs> right? It still work. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't get the problem because I probably didn't state it. If I replace the power supply with a mean well. Meanwhile, doesn't necessarily have a power supply okay sig- or a power goods signal like the AT power supply would normally supply, except for the fact that this power supply apparently doesn't have what a is power it, What is that signal. signal even used for? To tell the chipset to start booting. Um, Great. A lot so of, what a you lot do of... is you, get, you figure out how to create a bootstrap circuit by Googling it and then create your own bootstrap circuit for power good. It's simply the plus five volt. Yeah. Well, it's usually held off for a moment. Um, so put a five-five-five timer for one <laughs> shot. Well, it's a moot point on this power supply because this power supply doesn't even have a power good signal. Well, if it's an yeah. AT, it's not going to have power good. No, I eight AT power supplies do have power good. I'm staring at the pinout. Pin Why one so this is isn't an AT power supply. Well, what? It has a big physical chunk switch that disconnects the line. Uh, well, I'm looking at a pinout for AT power supplies. There is a power good signal. That's great. That wasn't my question. I'm like, why is it even necessary? Because the power supply has no power to it until you press the big chunk switch. Correct. But the power supply takes some, a, a small amount of time to come up to regulation so when you first turn it on five volts isn't five volts so if the computer starts running then you're probably not going to be running correct so therefore it's supposed to have a power good signal so they just, this- so instead of designing the the motherboard correctly to have a a 50 millisecond uh reset hold 
like every other normal computer that has ever existed, they des over designed it into the power supply instead. Got it. Understood. Yes, that's what IBM did, and everyone that copied is them. That Except is the for dumbest this one. design ever. However, apparently this computer is probably doing the hold off on its own because its yeah. original power supply does not have a power good signal. I am staring yeah. at the connector. Well, then don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we even having this discussion? Sounds you like it's an easy fix. It. You don't have to create a power good signal. And you have a machine that doesn't need it. Just <laughs> put it in there. Because <laughs> I'm trying curious. to answer the 27,000 questions I, would I was being asked. All right, let me just oh, go off and... I, got it. Okay. We're... I know, I take everything way too seriously. Let me just go <laughs> off and find a meanwhile power supply. Hey, hey, hey Justin, Justin, is my sound fixed now? No. no. Sound... You sound gargly. Oh, I hate I this. Yeah, the problem that you had at the beginning of the stream is back. Do yeah, you have 27,000 voices in your head? Check this out, guys. Now, this is what... I just come up with a random large number when I'm asked a lot of questions in a short amount of time. Chicken okay. fingers and I'm fries covered in cheese and bacon. Okay. It's 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 called I have a limited Q depth and once I get more than the number of questions I can remember, it might as well have been forty three thousand. I don't have a stack or a heap or even a Q. I have a <laughs> register and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Dave, is that a microwaved hamburger? It is. I I <laughs> fixed my sound earlier by switching to my webcam's microphone, but I didn't oh, yeah. realize. Yeah, your sound sounds much better now. It. Yeah. Um, so yeah. then I realized that you could still hear me when I thought I was muting my mic by flipping it up. So I figured uh -oh. out what I had done. Uh, okay. So I switched back to my headset mic, but it's forked apparently. So I need to figure out what's going on with that. Uh, yeah. This is a Costco hamburger. Right. Frozen this one. Is it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. So. Dave, Dave, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm sorry, Dave. Do we need to talk about do that? <laughs> do we need to have the food discussion again? What's food and what is not food? Uh, it's it's non eggnog. So it's no Kirkland, though. Dave. <laughs> because, mm, they may so like I'd drink eggnog with it. <laughs> now I want eggnog. It'll be there by tomorrow. <laughs> now I want a hamburger. So now I'm tempted to go to Sheets and get a hamburger and a coffee. <laughs> what is it called? Well, I sheets? have my coffee here. But you don't have sheet stations out there in California. <laughs> you don't no. have them in uh -huh. Michigan. So it's, it's a it's a uh, gas station there or something. It's a gas station chain based in Pennsylvania. Thing? Oh. Are you going to go to a gas station and get a burger? I mean, do you yeah, guys we, have 7 have... I mean, pff, you never heard of that, have you? Um, uh, the closest have... place... <laughs> the, Sorry, go The ahead. closest place to me to get a burger is the Sheet Station. Uh, I could go to Wendy's, but that the Wendy's that's, like, close by likes mm -hmm. to screw up orders. Oh. That sucks because Wendy's hamburgers are superior to Sheets. But their their fries are terrible. Wendy's fries. Well, I, was, yeah, I wasn't okay. going to get fries. I just wanted Have a hamburger. Have you been there recently? They redid them. They're great. Did they? Oh, I haven't been yeah. there a long time. Oh, Wendy's? Yeah. yeah. Their fries are pretty good. Yeah. The, the really Wendy's fries are crunchy and salty and delicious. Yeah. Uh, I always new have new. the Baconator. That, so what, does Wendy's still like allow the skin into the fries? Anyway. Allow the what? <clears throat> skin, potato skin. Potato skin. Uh, because they were one of the only fast food anymore. places that would let, that would have the skin in the fries. I so remember I years that. ago it being like that, like many years ago. Yes, it still has the skin on the outside of the fries. I like that. Good. Um, do the, does this uh, gas station you get burgers at also have sushi? <laughs> oh, do not do not do it. Bodega sushi. <laughs> The next time you get sushi at a gas station, yo. <laughs> it's, that's that's almost as bad as expired eggnog. Almost. <laughs> probably expired worse. eggnog is pasteurized. The answer to that silly question is no. Sheets does not sell sushi. So and if they did, I would not buy it. Sorry. Do they have little than, hot dogs? Uh, than other gas stations. Then. Oh, they I, have hot dogs. They're... Ugh. Ooh, okay. Do they have 
do they have the hot dogs that have been sitting for 48 hours or on the roller grill and that's, sprinkled? that's what i meant yeah <laughs> get the uh, roller grill going just spinning for hours and hours and hours no sometimes you just want to have one <laughs> This is yep. so funny. I love it. Yeah, sometimes you want to eat leather. Well, all right. I my hot, dog, hot dog's crunchy. With your back. <laughs> all right, so well, I just you pulled away through, too, right? If you won't taste it. Yes. I, I know, all the way through. I know Jeremy would probably point out that, oh, you know, I gave you a four-rail four power supply, but... Uh, it's only an 80 watt supply, so okay, that's not going to work to fix this power supply. Well, he's not oh. here, so you're all good. Go. Okay. But is he? Oh, he could be lurking. That's true. All right. I mean, the case is big enough for it, so there's that, but unfortunately, it's got insufficient power supply <laughs> capability. That's after I had I put uh, silent or quieter fans in that. Yeah, part. yeah, I realize it's a lot quieter than than the stock. Yeah, I can't stand noise like that. Mm -hmm. It bothers yeah. the crap out of me. My servers over here are under blankets. Does that to make help with quiet. the heat? You want them well, to... Well, it's, it's, like, it's like a Gen 1 E5 Xeon. Like, it doesn't make heat. Mm. Heat is not mm. a thing that it executes. You cover it up with a blanket, it might. No, it doesn't. It's, it's fine. They sit All under right. there. They've been under there running continuously for months and months and months, years, years, multiple years. Turns out they're not even on. Yeah. Well, if they weren't on, I wouldn't be able to get on the internet because of DNS. But I'd know. Okay. So right. I just fine. need to wait for the uh, ceiling wax to arrive. Why would you nice. put wax on your ceiling? To seal it. <laughs> Love it. It's probably Hi, a I'm Eric, and I have the perfect comeback to every single one of Joe's stupid freaking comments. It's it's <laughs> it's a Michigan thing we won't understand. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh good boy. So you can clean off the nicotine easier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that reminds it, me of my parents smoked as a kid, and uh, oh. one time we had to paint the ceiling, but we had to wash the ceiling first. Gross. Yeah. So, and the ceiling was, it, you you didn't know like it was tar. brown until you started cleaning it, and you're like, oh, oh, yeah. And uh, yep. after that, my parents quit smoking, because they realized that was in their bodies. Yeah. Yes. I have seen, like, many computers, you know, where they're, you know, they're owned by smokers, and they, you know, go inside to clean them. Just complete nastiness. Oh. And yeah, like the dust like... won't come off because it's caked on with like Goo. smokers, smokers of choice. Yeah. And I'm, that's one of the things I'm glad I did is I, I stopped smoking. Me too. I did that. I stopped smoking. Gosh, well, mainly because of my epilepsy, but I'm yeah. still glad. Yeah, I stopped smoking in my I think I was 21. I was like, I hadn't been smoking long because I started smoking when I was like 15 and I stopped yeah. when I was 17. So it's only a couple of years, but that, that still takes a toll on your body. I'll tell you what, I yes. felt a lot better when I quit smoking. I picked the wrong day to stop sniffing glue. <laughs> <laughs> so snort, snorting the, paint, the spray paint cans. Eat that movie is great. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the best movies ever made. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized this power supply that was in this computer is not a 200 watt power supply. Say what? 150. 
It's a six so. watt power supply. Six watt, yeah. Six watt. Oh lordy. <laughs> That's like an Apple II. <laughs> no, I think it's 138 watts if I'm reading the part number correctly. 38. Oh, yeah. 138. Yeah, yeah, but it's the 38, the 38 part that I that is uh, weird. That surprises me. Well, so, it's uh, eight amps at five volts. So right there's 40, 40 watts. So that's eight and times five is three. thirty-five. It's forty. Jesus Christ, Joe! Now yeah, you know why I don't nearly didn't graduate high school. And see, and then it's 12, 12 volts and three and a half amps. So that's going to be uh, forty-two. So that's eighty-two watts. Do I hear 90? Go on, so, go on so, and so. then 0.3 amps at minus 5 volts and 0.3 amps at minus 12 volts. Why do they call it a PS138 when it's clearly not even 90 watts? It's probably 83 watts. Marketing? Marketing, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Because why not? It's just a that, um, it has nothing there's to do with a overhead that they have to calculate, so it probably does give out 138 total maximum to a maximum. But uh, if you subtract the 80, the 20 percent overhead, you probably end up with a, a 90 watt type of thing. I mean, I could totally put a Pico PSU to replace this. Except for the fact that I would prefer not to, I would prefer the power supply still be AC powered, because of reasons. So maybe I need to get a 12 volt meanwhile power supply. Original. I want it to look original. Yes. We know who you are. We love it. But this power supply Jeremy gave me could so go in this computer, because it supplies enough voltage on all the rails. Or it, it supplies enough amperage on all the rails. It could so go in here. So Except it's worthy. That, it could be worthy. Well, Except they're not like, worthy. So at the very worthy. least, you could use it, it temporarily to get everything up and running on the machine while you're waiting for perks to arrive to actually redo the uh, No, I just found the problem. It it electrically is compatible, but it is physically, it's physically too big. <laughs> Can you hang it off side off the side while you work on it though? Uh, I don't want to being an open frame supply that has no guards on the connectors. I don't want to. I don't hey, want to. Hey, Justin, there's this thing they make called electrical tape. You can just cut the over tape. it to get actually, the job. Actually, I'll just Wait. order the parts to do it right the first time. And, and Justin, I love you, but gloves, you are a too. stickler. You are an absolute stickler for perfection. And sometimes I think that makes your projects take way. And that's just funny. Well, we got member Joe, who's right. a test engineer. So this is know. true. This is true. Yeah. He's like, I'm not doing it a weird way. I'm doing it exactly as it's specified. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I'm not yelling it's, at you. No, I know. Kidding. It's like one of my character quirks. It's, it, yeah, it, it, it's, it's hard enough. You. Gotta run, everyone. Justin. I'll see ya. We, we wouldn't have it. Don't leave us, Garth. No. Bye, Garth. Bye. 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 Bye, Garth. Also, Don't seriously, leave. another one of my uh, God, character gone, quirks. Is, another one of my character quirks is almost leading me to go to be right back and going to go get that burger that would be <laughs> mediocre, but it's a. Actually, I probably won't get the burger. Could I have Wendy's for dinner? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. I like food. I bet you you won't. I enjoyed mine. It was very tasty, Justin. I'm still working on mine. Yeah, see that right there. Yeah. Hot garlic chicken on top I of fries, some covered in cheese and bacon. Salamis. Oh, I'm sorry. You can go ahead. And <laughs> There's not a Costco again, within an hour from me right now, so I can't. Costco does have uh, good, like burger, fresh-made burger patties. Mm -hmm. uh, that you throw in the grill. Yeah, really, you know, we get the we get the these are the ones that are already made up. And they they sell them. You, know, you get like ten in a box. Uh, they're the Angus burgers. Mm -hmm. uh, they're cheeseburgers. They're pretty. They're pretty yeah. decent. They're not bad. Yeah, we picked up uh, one of the uh -huh. you know throw it in the oven for an hour cheese enchilada. Oh yeah, uh -huh. from Costco, and mm -hmm. uh, 
Unfortunately, my neither my wife nor my daughter cared for it because it's got an adobo sauce kind of a flavor to it. Sounds good to me. Oh yeah. Well, I'm the one who's having to eat it. So. Oh no. <laughs> Some people oh, just yeah. don't it's, like it's that, a real... that adobo flavor, do they? Tell it's me it's sacrifice. not so. It's a sacrifice <laughs> more than a sacrifice for the greater good, right? Yeah. I got me some eggnog. <laughs> Yay! Mm, yum. I gotta, get, I gotta get me some tomorrow. I, I've been craving it. All right. I haven't had eggnog in years. I like to go what's to for cognac? For it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you got the cognac in it. Yeah. Does the eggnog know the rules of acquisition? <laughs> of course no, not. No, but Justin knows the rules of going to go get food because y'all are making me hungry. So I'll be <laughs> back. It. I'll be back shortly. Have, have an extra sheets. burger for me, Justin. <laughs> At least get the car. Grab me a hot dog from Sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Actually, I may very well get the hot dogs because they're actually not bad and they're cheaper than the burger. And, get and one of in comparison, <laughs> like a barbecue, the hot dogs are probably <laughs> better value than the burgers. They're probably better, more well preserved. Yeah, exactly. Maybe Anyways. Preservatives. I'll be back shortly. Yeah, I'm only going to Sheets because it's raining and I don't feel like going to Wendy's. Yeah. Cause... Hey. No worries. Anyways, I'll be back shortly. Okay. Good. Sounds good. We'll be here. Yeah. I'm waiting for you. I have yeah. no doubt about that. Yeah. Are you playing SimCity on a machine with an absolutely awful MIDI controller? Uh, it's only awful in OS2, but yes. And, uh, and it's kind of like, like oh, all so of that's the what that noise was. And... <laughs> Hour and a half, yeah. and the world, the WPT World Championship Day Three starts. World Poker Tour. Yep. I like watching people play poker and gamble with like, here's a you know thirty thousand dollar bet, and I'm like, well, there goes you know most people's yearly salary on one single bet in a poker match. I used to watch World Poker Tour and. Um, the World Series of Poker, like way back in the day when yep. it was like kind of novel on TV, but it all became really formulaic and annoying. Yeah, I just started watching it. I've only watched it for a few days, and I find it entertaining enough to throw on in the background when I'm doing other things. You should be watching my videos in the background while you're doing other things. I could use no, 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 no. See, if it's your videos, I'd actually be watching them. I don't they care if you just, they just be background just noise. Run the video all the way through multiple times. That's all I care about. <laughs> yeah, Joe just needs the hours, man. Are you, so, is, is, are you saying people don't watch your stuff? Is that what you said? Randomly make comments as well and like the videos. Yep. Uh, so this Mac Pro of mine is uh, classic Mac Pro is run, running uh, Linux pretty well. I am crazy. Because yeah, no. it's an Intel Mac, so it, of course it's going to run Linux well. I suggested a version of Linux I was going to try. Which version is that? I don't remember. Zorin? Zorin? I've tried Zorin OS. Very, very good. Yeah? Very polished. They have a very, very polished desktop. Try it's really nice. I still prefer Mints. OS. I've tried Elementary OS as well. I've tried tons of them. I've tried probably, as far as distros go, probably at least 30 of them. Different distros. Yeah. So I used to... Just have them on, um, you know, I don't like doing virtual machines when I'm testing out Linux. I'd rather do it on actual physical hardware. Yeah. So I would just install it on uh, different SSDs and then swap them out. My home server runs elementary OS, and uh, I very rarely need to do anything with it. But when I do, it's nice having yeah. a nice interface. Which just That's... throws it based on? It, Ubuntu. Bunch of oh, okay. it's it's yeah, but ninety nine point nine percent. I always should say nine. I would say probably eighty percent of the um, different distros out there. A uh, high majority of them are definitely Ubuntu based. And then of course, Ubuntu you have your Debian, Debian, you have your, your 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 Arc Linux, you have this, that, and the other thing. Am I weird because my uh, servers are running Windows? No. Yes. My server runs Windows. <laughs> Windows. Server 2012 R2, because that's the newest one I have a license key for. Well, see, mine's, my server's just for file storage, so it's nothing fancy. It's just a Windows, another Windows 11 machine that just sits in the corner yeah. that I remote into. 
I didn't need all that. The, the the bulk of the capabilities of an actual server distro or not distro, but you know OS. I'm not running a server at all. I like to. I call it a server because I just all I use it for is transfer practice. backups and transfer files too. Then I get a physical drive and back it up off that, put that into a, a, you know off to the side. Well, I guess the NAS tends to be server like because you can run stuff on the NAS. Yeah. Ooh, fancy Joe. Do I make you all jealous at how fast I build those? Mm. Oh, I wouldn't even know. How to, I wouldn't even know where to start. So yes. oh, were you building a blue scuzzy? A. No, he built like ten of them. Several. Oh, a. Yeah. Um, are those V ones? No, those are V twos. Um, Who would order a V one any these days? Because aren't the V twos uh, with the, the Wi Fi? Because they sell them at cost to get rid of them. Uh, that's yeah. I yeah, sold my I last V one DB twenty five this week. They're gone. Oh, so you sold out. Done. Awesome. Um, no more, uh, no stock taking up your space. Yeah. Um, what was I thinking? So when I was building them, I would, I would build them four at a time because they come four on a sheet. Just on a, a whole plate. Yeah. Yep. And it took me about 25 minutes to do all four. I should do it that way because I'm just, I just build them and separate them, then build them. Um, yeah. Well, you yeah, build them to order, though, don't you? What's that? You build them when you get orders in. Yes. Well, yeah, but I, I build all of the orders all at once, assembly line you, fashion, you. because it just it takes less. Time. Assembly Actually, lines are faster because you spend less time switching from task to task. You're doing, yep. you're repeating the same task over and over again. There's less task switching. Um, in the computer world, we call that a context. Um, <laughs> No, I was going to say about Windows. I run Windows servers because I know Windows servers. I know Hyper-V yeah. really, really well. And it's super easy for me to set up, uh, like, with a couple of clicks. I know how to set up an entire Hyper-V structure. I don't have to, right. like, oh, what command line do I have to remember now? What hot garbage is this distro doing? Oh, this is free. I needed the paid version. No, I don't have to deal with that. Just... Yeah, you definitely, yeah, it's definitely when the ser servers, and servers are involved, you definitely want to go with what you know. Windows. Especially when it's your files that are in jeopardy. Yeah, for sure. Especially with what you guys do, because like a lot you of you guys a, like I want to because I have videos and stuff with Hyper V that cross replicate to machines with RAID ten arrays. Like I've got yeah. layers of, of protection there. You I can just spin up a VM, cross replicate it. If one if one of the boxes goes down, I click a couple box, buttons on the other box, and it's like, okay, the loads are back. You gotta have that redundancy. Yep. Anyway, yep. I'm gonna go get my dinner. I'll be back later. All, All right. right. Bye. 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 Oh, I'm here. Shut up. Oh, so, so <laughs> I, I am still 100% shocked that we have not had a, a, a Trina sighting at all. Yeah, I haven't heard from her all day either. I sent her a message earlier. Yeah, no, no, no stopping in and say hey or I hope she's okay. I hope she's feeling well. Yeah. We'll find out tonight on the Retro Roundup if she shows up or not. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she she won't go to school. Here. That's right. Sorry, forgot he walked. Oh. Was that Joe? Yeah, he went to go get num nums. <clears throat> it must be. It must be food time or something. You know, Justin, me, Joe, Dave. Yep. Eggnog is Frederick, where's your, Frederick, where's your, your Oreos? Uh, well, yeah, I gotta cut down on sugar, man. It's oh, yeah. Terrible. Yep, I understand. I haven't, I haven't bought any Oreos since that for a couple of weeks now because I was like, you know what? You get a pack of Oreos, you can't just eat one. No, you, you eat up being like whole four thing. or five. Four or five, <laughs> and then 10 minutes later, another four or five. <laughs> yeah, it's no, it's not, it's not good. Four or five, <laughs> amateur. <laughs> <laughs> I like to pace myself. I, I like I, I like can't. fig Newton. I like the fig Newtons. Uh, the, the Walmart. It's not a cookie, Newton. mother. It's a fig Newton. Yeah. <laughs> I can I, polish I those love off fig real quick. Just the old fashioned, regular, plain old fig Newtons. None of those weird raspberry <laughs> ones or whatever those flavors. Mm -hmm. Just fig Newton. Sometimes I'll, I'll like have a, that in the morning. You know, go, getting ready to go to work, I'll have some of those in my coffee. Yep. You know? And then uh, also like a good, occasionally like a good, you know, oatmeal raisin cookie. Mm -hmm. Nice, chewy, well, not with the crunchy ones with the frosting on top, those cheap ones. We're talking yeah. oatmeal cookie. 
I was supposed to make um, peanut butter cookies this weekend. I oh, ran out yes. of sugar. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. I love peanut butter cookies. One of my uh, when I was growing up, uh, we had a you know because my dad worked so much, could be in a doctor, doctor, city corner, and ER worked ER, so he did all that stuff. He's only had two days off. <clears throat> Excuse me, and he um, so we had you know a a nanny basically you know she'd come in every day, cook, clean, yeah. take care of our our sorry butts, and she made homemade whoopie pies. Oh, so good. And yeah. homemade bread. She made home bread, homemade bread all the time, and uh, she made a uh, homemade cheese bread. Yeah, so good. It was just a, a nice. thick slice with butter on top. That's all you needed. Fresh out of the oven. Nice. I, I definitely miss. I miss those. Uh, the old days with simpler times when you go outside and play and eat dirt and no no adulting responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I remember those days. Yeah. I mean, there's good taste in dirt too. I yeah. mean, granted, you know, back when you know when we were kids, we didn't have the internet, we didn't have social media, we didn't have all this. Nope. We had to pick up, a, you know, a you know, rotary phone or a, you know, when you got lucky, you got one of those push button ones and to actually make phone calls. It wasn't yep. make a phone call from anywhere. Yep. <laughs> when I was a kid, a couple of my neighbors had a party line where, like, you would call and four different houses' phones would ring. And then the uh, the people who you were calling for would would all of them would pick up and and they'd all say hello and you'd be like I'm calling for Courtney or whatever and they yeah everyone would hang that's up weird the old the old party lines yeah yeah that is weird yeah we, see I remember um, you know when they finally came out with the internet and we had the old good old dial up and then you know anybody picked up a phone and hang it up <coughs> excuse me so my Dad decided to get um, each one of us kids our own phone line and one for the for the computer. So there was like mm-hmm. four phone lines in the house. Back in those days, that's crazy. Oh yeah. Yep. Hmm. Be right back. Need a beer. All right. Eric, I got my can of flowers. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm glad you can of like flowers, it. huh? Yeah, that's what uh, Eric calls IPAs. He just was still oh, like flowers. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. I understand now. Yeah, he calls them. He thinks the IPAs taste like flowers. They do. <laughs> that's what they're made of. <laughs> but remember, this is salad. <laughs> Good salad. Yeah. Liquid salad. What okay. kind? I prefer liquid bread. Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> you can have your bread. I'll eat my. I'll, I'll drink my salad. Yep. Computers with pride. Eric's Edge looks like Ron. Blue Scuzzy. Another Blue Scuzzy. Retro inside. Joe Frodo. Of course, you got the stupid parrot um, <laughs> and, and the monkey. One bit, Mackie. I'm okay, Mackie. Okay, I didn't recognize that one at first. I haven't seen one of his stickers. I don't think. Next, what is that one with all the Hello Cyber Pals? What is that from? Cyber Pals. That's probably. Um, it's VCF uh, Midwest. Yeah. Ah, uh, and there's that gut bomb thing. I'm still waiting for. Yeah, I, I've been really lazy about shipping. I'll, I'll get it out. <laughs> That's I haven't sent Martin's yet either. Hey, hey, uh, did I did I not send you a stickers gut bomb? I thought I sent you some out. No, no, I don't have any stickers for me. 
right. Dave, you need to remedy that. Yeah, I don't put, have any put your, uh, address. So I'll, I'll put your, you address. guys put your private uh, uh, put your addresses in a private chat, and I'll okay. I'll get them out to you. Did you have uh, any Justin D. Morgan ones? Yep, there yep. it is. Right there. Okay, yep. right there. Yeah. Right for the next. Okay, I, I guess I missed. Uh, that he part. actually sent me like seventeen of them, and I've been putting them <laughs> in all of the things I sell on eBay. <laughs> yeah, I think he sent me about uh, six or seven of them uh, when he when he sent me that one uh, uh, coprocessor for my uh, LC. Yep, yep, yep. Hello here. <clears throat> there we go. I wonder if when I wonder if Windows three point one will run on the DOS that comes with Windows ninety eight. <laughs> You have to give it a try. I was going to say, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, worst case scenario, either it'll work or it won't. Okay, I think I saw Martin's arm off screen there for a second. Yeah, I'm tidying up, sorry. I was just uh, like, so he's been gone for a minute. <laughs> yeah, a couple minutes. Yeah, but he's not actually gone. He's just off screen. I'm just here. Oh, I think that's enough food for now. This thing I get is called a mountain melt from Miller's L House. It's literally enough food to feed two people for two days. Really? Uh huh. It's Insane amount of food. Although my friend, because we used to, you know, we used to go up at, at the restaurant and eat it. And um, my friend ordered one. He's the only person that I have ever seen finish a mountain melt in one setting. Hmm. And it's just big pile of fries and chicken, uh, chicken fingers topped with cheese, bacon, and if you like them, the, the green onions. I don't really yeah. care for those. Yeah. And it's so much food. I mean, we get it with uh, ranch dipping on the side, and we ask. Uh, we also get sour cream. Cool. So good. But I can, mine always takes even the ones I get the restaurant take two or three days to eat. Ah, uh, the old customizations. I heard a chime. Who chimed? That was me, my G3. Ah, okay. There, completed. It's posted. All right. Oh, the video? Very good. Yeah. Nice. Finally, after weeks of saying I'll do it, I finished. I did it today. Hey, you had a, you, you're here anyway, so you might as well be productive. Yeah. Well, yeah. all that time you spent taking naps instead of doing voiceover. Man, yeah, that's what a waste. <laughs> huh? What a waste. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And of course, the only thing I did today was I went to do some stuff with the uh, Mac Pro, and uh, so my the way it was set up was the um, there was Monterey on the hard drive, but because some weird things with the EFI or something that it required the USB stick to boot. And so I tried installing it directly to the the OS to the hard drive and somehow <laughs> foo barred it up. I didn't like it, so it wouldn't boot anymore, so I just said screw it. Threw Linux on it. 
Linux is a more up-to-date operating system than what the Mac Pro can run anyway, natively. Yeah. And it's an Intel machine, so it's going to run Linux just fine. And it's right over there with a nice little mint. Hey, mint. Oh, stretch. Three, we got three more hours on the stream, Dave. Uh, yeah, a little, a little bit under technically, I guess, two hours and 43 minutes. Cool, yeah, and an hour later, then it'll be retro roundup. Well, that one you just sit back and relax and listen to, you know what I mean. Which, okay, I'm getting confused on which mouse is which over here. Good well, goodness gracious. <clears throat> yeah, uh, tomorrow back to the good, good old job. Tomorrow, I got that long commute of rolling out of bed onto the chair. Is that Duke Nukem? It is Wolfenstein 3D. Wolfenstein, that's what it is. Okay. Mein Lieben. I haven't played the old version of Wolfenstein. Golly, I don't even remember how long it's been. Hey, gang. Welcome to Markintosh. What's up? <laughs> Good old old school sound effects. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing today? I'm just fiddling around today. Next stream, I'll have lots of stuff to do. Just, um... Today's more of a chill stream. Next, uh, the thirty first will be the everybody build, everybody build, everything, everybody build a thing, majiggy kit. Yep, we're doing our kit build. Did you get one? Me? Yeah, I have one. Yeah. <laughs> I got mine already. I know you got one. <laughs> Dave has two. He has one that's built and one that's not. Yeah. This is a different This is a different manufacturer, though, so I'm just curious to oh. see what the difference is on it. Because of mine, I had to uh, mod the case on mine because I could not get... This this was uh, wasn't open, so I I dremeled the that one piece of acrylic so I can get my finger in there to do the surface mounted components. So yeah. Uh, yeah. it worked fine. Um, the one that I bought has no surface mount components. They made a big deal in the listing saying that it's only uh, Yeah, uh, mine's got surface mount components, but they're already soldered to it. Yeah, that, so, that's what I meant. Yeah. In other yeah. words, nothing you guys have to do, you can be lazy on that aspect. Gotcha. Well, yeah, it's, everything else is all through hole um, soldering. Which is easier. I'm taking yeah. it. 30, so hour. Oh, it's a keeper. Eric's back, back again. Is Will still on? I haven't seen Will chat in a while, but that does not mean he's not lurking. Well, he's uh, he's in Florida. He's getting he's busy getting his stuff. Yeah, but he out. was in chat earlier. That's what the person was yeah, asking. Yeah, yeah. And so he may still be lurking. I don't know. Yeah. 
Nazi. <laughs> Ow. That was my arm, cat. I did not need your claws on my arm as you're trying to hold on because you missed a jump. Nice. Get away from my food. Shoo, shoo, you. <laughs> oh, the joys of having cats. Oh yes. They try to they try to steal your food. They try to lay on your keyboards. They run across across you all uh, all hours of the night. But they keep you warm on cold nights. That's a good thing. Feel bad shooting the dogs. Hey, he killed a puppy. But the uh, dog food refills your health. <laughs> I have returned from sheets. And he got one of each. Hot dog time. And I have to say to the whoever made the comment about shooting dogs. Wolfenstein. Oh, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, it, he it, killed his puppy. The, are you on the why the sheets naughty list? <laughs> They're, uh, apparently the extra large cups are Christmas themed. Uh, their their like current advertising slogan is "Why the sheets not?" So, all right, but yes, you all are bad influences apparently. So, I have I decided <laughs> to get a hamburger, which mm, the Wendy's one probably would look better, but it's all about the taste, and. Pair of hot dogs. Is that chili on them? <laughs> yeah, it's chili on them. Oh, chili dogs. Chili dogs. Yeah. All right. No, I'm so, hungry. <laughs> well, blame our host mm. Dave. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he started. He started it with the. Uh, uh, I, I uh, might have to cook another screen. hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that way, Justin don't have to eat alone. Hmm. <laughs> That's the hamburger with lettuce, tomato, cheddar cheese, and mustard, and pickles. Sounds good. And then the chili dogs are just chili dogs with mustard. Yeah, I was going to say, there's got to be nice. mustard on it. Yeah. <laughs> In my opinion. Mm. Oh, no. Is it yellow mustard <laughs> or is it spicy <laughs> mustard? The burger sounded nice until you mentioned pickles. It's yellow oh. mustard. I love pickles, especially the, the uh, nice. bread and butter ones. Yeah, they don't have spicy mustard as an option, or I'd probably oh, pick it up. Bummer. 
the pickles aren't the same as like brands of pickle. That's that's grody. Mm. I had some of that when I was in the UK and I was like, I and then yes, I made sure to hit the decaf button on the machine. They have this really cool machine. It grinds the beans and brews it right there for you. So it's not been sitting there for four hours filling station oh, coffee. It's like fresh. That's nice. And then they have a selection of creamers you can put in it. So, so yeah, so I put the uh, zero sugar French vanilla creamer and then some Splenda. Myself, I'm, I'm, I prefer a nice oh. straight up black coffee. Well, I'll, I'll drink it black too sometimes, but today I was feeling like having a little frou frou in my coffee. Have a little, have a little, a little zip to it. Oh, and hi, welcome to Macintosh. Mm. Yeah. All right, and while I enjoy my slightly early dinner, I'm going to see if I can find a meanwhile power supply. Oh, nice. Yep. I'm sure I can. I'm just going to look for a 12 volt one to pair with a Pico PSU. <laughs> Doom. Doom. I've lost my dude When the Doom first came out, I played the heck out of that game. Thirty hey, years ago, last week. Hey, Sean. Is it really been that long? Yep, thirty hey, Sean, years ago, feel, last week. You feel better? Oh yeah. We we missed you. We haven't seen you for a uh, while. So. Geek. Yeah, he's, he's been sick. So. Did you, did you get the vid or is other kind of sick? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Um, what you got? This geek with social skills. I was saying hello. Oh, oh. okay. Oh. Hey there. So what did you get the, uh, Eric? Sorry? What did, did you go and take a eat break? There you go. Oh, I had to do uh, laundry. Ah. Uh. Just a weird, mm -hmm. slow moving cold uh, sinus Not thing, COVID, just a weird, slow moving cold sinus thing. Sounds like I have frogs in my throat. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. It's nothing worse than being better, fatigued. Hey, better to, sick and better to have it now than over Christmas holiday, right? New Year's? Yeah. Oh, I thought about taking another bite, but I'm like, nope. A few years ago, I got COVID, right, um, like a couple days before Christmas. My family was traveling out to California, mm -hmm. um, and they went a couple days early because I was, uh, they were going to drive and I was going to fly, and in between them leaving and me leaving, I came down with the big stuff, so I stayed. Mm -hmm. Sickest I've ever been. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The first time I had COVID, it was mild. It was basically just like a, a flu, um, like a mild cold. But the second time, I was in, you know, I was drained. I was in bed for like a week. It was like, yep. it was, in, it was, in, it was insanely horrible. I've been fortunate. I only had it once, and because of my age and everything, they started me on Paxlovid right away. So, yeah, I had it three times. I work in the healthcare industry, and I, I managed to get it. Uh, uh, let's see, about a year ago, me and one of the doctors got it. He gave it to me as soon as we dropped the mask mandate. That's when we got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, it, but fortunately for me, it, it only I only felt bad for one day, and then after that, it just felt like a really bad cold. You know, so I go pretty quick. Yeah. The first time we got it, uh, we think we got it like when COVID first came around. But it was like I said, it was so mild, we didn't even think. We didn't think anything of it. Yeah. Um, and then the second time we got it from Disney. We went to Disney World with took the nephew to Disney World. 
And uh, me, my brother-in-law, my brother all got um, sick, but the girls, the, the, my sister Misty, my sister Deb, and uh, my nephew didn't get sick. And um, and then the next time I got it, uh, I got it from I think I wanted to, when I went times I went out to play Magic. Mm -hmm. I went and got the, the the vid from that, and that one wasn't that one wasn't too bad. It was the one that we got when we went to Disney. That one's the one that kicked my butt. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, I, we have friends of ours, they have gotten it six times. Jeez. Well, I probably it's, got a lot more if I was actually social. And, and, and they don't go hardly any place. I mean, you know, they're, they're in their, uh, se they're in their seventies, you know, but uh, still, uh, um, doctor's office. Yeah. You, you gotta uh, stop licking the doorknobs, man. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I don't know anybody that's had it more than you guys. You know, I've had, I've had it three to four times. I think it was three times, maybe four. But it One. was. Uh, I, and I'm not that social either. I mean, I spend most of my time. I work from home for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. Although you know, I my brother on the other hand, you know, being a pharmacist, he's around sick people all the time. Sure. Well, that's that's how you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blame his pestilence carrying butt. Well, Justin, you're making quick work of that. Yeah. <laughs> He's making quick work of those burgers and hot dogs. Yeah. I know. I'm like. <laughs> he, he's on. He's finishing up the hamburger and he's done. <laughs> yep. And he's got to, you know, you got to stretch and you know, you know, let the digest take it easy a little bit. Well, at least you don't have to worry about eating dinner now. You got it all done. So there you go. <laughs> I want a chili dog now. Dang it. Yeah. Oh, I love too. a good. Chili cheese dog yeah, with spicy good mustard. Chili cheese, yeah. Some people put onions on it, not me. I'm not a fan of raw. Oh, I, I put onions on it. Yeah, same here. Well, Weirdos. I, I'm gonna mention <laughs> sacrilege. I put um, ketchup on my hot dogs. I put ketchup on my hot dogs too. On hot not dogs. my chili dogs. Put it on a chili dog. Oh no, that would be overkill. Yeah, chili dog. You just need a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of mustard and some cheese. Yellow mustard. I like. I prefer mustard. the spicy mustard myself. The oh, yeah, they really Golden's uh, spicy whatever. Well, I like the spicy mustard most of the time too, but for for a chili dog, I want yellow. Yeah, yeah. I French's don't, yellow mustard is the best one. I don't put cheese on my chili dogs. No. Mm -mm. And Sheets charges uh, an upcharge for the caramelized onion, so I don't put those on the. My splurge is the adding the chili to it because that's also an upcharge. Yeah. <laughs> and wait, do they charge you for a bun? No, no, they don't upcharge. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so, because some people just put it on a plate and eat it that way. Yeah. No, the I've bun actually, comes uh, with the hot dog. I've made a, yeah. you've, I've made chili mac. So you take you know macaroni macaroni and cheese and put chili in it, and then mm -hmm. cook up some hot dogs and put that in there and make chili mac and chili, chili mac hot dog. It's good stuff. Yeah. It's like stuff I used to get when I was a kid. So Sean yeah. says uh, Wiener Schnitzel used to have a hot dog with barbecue sauce, cheese, and bacon. Oh, so good! I I Winter, I, is that like I a company or something? Yeah, yeah. Wiener Schnitzel. Uh, yeah, they're out here in California. Oh, okay. So I've German, never heard of them. So California, Colorado they're right out too. Yeah, yeah, they're out in the west. Yeah. They they used to be called Hamburger Stand. And then they rebranded to Wiener Schnitzel. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Interesting. Huh. So barbecue sauce, cheese, and bacon. Okay, that you, you, I'm sold. I love barbecue sauce. I love cheese. I love bacon. I love hot dog. I can't go wrong with that combo. No, no. Let's face it. We like food. Yes. <laughs> I mean, look at this right That's here. True. You see this right here? That's true. Yes, I like food. <laughs> I've got something somewhere. I mean, then you got Martin over there in a skinny mini and gut bomb skinny mini, but they still like food. Well, some people are blessed with that form of fat that burns energy instead of storing yep. it. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones that right, I, I, skinny uh, mini. I, have, right. I have a high metabolism. I can put it away. Yeah. I had a high metabolism once and then then I got old. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> I never did. Maybe when I was <laughs> like, 12. To, I thought yeah. you meant you never got old. I'll be right back. I got to make myself another hamburger. Hold on. Yeah, right see what you did, Justin? You made him hungry again. J Justin made me hungry. <laughs> or again. <laughs> you can't just eat one. That's right. <sighs> oh, excuse me. You can't just eat seven. That stuff's that contagious. Mmm. And I have food in my belly and a beer in my belly, so I'm, I'm starting to get the yawnies. All right. Well, actually, I did find a Meanwell supply. It looks like I can get a 150 watt 12 volt one from Mauser for like 21.69. That's not a bad price to me. It it should last the lifetime of your use of that computer, you know, or six months. That's about the same, right? That's, you're going to use it for about. 15 more minutes and then put it on the shelf. Pretty much. He's going to get it working and then put it away. I don't know. The Meanwell ones are slightly better, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. The Meanwell is actually the brand name. Yeah. So, yeah. This one will. I use. I, I replaced the power supply in my 3D printer and I replaced it with the Meanwell. Yeah. Right Meanwhell's the good three. one. Meanwell's yeah. are the good ones. So, hey. Okay. Then there's all the Chinese knockoffs that are not. I bet you that Mimo is made in China too. Menwool? Oh yeah, well, they are. <laughs> I mean, it probably is made in China, but it's actually the the one that other yes. Chinese knockoffs. Yeah, you, knock you get off. crap, or you get pretty de decent things. It's yeah. a roll. Uh, you know, it's the roll of the dice. It's the. I mean, it's the RBG look, huh? Excuse me. No, gotta stop that stuff. Come on now. Can make us all yawn. It's too yeah. late to take a nap. The thing is, uh, Meanwhile is actually have yes, a three-year warranty. So, oh, although I've never had to claim the warranty on one, but yeah, yeah, okay. this will be doing right here. At one point, I was going to make a um, what is it, tw twenty-eight volt power supply for my uh, cube out of some cheap uh you know power supply mm -hmm. and then uh i was fortunate to uh find one with a the cord cut on it and i was able to replace the cord and it worked. all right All right, and I guess I'll have to order a Pico PSU. Those are cool. All right, but anyways, this this old cruddy power supply is going to going to be put to pasture because I'd probably spend at least $20 on capacitors for it and there's a couple other components that I'm highly suspect of. Right. So I think this is a good candidate for replacing the guts. It just probably won't happen in December. All right, Justin, another hamburger here. That'll be good for the day. <laughs> Where's your lettuce, tomato, and pickles? Uh, I don't have any of that. I just have uh, cheese. Don't microwave well. Uh, yeah. I'm not going no, to no, fall. No, you put those on after. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not falling for the trick to go back to sheets. I'm good. <laughs> oh, come on, Justin. I know you're hungry. Come on. <laughs> you know you need another extra large coffee. <laughs> I haven't finished the one I'm drinking now. Well, you need yeah, dessert. Yeah, but that's old. And, and we've seen Justin hyped up on caffeine. It's not pleasant. So. Well, guess what you got? <laughs> he needs dessert. Don't they have ice cream there? 
Maybe a pie of some sort? Yeah, go back and get mm. a slice of pie with some ice cream on it. <laughs> Gosh darn it, no, I want pie and ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I love a good apple pie with a big scoop of vanilla. Yeah, you know, I am, now that I'm drinking this coffee, I am kind of feeling like the Super Mario Brothers. When you get to 100 seconds... I thought you had a decaf, Justin. <laughs> but even decaf. See, here's the thing, though. Even decaf has caffeine. It's just less. And then there's the placebo effect. You know. Yep. Your body thinks it's getting caffeine, and it's like. Just so hopefully you don't get is, to the... it's, it's false advertising because people think decaf means there's no caffeine in it, right? Pretty much, yep. I mean, it's it's very little. It's reduced. Um, but there's still yeah. there's there's no way to ca you know they don't can't really completely get rid of caffeine out of beans um, because all they do with um, to de make decaf coffee is to take the beans, put them out in the sun, and then let the sun make them sweat and rinse water over them. No, rinse they, use, uh, they use they uh, use chemicals to. Leach well, maybe now, caffeine. but in the original days, that's how they did it in the old days, was they actually let it out in the sun and just rinsed it to rinse the oils off, which is the oils is that contain the caffeine. Yeah, I prefer if if I'm actually trying to find beans that are decaf, I would I prefer to try to find the ones that are like CO2 decaffeinated. <laughs> I am the great Carnholio and NTP from my bunghole. Are you threatening me? <laughs> oh, good old beers and butthead. Oh, that's awesome. Throw the, shirt, throw the shirt over the head. Are you threatening me? Uh, now I'm trying to figure out what I was going to look at next. <laughs> the other um, I think you're going to look at a go into sheets to get another burger. You're not. I'm not falling for that. It's raining outside and the sun's gone down, and I'm not falling for that. Do, do they have ice cream at sheets? I don't eat a lot of ice cream. You don't. Oh. No, I Do don't. Do they have pie at sheets or cake? Uh, they probably have little Debbie cakes. That'll that'll work. Work. That's not quite the same thing. It's not quite the same thing, but it'll work. Especially if you're having a cup of coffee. You have like a cupcake or honey bun or something to go with it. Y'all are being bad influences right now. <laughs> I don't need the sugar. <laughs> Nobody ever needs the sugar. What I need to do is order the parts for this 8-bit ISA board. There you go. Concentrate on the parts you need. Yeah. Or Let at us... least or at least put them in the Mauser cart so that when I have the coffee tips to order the parts, then I will be good to go. There you go. Huh. Oh, there we go. I'm like, I searched for the name of this board on DuckDuckGo, but unfortunately the name of this board is too generic. So I got the Wikipedia article on the industry standard architecture. So <laughs> I just realized the silk screen on the back of the board, I think says who did it. So... <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, that's right. I had the wrong name of the board, too. This is the Mini ISA ROM. Well, that would help. You get the name right. Ah, uh, there was a label on the package, so I couldn't see what it said on the back. By wiretap. There we go. That's what I need. I can type. There we go. All done. There we go. Oh, I feel better now. 
Okay. Hey, have you guys ever saw a Tweety Bird? Thought I did, but I was I thought I saw a Putty Ted. I did. I did. <laughs> Flutter. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> He Is that one of those the garden time. ones that, that spin? Yeah, the yeah, the wind, yeah. Uh, uh, he comes in in the wintertime, uh, but then since it, you know, springtime, he goes back out. And out all spring, summer, fall. Does winter be a little rough on me? Have a good rest of the stream. Time for more Advil, cold, and sinus. Okay, Sean, take care. And a nap, right? Have a long, have a long nap. Hopefully, you don't have to work tomorrow. So. Come on over here. I know it's 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 very cloudy out there, huh? Yeah, it's very cloudy. Come on, we'll get up here. Well, come on. Come on, get up here. We'll get up here. Come on. Okay, get up here. Come on. Get up here. Come on. Oh yeah. Thank you. Right, come on. Sounds get like me with my cats. There you go. There you go. All right. You got some cat crunchies. Mm -hmm. Got some cat crunchies. Okay, good. I got cat crunchies, honey. There you go, sweetheart. Make some, some wadi. Cat crunchies, eh? Sounds like cat trees to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. Got your purper going on here. Yes, I know. I know, sweetheart. Yeah, I know, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Stay nice and warm, you know. It's warm in here. Yeah. It's much warmer in here than it is out there. Huh? Yeah, I know. I know, baby. I know, baby. Eating her crunchies right there. Yep. I'm guessing that's another name for treats. Yeah, well, they're, it's her regular cat food. But yeah. <laughs> Gotta make it uh, sound better than what it is, right? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right there. If you say so. Yeah. We'll go with that's that. It's essential. <laughs> it's not in a dish, it's just that, although, no, it is in a dish. Oh, yeah. But that's the treat dish, not the food dish. No, it's the food dish, yeah. Uh, she eats uh, uh, tender selects, salmon flavor. It's crunchy on the outside, tender on the inside. Uh, salmon flavor. All the cats now she's in her it. bed, and she's like, I'm time to warm up before I go back out exploring again. Yeah, yeah she's going to warm her paws up. Yeah, you get to warm your paws up, huh? Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like me talking to my cats. Yeah, I wish I could have a cat. There's nothing better than having an animal of some sort, whether dog, cat, whatever. It's yeah. just, that's great. I don't understand people that don't like animals at all.
being in a family is great um, because the responsibility can get split among mm. several people. Living by myself, I when I've lived by myself, I'm avoiding having animals because I want to buy myself hundred percent of the responsibility. Mm. Yeah, if you're gonna have to leave them for periods of time, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's why a cat it was beneficial to have a cat because cats would be fine. In general, yeah. In general, yes. But you know, dogs you can't leave for more than what six hours. Yeah. Yeah, unless they have a, a way of going out and being able to walk themselves, so to speak. Yeah. Speaking of dogs, Penny's going poopy right now. Yeah, well, you know, it's that you know, it's night times. She gotta do her, uh, her barking. Somebody down the block closed their car door. I'm sure that's oh, nice. that's that's uh, danger. Yeah. yeah. Got got to warn my humans. <laughs> it reminds me of a video that Instagram keeps recommending to me, or I think it's Instagram or Facebook one. Uh, it's the the doorbell camera footage of, I guess, this teenager. Who obviously the dog has been barking up a storm inside. So you see the teenager walk out holding holding the chihuahua in his hands. And he like holds the dog out uh um Simba style. He's like showing the dog <laughs> and, and talking it. There's nothing out here. There's nothing over here. There's nothing over here. There's nothing over here. Nothing. <laughs> it was something yeah. like that. It was like yeah. <laughs> And he takes the dog back inside. I'm sure the dog started barking up a storm five minutes later, but that's that's a chihuahua for you. Guarding the universe from everything and nothing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Had her little one for well, until May of this year. She passed her, but she, was, she had a good life. She was... Uh, uh, 17, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, here comes Joe. Joe! He's back! Joe! How's it going? Oh, I get the program ball. Just now. <sighs> Did you have Wendy's? I had Wendy's. Or was this... You had no. Wendy's, huh? <laughs> See, he's got the Wendy's cup. <laughs> he, he's happy now. So, yeah. what is it, like burger night or something on stream? Yeah, Back, yeah. 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 We're, we're you had a bacon and or Joe? Chicken burger. Yes. So, over here tonight. You had a bacon egg. Ba Although I got a son of baconator because a full baconator is way too much. Yes. Oh yeah, I, I, my favorite I get the still, double baconator. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite oh, is still the good old Dave's double. That's gotta be my yeah. favorite. Good old classic Dave's double. Good. I get the sun of bacon aver because it's all I can handle. Yes. It's too much for my brain. She got yeah. me under bacon. I, I, I end up I'm sharing a, with I'm my, my burger I, if I, like, I get a bacon like food. I share it with the cats because they like bacon. She got me burger. under bacon. Oh. Wait, well, I'll she be right back. I'm going to go get another beer and put my food in the fridge. My leftovers. Are we going to Wendy's too? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone just bump into a guitar or something? No, that's oh. what it sounded like. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm not the only one that thought it sounded like a guitar getting bumped into. Well, <laughs> or a bass or a piano. It was kind of bigger sound. I mean, this guitar. Out of tune oh, guitar. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh... That's right. You guys are going to play us out at the intro, right? At the outro? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll use my guitar hero guitar anyway. Yeah. It depends on how flexible your definition of song is. <laughs> hey, music doesn't have to be in key for it to technically be music. There you go. This is true. Sorry for all the badoops. I'm programming pies. Oh no, it's all right. all right. Are are you are you feeling better, Joe? Better? A little bit. Yeah, that's good. 
I better be. I have a live stream to run tonight. <laughs> oh, is tonight Retro Repair Roundup? It is. Is tonight the night you were wanting guests from previous shows? It yeah. is. Ah, okay, cool. I will... I, I think, think I've, 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 I've no, he hasn't sent the link yet. But... Lights, so. <clears throat> okay, I wanted to make sure I was... I want to make sure I'm available by asking the question now so I can shift my evening around accordingly. <clears throat> I.e. not be on the phone at 8 o'clock. And, and I'm and Joe, I'm available if needed. Not a problem, okay? Just so you can fill your show. We send out invites. Whoever shows up, shows up. Okay. Awesome. If we run out of space, well, you didn't show up fast enough. Yep. Where where do you put the invites? The shameless self promotion or? Uh, Trina sent them out manually. Oh, okay. To All people, right. it started by sending them out to folks who've been on the show this last year. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have I have the invite. Uh -huh. I don't have an invite. That's not cool. Invite to what? I wasn't. Even, I wasn't here. <laughs> R R triple R. Let's see. Um. Yeah, invites have been sent to seven different people that I am aware of. Ah, so is it like one of these type of things? Can be a, one of these little everybody gets on and talk thing. Yeah, it's the people yeah. who are on earlier this year. Ah. I think eight hours on one string, you know, talking and hanging out, that's probably enough for a day. Now to test. The Mac so. toes. Did Joe do it right? Did he do it wrong? Next time on Super Friends. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Well, the dryer is singing a song. I'll be Smoke back. test. My washer is singing a song. <laughs> it's called because shipping. I'm... No, it's called <laughs> I am actually literally. Actually being oh, used. There you go. If my washer is singing a song right now, A, I did, I'm not running any laundry, so that's probably a problem. And B, I'm all the way downstairs. It's all the way upstairs. So something's wrong with the speaker and it's playing really loudly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I just realized I've been muted for about an hour. That's a real fear. <laughs> yeah, I was talking and I thought I was being ignored. Nope, you were ignoring nope. yourself. Yeah, <laughs> so, it was, so it was soon. Music in this game. Oops. Descent. One, two. Three. Yo, pens five. Focus. Cat cam. Cat cam? Dave's got cat cam going. Yep. She's giving herself a bath over there. Yep. Betty cam. Mickey cam. She just heard you talk, and now she's like, why did you talk? I was busy. <laughs> and then she'll go back to whatever she was doing. All right. Mm 
right. All those things because he's working. Now for these. Yay. All right. I got to go. I'll see you guys on the Triple R tonight. See you, Gabba. Okay. Bye. 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 All right. right. Thanks for hanging. You too. Thank Appreciate you it. for having me. Bye. Bye. Oh, you're so very welcome. All right. Bye bye. I love how whenever somebody leaves the stream, Dave re uh, tells them goodbye like they're hanging up the phone. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to you next Sunday. <laughs> it's like you scheduled call with your mother every week, isn't it? Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> mummy! You gotta always talk to your mummy. That's right. And then you know, your mama, I just killed a man. Tell your mama, ask her how she doing. Ooh, the zoom in on the cat cam. There we go. There we go. Cozy cat. Huh. Cozy cat. Yeah. Hmm. Got, <clears throat> yeah, she's got the the uh, hot pads underneath both of them, so yeah, they keep keep her warm. Nope, not spoiled and, at all. Not nope. And she'll come in the house for a little bit, and then when she sees the other cat, she goes, "Okay, I'll go back out in the garage." Yeah. <laughs> hey, Frederick, is your daily driver an old Mac keyboard? No, he's testing his iMac, I think. Oh. He he got an eMac, right? Is that what he's playing with? iMac. Or iMac? Oh, okay. Uh, how about a how about a an O Mac or B Mac <laughs> A Mac? No, a U Mac. Oh, there we go. A U Max. There you go. Oh, I just deleted it. Damn. Uh, I don't want to work tomorrow. This job is much more fun. <laughs> Headphones there. Fuck's sake. <coughs> Yay! I assembled every single one of them correctly the first time. Nice! No more it's a good, good, good feeling when that happens, right? Yeah. Yes, I saved time. <laughs> so now we can assemble all of these. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, that wasn't a good place to put the that. Know what those are the milk. Do, 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 it is so quiet. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Shit, the password. Oh. Well, that's nice. Oh, I like how the 74LS688 is incredibly expensive. Oh, boy. They're like $3 a piece from Mauser. Isn't the 244 basically the same chip? I don't know. I'd have to look it up. Well, I could get a 74 HCT 688 from Jamco for a dollar a piece. That would work perfectly fine. What's the part? What's the original part? 74 um, LS. Oh, yeah. An HCT will directly replace an LS without a problem. It's basically an HC chip with uh, added drivers, uh, five volt drivers to it. Let me see what Mauser might charge for an HCT. The HCTs tend to be cheaper too because they're using newer technology. So they're um, they actually have fab set up to do it. I found anyway. It, it depends. Some 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 HLS chips are cheaper. It's okay. There we go. Hey Adam, how you doing? Hello. It's nice an to see you. Adam. What's up, bud? Hi Adam. How you feeling, sir? Um, all right. What's up? Good. Good. Glad to uh, hear. Is away from a center of gravity. I got a box. Ooh. Uh -huh. Is it for me? No. Good. I would never send you anything anyway. <laughs> 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 Unless he bought it. Joe. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, I would totally send Adam out. Adam's Why do I have all these boxes that say eight bits are all you need laying around here? <laughs> I wonder why. What are those? Mm. Who sent you, what are you those? What are you doing in my basement stealing my tape? <laughs> <laughs> ah. This, ah. Okay. You forced me to do it. What's what in the this? box? I got to ignore it. It's going to happen at least once on every stream. I think Joe should like get a roll of uh, tape that says nine bits are all you need for April Fool's Day. See if anyone notices. <laughs> Look, it's a thingy. Hey, Adam. What is that? <laughs> oh, a thingy. Hello. You got your adapter? Yeah, it finally showed up. They delivered it on a Sunday, believe it or nice. not. It's a it's a slightly damaged uh, newer technology micro dock. Yeah. Huh. Yep. Nice. So you plug that in the back of your duo. Then you plug this thing into it. And then you plug this thing into that. And you have the most crazy SCSI drive in the history of SCSI drives. <laughs> An adapter for the adapter that goes to the adapter. Conversion yeah. technology. Yeah. Can't go oh. without it. What I want to do with this is take it apart, 
remove the plastic shell, solder a blue SCSI straight to the board, and then put a new shell on it that's more square shaped, like this, mm -hmm. so that you have a micro SCSI blue SCSI. I just realized I forgot to turn something on. Um, we, uh -oh. uh, I cannot confirm or deny that a blue SCSI with the micro SCSI directly on it may or may not, could possibly, but probably isn't, but might be in development by somebody. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, mm. There we go. Interesting. Well, micro SCSI, but I don't want to use the micro SCSI or the, uh, the stupid connector. I just want to use the duo connector so I can hook it straight to the duo. And hence, Oops. add, add Wi-Fi to the computer. Oh, Justin getting jiggy with it. La -da 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 -da. I don't care who you are, who you are um, or what you think, but uh, Will, uh, Will Smith is a great artist. That's my opinion. Yeah. Keeps all his all his music clean. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. I just have to figure out how to open this thing. Oh boy! <laughs> Don't break it. I don't know if it has <laughs> screws under these labels or if it's just snapped together or what. I'm gonna try my iFixit pry tools on it. Uh -huh. Oh, cat cam's gone. Now we're to cable cam. Yeah. I got What's this the, uh... extra power supply for my cube. I thought I'd better get around testing it here, make sure we got 12 volts. I got a um, Macintosh uh, power RPC G4, uh, iMac, uh, I don't know what year, but what's the maximum OS I can put? On that one, you know those nice hey, little dome machines. 2002 or 2003. Uh, let me check underneath. Maybe it says. Uh, uh, Jesus, it's heavy. Due to the popularity of a project I worked on on a previous Dave's Vintage Apple Tech stream. You can look it up on every Mac too, Fred. If you got the serial number, you can look it up at everymac.com. Uh, It'll uh, tell you what model it. number. Yeah, the model number worked too. What was the question? What's the Mac what OS you can put on there? On a G4? <laughs> um, and 5.8? Well, depends on which model it is. But put 10.4 uh, because it's better. Yeah, 10.4. I mean, if it's, if it's four, sir. Power PC, the highest you can go is 10.5. 10.5? Yeah, because there's no RPC version of 10.6. Okay. There you go. Right now it's Adam running 10.5.8. Okay, so 10.5 is just it. said that. I just have to re, uh, reinstall it because there's a freaking Ow. password. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can break the password easily. Just put yeah. in single user mode and reset the password. Sick, I was there's about instructions to say that, yeah. for that all over the internet. Oh, how do I do uh, single user mode? Is it a lot of uh, typing? Yeah, uh, hold down. I, I look it up. It's not yep. something I, I can say in a sentence. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of typing you have to put in there uh, when you get into single user mode uh, to reset the password to get around like administrative passwords yeah. and things like that. There's two ways I to had do. to do you that for the right Mac over password, here. Or a lot of times um, I've had luck creating a new account. Um, but you set the machine to first boot mode, then you can create a new account that's an admin, and then you can, from that account, get into the other Delete. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. As long as it doesn't have an open firmware password, you you, oh, you yeah. can break into those. Those are all fun secure. Ooh. You could also just you know wipe it and reinstall the operating system from the internet. Yeah, but that's no fun because then you can't see all the goodies that are on it. <laughs> yeah, that'll, you know, back in those days, they didn't have the uh, the locks on them. Yeah, it wasn't nearly no, no, no. secure. It's like Windows XP. You can just reset it. Yep. Alright. I need you to open. 
So, I know everyone enjoyed the optical drives I tried repairing on a previous Dave stream, so I thought I would pull this optical drive out. Dave stream before? Really? Are you sure? I thought it was Dave stream. Drives of death. Because I remember Garth commenting about my thermal pasting of an optical drive. Yeah. Can't do that. Put some liquid metal in it. Ah, <laughs> uh, that might have that would that would have been the ultimate fix. Spin it around on the spindle, it'd be fun. You can spin me right around, baby, right around, me like oh. right around baby. Really yeah. getting the artist kicking in right now. Monetize, Dave, with all this music and so. <laughs> all good, Joe. Well, I just have to remember what I did with my screwdrivers. Aha! Uh -huh. The top off of it. Come out of there, little guy. Yep. Oh, there's a screw in there. They have a screw in here for the Kensington lock. Mm, I'm in. Kensington lock uh, slots. The number one place people put their Blue Scuzzy SD card extension since 2013. 23. Sorry, I got my dates wrong. Actually, the Kensington lock slot is just this little piece of metal sitting inside the plastic. So if you were to just pry on it, it would have ripped out. And then, I don't know why, they are securing the PCB in here with two flathead screws. Why? That is, that's what we call, somebody's been here before. No, this is factory. <laughs> this looks yeah. factory. I don't know. Okay, so all of the assembled units are done. Now let's do the kits. We have five DB25 kits. What the heck is Martin playing? The kits, it's, it's... a dancing rat or something. I don't know. It's called uh, Tuxcart. Oh, you're playing Tuxcart. La 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 la. Oh, there's a lot of shielding on this thing. The whole thing is is shielded. Annoying. It's a conspiracy theorist. That's why. It's got copper tape holding it together. Copper tape is superior to uh, aluminum foil for keeping the government out. Oh. Uh oh. It says warranty void if seal damaged. That's a shame. You better call the manufacturer. Make sure you're okay. <laughs> I don't know if Ben Q still exists. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh. Well, I just voided my valuable Ben Q warranty on this. CD ROM drive. It's bank. bank. <laughs> oh. Say it right. Me on the head. Bank. I'm kidding. It's not bank. bank. It's bank. How does this come off of here? I don't know. Maybe I prefer my name for it. Ben Q. It's kind of like. What's John Delancey been up to? Well, he's been Q. There's actually a SCSI controller inside this little micro dock. That's really? bizarre. 
I didn't think there would be because I, I mean, there's a SCSI controller in the duo, so why would the dock need one? Two are better than one. Maybe. Uh, it's better than one. It's a Zilog. Uh, 8530. I'm trying to read it. It's very, very small. And I'm old. Excuses, excuses. Pro probably has a SCSI controller in it because they probably just extended the processor bus. It says Z53C800 3VSC. Yep. I That's wonder if the SCSI controller. I'm wondering if that dock connect that dock for that power book is basically a PDS slot. I'm not sure, but like my my mini dock has everything. It has SCSI, two serial ports, it has video, it has audio in and out, a SCSI, um, even a floppy connector. This thing just has SCSI and an ADB port. And SCSI is all the SCS. I think in order to do this, I'm going to have to remove the HDI 30 connector and then okay. hand wire it to a DB25. Not sure how feasible that is, but this dock connector has something like 100 pins on it. Sounds like a, a PDS extension to me. PDS is yeah. 96. I'm just guessing at that number because I'm not actually going to count all that, but it's a lot of connectors. It's four rows. And it all terminates in this tiny little thin connector. It's got all those pins. That's a lot of pins. Yeah. That yeah. is a pin bend accident waiting to happen. <laughs> Fortunately, the spacing on this HDI 30 is pretty big, so it shouldn't be too hard for me to do this. All Sounds right. like a microscope. So you're gonna? Couldn't you just piggyback on the, um, or maybe you plan on doing that? Piggyback on the um, the high density connector. On on this connector? Yeah. I mean, I could just plug a blue SCSI into that. But then I have this well, monstrosity what I'm thinking hanging is the out. Output, the output from that, you should be able to wire into it, right? Well, what I want to do is I want to end up with a thing that looks more or less like a dock, like a micro dock, mm -hmm. like this, so that I want to take the, the guts of a, an external blue SCSI and put them flat on top of here in place of these connectors. And then make a new enclosure around it, so it looks okay. like a little rectangular dock that I can. Well, that's why Mac, you could take in. off the connector, the high yeah, density connector. Yeah, I want to remove that, and then on the bottom there are these pins, which are pretty big. I want oh, that go to the high density connector. Yeah, yeah, that's the oh, bottom okay. of that I connector. So yep. If I take so those pins. Yep. I'll just take a little short wires and wire straight from that into the the vias for the DB25 on the, right. on the blue SCSI. I won't use any connectors at all. It'll just be cables from this board to that board. Yep. And then I'll basic, I'll probably kill the ADB connector here too. And if I need power, I can steal it from there. And then I'm just going to put the blue SCSI flat on here with something, a Kapton tape in the middle to keep it from shorting out. Yeah. And maybe hot glue or something just to keep it all as one piece. And then I just need to figure out how to make a case that goes around this. And I can use this dock case as, as a guide. Right. Um, and then just remodel the back of it to be square instead of this goofy little curvy thing. To give you enough room to put the... Yeah. And my goal is to have an external blue SCSI that will let me... I don't care about the hard drive part of it. What I care about is I want the CD-ROM uh, emulation and the Wi-Fi. Right. Oh. Are you going to 
position it so you can have a slot coming out the back end of it? However I do it, yeah, I'll have to have it oriented so that the SD card is accessible. Yeah. I, that, that's going to be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Sounds uh, pretty neat. Because, I mean, I can, I can get the SCSI cable for the inside of the Duo and just put a blue SCSI in there. But when I've been testing, the IDE interface in there is so much faster for data. And I really would rather put an IDE SSD to boot from. Mm -hmm. um, but there is still internal SCSI. Now, the other thing I thought of instead of doing this was since there's no functional battery, if I make an internal SCSI cable, I could put a blue SCSI into the battery bay. Right, right. And then that would make it so if I slid the battery cover off, I would be able to see the, the SD card and change it from inside the battery bay. So that's another option. I just, this was cheap. This, uh, I got this dock because it's missing one metal pin. See, there's supposed to be two metal pins on there. Yeah. And one of them is missing. So I got this whole thing for, I think, 20 bucks shipped. So hmm. nice. And normally they're like 50 or more. You could replicate that pin as, um, you know, and 3D print it. Yeah, the, the only thing the pin does, it doesn't do anything electrical. All it does is guide the connector in. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a guide pin, a boss. Yeah. So uh, I figured I'd buy one that was defective in this way so that I would be able to play around with this. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and if anyone else ever takes one of these apart, you don't have to take any screws out to get the cover off. It's just form fit on here. And I used an iFixit spudger uh, metal, one of these, to uh, get, the, get that shell off. There is some glue that they used. And all the weight of this is from this big metal bar that is the teeth that hold it into the duo. Which I don't, I won't reuse because I don't need all that. I'll just let it friction fit. So that's good. That that looks how I expected it to, but I needed to buy one to find out for sure. I love this little iFixit kit. we go it's bink i found their website they still exist also fun fact there's an acer logo in this drive <laughs> that's good last night i took apart a cd-rom drive that i got was this uh turned out to be a scuzzy toshiba Toshiba. Oh, Toshiba. Yeah, it's, it's it on black base too for a SCSI drive. That's weird. Yep, this drive I was I was trying to use it on stream and it failed. Like on oh. stream. I haven't it even first was this one. It first was reporting garbage characters as its drive name when the system posted and then it stopped doing that but then started not actually reading discs so and then i'm thinking the bias chip might be corrupted however i'm not sure that the bios for this drive is out there oh well, maybe it is but this website looks sketchy yeah. I'm just making a mistake. What? 
Huh? Oh, what? Huh? These are lies perpetrated by the deep sea media. There's a cat. Oh, where? Cat where? Um, oh, oh yeah. Betty's back. Um, where's my... Yeah, she's Where? passed out now. She's yeah. taking her an afternoon nap. Yep. <laughs> ah, the typical cap thing. Charge up to mm. drive you crazy later. Gotcha. Mm. Oh, she'll go out and she'll be in by 6.30 because okay. it's getting too cold out there at night. So. Speaking of cats, hey, Zoe. Oh. Of course, the fat cat just found some treats. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I think those are her. I think those are her sisters at one point. I didn't finish them. I hope I programmed those picos. I guess I'm going to find out else if I didn't. Excuse me. They'll get it and they'll say, hey, my Pico. <laughs> Joe Belax in the back. I fix it. Look, I got a bag. That's a Here very big, looks like a bowling bag. I was going to say, it looks like a bowling bag. It's got an apple on it. Yeah. Upside down. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's upside down so that when you put your apple two in it and it's facing you this way, the apple is facing you. And then when you open your, your apple two, you just go like this. Just like how the Apple was different on the laptops there for a yeah. while. Whoever's sure, sure. installing Mac OS might want to mute their speakers. Oh, because, sorry about that. Yeah, that that song might get flagged by YouTube. <gasps> Were you saying Dave it went to his now? Mm. It's got this little bag yeah, in here that get, goes sits over the keyboard. They get nasty about that. It holds a um, power okay. cord mm -hmm. and composite. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it I'll smells leather in it. Smells like it's forty years old. It's you pretty nice. Ring in leather. Bells. One little tiny rip back here. Well, forty years old, you'd reach. You'd have some rips too. It's kind of the shape of the Apple II foot, so I must have been dropped hard on that corner. Um, I don't see any kind of tags in here. Anything now. <laughs> This is one of the bags they would have sold at an Apple dealer. Oh, it's not the original one though. The very, very first ones. I have one somewhere. They, uh, the maker forgot to cut the little bite out of the apple. And apparently Steve jobs was very upset about that. Hmm. Tried to pull them all. He just probably sent a memo out saying, everybody, take your little uh, special tool and take the bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's funny is now, the bite out of this one is not really... It's like kind of high and at an angle. It's not really on the side of the apple. Here, let me make it big. Yeah, yeah. here. Hey. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's kind of way off. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. But... Uh, I'm going to sell that this That is probably bag. one of those you had to do at home. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't need this. I bought an Apple II Plus that I, I wanted the cards out of, and it, it unbeknownst to me, it included this bag. So Nice. The bag that looks like a on. nice uh, leather bag here. Yeah. It is leather. I can't find any tags, though, to say anything. I guess in the or 70s, you didn't it. really have to do that, or it's just missing. But it's all lined. Nice. That's a nice bag. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I have the other one with no bite. I'm going to I'm going to keep that with my old 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 Apple 2. Yeah, that's cool. How do I get 10 emails while I was just doing nothing? <laughs> uh, oh, spam. And then I did a couple, yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Yep. Oh, it says my order was delivered. Yeah. My house smells like swimming pool. 
It smells yeah, like what? Yeah. You say swimming pool? <laughs> yeah, I use, I'm using high test uh, drain cleaner right now in my tub drain, and so the whole house just reeks of like chlorine. Oh, oh. It drains really slow, and it was bothering me. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. How much? Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> right, like thermal paste. You can never have too much, right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you can never have too much, but you can just ask the comment section. <laughs> well, I found lots of firmwares for this CD ROM drive, but I don't know which one's correct. Got lots of what? Firmware version, uh, firmware files. To I think the bi uh, the firmware is corrupted on this drive. BIOS. Uh, the BIOS is corrupted on the drive, and I'm trying to download the BIOS for it. But they had so many drives with a very similar model number that I don't know which one's correct for this drive. Are BIOS like SpaghettiOs. Something like that. Yeah. I guess I better put this drive back together and try running one. Of, um, try running this executable file that is on this website that I'm not exactly oh. sure how legitimate the website is. So it's like mm. clicking. So it's like clicking on a PDF file is what you're saying. Something like that. I'll uh, I'll run it on an old computer. Therefore, I won't have antivirus running on the computer. Well, I don't think the utility is going to run on modern Windows. That's problem number one. Because I think I need to... Uh, basically, this page with the firmware versions for this drive has a firmware version detection utility for Windows. Which means I'm going to have to put this in a computer that's got probably an older version of Windows. <laughs> And then a whole bunch of firmware versions, some of which are clearly marked which versions of the drive it's for, and some of which are not. Just try a model, Justin. What's the worst that could happen? You'll brick it to the point where it won't accept another firmware? Something oh, like wait. that. Oh, wait. That's the problem. Sorry. Oh, I, I don't know if it'll take a firmware update. I don't know if it'll work well enough to, for it to read the firmware version. So, <laughs> I, I mean, I did look at the firmware chip. It looks like it's soldered correctly. So, well, this drive might be soon for the scrap heap. So I bought that joystick from the guy on Mercari, and he's like, I'm going to ship it, but I realized I made a mistake on the shipping. That and sucks. I, he says, I want to refund you and then relist it for the same total. Okay. And I'm like, okay. okay. So he did that, and I don't get it. I, instead of me paying $14.99 plus $4 shipping... He changed it to where I paid eleven ninety nine and seven dollars shipping. It's the same Just amount. Like, who cares? Yeah, I don't really get it. Tax reasons. I don't know. It's odd. I think Mercari does something weird where they give you the label. Six, seven, you, you, I don't know. I've never sold on Mercari. Eight. Anyway, I he canceled it and then relisted it and I repurchased it. So. So I still wanted it. That is kind of weird, but... Yeah. Well, I saved somebody else from buying it and getting the wrong thing because he listed it as Apple slash PC compatible. And it is not. It's definitely Apple only. So save some PC user from buying it and being like, damn it. It's our... 
50k Wi-Fi. Yeah, you saved some PC user from throwing it away because they thought it didn't work. Yeah. Well, when the nine, when they saw that it had a nine-pin connector, they'd be like, "What?" Oh yeah. <laughs> the thing is that Craft Joystick, they did make a PC Apple um, dual compatible version, but what it had was a Y cable on the end with a 15 pin and a nine pin, and then there was an IBM Apple switch on the bottom. You mean this one? I like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a later version, but yeah. I used to tell people that was the cheapest way to get an Apple joystick was to buy one of those because nobody, everybody's like, oh, that's for PCs. And then, no, look on the bottom. If it has an Apple switch, then it works on your Apple. So they're paying $100 for an Apple joystick. Yeah, probably, probably right, though. They probably underestimated the shipping cost, and that's probably why they had to re redo that. Yeah. Well, thing is, that he took my offer in the first case, mm -hmm. but he had a fixed shipping on it. And then I guess he figured out he didn't charge enough. But the thing is, that he redid it and gave me the same total. So he ended up selling me yeah. the joystick for $11. Three. So yeah. that's way less than what it's worth. Three. He could have just said, I made him an error and it canceled the sale. But yeah. Oh, well, we'll see. Well, the thing is, he's in the same yeah. state as me, so I don't even know yeah. why it costs that much to ship. He's, I mean, he could just drive two hours up the road and drop it off. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, Justin, I got a, um, a really busted up Sentra 650. But I took the faceplate off, and I, I found that the drive they put in was a uh, what was supposed to be an external. So it's got oh. the uh, it's got the Apple logo and the headphone jack and all that stuff. Wow! I was gonna cool. make it into a external Apple CD-ROM. One, two, three. Thought that right. was kind of cool. You never you never that's find an, those. that's an old one there with that Apple logo on. Yeah. Yeah, it's from uh, early 90s. Yeah. That mechanism should have been in a 600E, but I found it inside a Centris. So, huh. Interesting. Um, thing is, the Centris oh, yeah. should have had a slot load or like a caddy load. Uh, maybe a user put that in there at some point. Mm -hmm. They did their own upgrade. Swapped it out. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Well... There's a big red X next to your Ben Q. Uh, yes, and the drive is about to earn another designation. Uh -oh. <laughs> Trash inhabitant. <laughs> e waste. <laughs> oh no. Aww. Yep. Is that Hi. another e eBay regret? Or... <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is that an IDE drive? <laughs> yes, it is. It's oh, also sorry. it's also completely dead. Wow. So yeah, I put it back together and it's it's um the the lights blinking so it's like it was only blinking when it tried to read a disc so I thought there was hope. Nope. It's completely dead. But there was no way. Justin, can blinking, I interest you in calling. a uh, Plex store DVD writer? Possibly. See this? Ah. It's not a Ben Q, it's a Plex store. Uh, it hey. might interest me. Uh, and for, for the system I was trying to put that in, it's the wrong color faceplate. Okay. Yeah, this is from 04. It's pretty new. Um, this one has IDE, and I didn't realize it when I grabbed it. Ah. Oh, so those are all built. <clears throat> It is a DVD nice. RW and CD RW full burner. That could be handy. All right, let me grab a motherboard so I can test. All blue skezies are built. Nice. Ooh. I'm going to go order one right now. <laughs> 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 Good luck. My stock's low. 
Oh. <laughs> It'll go back Very up good. tomorrow. I don't when need all the right now. from uh, Gut Bomb get here. I'm probably going to buy a kit from you because I want to. I need a kit form one to do my weird uh, SCSI dock. Yeah. So I'm not going to desolder a DB25. That's silly. So do the uh, the new boards have the, what is it called, uh, castellated? Yeah. Uh, the, the desktop and um, PowerBook ones do, yes, because there's room on the PCB to do that. Oh, okay. The DB25s still use a header because they're extremely compact and there's stuff underneath the Pico, so you have to, like, lift it up. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I still have no. Nope, I still have uh, V ones to. They're all kits though. So this last guy actually may get his built because I don't have my last one. Mm -hmm. I need to stop getting so much junk mail. Yeah, I always get lots of junk mail. I'll uh, delete it or I'll go in the thing and say, nope, don't want any more. And I even get more after I do that. Yeah. <laughs> you oh, it. You it. received it. <laughs> yep. Got uh, one megabyte for the Apple II. To eat. One megabit. Yeah, I got some, a whole bunch of uh, RAM chips from China. And I expected them to just be, you know, a bunch of fake nonsense, but they're, they all test good and they're all uh, NEC chips from 1990. Wow, nice. So somebody just found some new old stock somewhere. Mm hmm. Now I got a program blue pills. Yay, yay, yay. Now I got a program blue pills. All oh, made in Singapore. Please. Yeah, I loaded up that empty uh, Apple II RAM card I had with the NECs. So now Did you can work? add a. Add, yeah, it works mm. fine. Add a megabyte. Like when you load AppleWorks, instead of it saying you have 55K, it says you have 1,000 something K. Nice. It's super ridiculous. The thing is, if you put that 80 column card I just showed and this in, you get two megs in the system. Wow. Uh, this is going up for sale because it's 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 cool, but it's completely stupid. There's got to be somebody out there who's like, I wish I had one of those RAM cards. I always wanted a RAM card. That was the one that came in that Apple II I bought, and the guy said it didn't work. And the reason it didn't work is because it had zero RAM on it. Oh, uh, that that would. Uh... Yeah, yeah. What's funny is the card's actually smart enough. If it, if you put no RAM on it, it doesn't report itself as existing. It just says, "I'm just going to be quiet and, and shut down and sit in here." Wow, that's that's actually kind of interesting because nowadays something like that would be made so that it would just like. <laughs> Well, the other thing too you is you don't have to fill it. You can only you can these are there's four banks on here, so you can do two fifty six, five twelve, seven sixty eight, or one meg, and you don't have to set any jumpers or anything. You just put the chips in in the right spots, and it knows. Like this is from the eighties. Like stuff from then, usually it was like jumper city. Yeah, this is just smart enough to like count its own RAM and then tell the tell the Apple II, hey, I'm here. I have five hundred twelve k or whatever. But yeah. On the 2GS version of this card, you had to set jumpers. And that's newer than this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Justin, what are you going to do with all those uh, questionable hard drives? Uh... Uh, what questionable hard drives? The ones you put the X on, you throw it in your trash pile. <laughs> uh, well, that, that optical drive just went uh, 
straight into the bin because there's no there's no hope for it. <coughs> uh, most of the time, if I've if it's dead, it gets scrapped. G- gets recycled. Yeah. Now I had a. The, Go ahead. This is the two eighty six that uh, the other two eighty six that I was working on on. I guess it was Thursday. And this one started giving me RAM errors, so I'm going to power it up with a uh, newer power supply to see if the RAM errors go away. Because mm-hmm. there's some I got a this power supply that was in it needs recapped. Now this is a standard size power supply. The only problem is the switch is on the back, not the front. So I'm having trouble finding a. AT style power supply that fits the bill. I may just have to maybe put an XT in it and or a, an ATX with an adapter and just always have it switched on because there's no place for a power switch on the case other than on the power supply. Drill <laughs> originality, <laughs> big drill. Oh. I told, people, I told people that my um, my CPU card in my in my 9600 was bad, and so somebody sent me this, which is a uh, newer Tech G3 card. Oh. And then somebody sent me this, which is a Apple Dual 604 card. And then somebody sent me this, which is something I never heard of, a 604E, but it's 166 megahertz. I don't think there was such a thing. Actually, this supply, I might be able to fix this just by recapping it, because I think I see the bad cap, actually. So I'm going to put... Now you get, yeah, it's going to say you get your choice. Now you can try all of them. Well, I want to put the G3 into the 9600 because then I have a six-slot G3. That'd be cool. And then this mm-hmm. dual one I'll put in the 8500, which is the one that had no processor in it. But I know it works because Garth loaned me one last year. And then I'll have this spare weird 166 one. I'll try it out, see if it works. But, yeah, mm-hmm. everybody's very nice. It's like, I need a part. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you have zero, and now you have three. <laughs> Yes, we live in a good community for sure. Yeah. All right, well, okay, I might be able to recap this supply, but for now, I'm going to power this up with a ATX power supply and an adapter and see if I get memory errors still. And if I do, well, then that cool. probably. Probably means I need to pull the board out and check for cracked solder joints on the memory sockets because it was kind of weird in that it was the system was behaving and then it started misbehaving. You know that Quadra 700 I have with the big hole in the front? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I figured out if you, um, you put your Molex there, it's an easy access Molex cable. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I uh, love it. That's great. Uh. <laughs> you could, you know, you could put a like get one of the a, a, a Jurassic Park minifig and of a T Rex and stick it out of the hole. Yeah, there's two problems with that. One is that the um, the speaker interferes with the hole and the floppy drive does, oh. and mm. partially the hard drive. Uh, My current um, goal for that machine is to find a battery bombed Quadra 700 and then steal its case. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you'll, you can, I'm sure there's plenty of those out there somewhere. One will yeah. show up eventually. No, yeah. I'm never going to find a cap destroyed one because the, they use tantalum, so it's got to be battery bombed. Yeah. Either that or like mouse destroyed or something. Yeah. I watched your video, Frederick. Very nice. No, oh, thank you. 
Yeah, I was, I was, I, I'm watching that kind of off to the side here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're good. Yeah, big difference between my night voice and my morning voice. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, when I when I do uh, videos, I, I always like to do them in the morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, interesting. And then, and then edit it in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. You know, the other thing I could do with this hole in the front of here is I could neatly cut it out square where the um, the vents are. Uh -huh. and put some sort of little OLED in there that shows information. Like Yeah, you, you could do that. Um, or I could put a big floppy emu uh, OLED in there and have it just be a floppy emu. Andy. Yeah. Uh, that cat is zonked out. Oh, yeah, she's, she's passed out. Yeah. Yeah. She alive? Oh, yeah, she's fine. <laughs> yeah. I wonder that sometimes I pass, go past one of my cats, they're, they're like not even twitching. And you just have to look to see if they're breathing still. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just they're they're in the, they're in the ozone here. They're yep. done. Yep. All right. Well, I was able little... to join for about an hour here, but I have to take off. Don't leave us. Okay, Adam. Hey, thank you very much for hanging next out. Week, you're, you've if you're been, on next you've been week. missed. Thanks, Dave. Uh, next next Sunday, I'm not streaming, but the 31st, I'll be streaming. Okay. And they'll be building okay. those thingamajiggies. We're going to be doing a kit build on the 31st. All right, uh, what, well, next time I'm on, I'll try to be on longer than an hour. Awesome. What what Appreciate kit it. are we building this time around? We're doing the one Bruce was doing that uh, that component analyzer. Oh. Uh, I already have one, but the, this one he had uh, is a different model. So we'll build that. That way, I got a comparison. I can compare it to the one I got because this one this one works fantastic. So. Cool. All right. See ya. So yeah. See you All later, right, Adam. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Have a good holiday. Oh, he's gone. We didn't get to say all that stuff. Hey, I'm just glad he's uh, doing a lot better and able to get back, you know? Mm -hmm. Yep. True that. Oh. Here comes the poker. It's poker time. Yes, when you have a floppy drive configured it helps to have the floppy drive plugged in mm. no, that's no. Don't, need that. don't believe Why? everything you see on the internet justin wait wait wait, wait. justin plugging in a floppy drive is a thing <laughs> yeah because <laughs> right, if i'm gonna who's on, the, who's on the poker table tonight because if i'm gonna keep up with the commodore i need floppy drives there you go who? Or the Macintosh the keeping up? Are you keeping up with Macintosh, or is Macintosh keeping oh, up with you? There you go. Is Macintosh is keeping up with you? Mm -hmm. As long as you're uh, creative and want to spend a thousand freaking bucks. Only a thousand? <laughs> it's a discount. <laughs> That's rookie numbers. Are you keeping up with Apple Computer? Because Apple Computers, because uh, Apple Computers. Apple computers... For crap. <laughs> well, I, I'm uh, too bad. Garth's gone. I was going to tell him. Uh, was it Thursday? Was it Thursday? Wednesday last or this week? Uh, had a patient come in. She's a retired school teacher, and anyway, so we were talking. She goes, "Oh yeah, I." I had, she goes, oh, my whole family's all Mac, right? And I said, oh, really? Yeah. She goes, yeah, I get a lot of old ones that, uh, you know, haven't used for years and stuff. I go, oh, really? What What do you have? So she was kind of rattling off some things. She goes, I have a, she has a, I have an iMac G4, you know, the one that's on the little round stand and got the big screen on it and stuff. And, and she had it rattled off a couple other ones. I go, hmm. And so I was telling her, you know, that, you know, like looking I, I do this. So you stalk her at night. <laughs> yeah, he, no, he's gonna she's gonna end up in his closet and, and uh you know you know wrapped in plastic no actually she said she goes well she goes you know i don't know what's on the drive i said i'll be happy to take the drive out and give it to you not a problem because i'm just gonna put a solid state drive in it anyway 
So anyway, so she goes, well, I'll tell you what, when I come to pick up my glasses, I'm going to bring, bring you some computers. I said, oh, good. <laughs> we'll see. And no lady, that's not going to change the price of the glasses. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's, she's, she, cause I told her, said, we, you know, we just, we hate to see this stuff going landfills. I go, we, 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 uh, donate a lot of stuff to other people in the community. You know, we fix them, you know, and that kind of stuff. I said, you know, we just want to keep it out of the landfills. So she goes, oh, I like that. So this dude's got, I think million. she said she had a, uh, wow. I think she said she had a Commodore 64. Not that's been wrapped up and it's got tons of dust on it out in the garage. She's got the uh, iMac. Uh, she's got, uh, I think she said she had an old Apple II out there too. I said, I'll take it all. Yeah, just bring it. I'll take it out of your car for you. <laughs> so we'll see. Yes. I, I, I've been lied to before. Yeah. That never happens. <clears> hmm. <throat> Humans never do anything for their own interests in complete advance of uh, everybody else around them. That is never a thing that ever. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. Dave, who's lying everybody. to you? Ryan wants to know. Everybody. <laughs> well, I don't know, uh, Ryan. Uh, it hasn't happened yet, so we'll see. <laughs> well, I mean, she's not going to have a chance to lie. He's going to lock her oh, up in the closet and take oh, the computers wow. anyway. <laughs> it's like Ryan entered the chat because he must have detected I had a Trident video card on the bench. No, that oh. would be true. Yeah, you should hop in, Ryan. Yeah. Come say hi, Ryan. Needs of the many outweigh the needs the, of the many many outweigh the needs of the few. Absolutely. You got not that this, right. Not this few. No, I'm just kidding. Or sometimes the need of the one outweigh the needs of the few or the many. So, I mean, yeah. it's hard to see, I'm but right one. That's right because the needs of the one. You spot outweighed the needs of the one. Depends. <laughs> I am the one. My needs win. No, I'm just kidding. Indeed it is. <laughs> His trident senses are tingling. Tingly, tingly, tingly. That's gas. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's hello, what happens when you have hamburgers and hot dogs. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna let this memory test run, and your food's over there behind the monitor. There you go, kitty. Your memory seems to be walking left and right. Oh, holy fuzz! Oh yeah. It uh -oh. can't make question up its mark, mind. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Oh, that's the part it's testing. Oh, I thought it was the part that was having doubts. Yeah. It's Trident related, so it's probably shit, not gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, lordy, lordy. Lottie, lottie. It's time to party. Trident, Trident not legal, not in, legal Utah. in Utah. <laughs> uh, was, Trident, Thomas. was that Trident yeah. gum? Sorry. No, I think he meant the other trident. I know. <laughs> I should probably make that uh, full screen. I don't know. Now, now Justin, if I ever come across any trident cards, they'll they'll have your name on them. I'll send them to you. All right. Excellent. So, so I know oh, how by much the way, you, you like them. Yeah. Uh, by the way, the trident Macintosh video card that showed up, mm -hmm. uh, someone bought it before I could get it. Oh. There's a Trident Mac card. Uh, really? That was actually the internal development name for the card. It wasn't actually it didn't uh. have a Trident chip on it, but the internal nickname for this particular I forget which card it is, but the version of it that had all the memory on board and no VRAM slot or socket, that its internal nickname was apparently Trident. So I was going to get it, but someone bought it before I got paid. So. I didn't mm. get it. 
Wait, so it's a separate card with Ram Sims on it. Uh, let me uh, let me see if I can fi- remember which card it is. It's like the. It's it's actually a fairly common card, so I'm sure another one will appear on oh, eBay. I, I'm I'm pretty sure one will show up on eBay sooner or later. You'll regret it. Probably. Of course yeah. it is. I guess that's what eBay is all about for Justin's regrets. <clears throat> hey, baby, what you doing, Katie? June Bella Bella. It's. Oh, yeah, I think it's the Macintosh display card 4 8. Hmm. But the version that has all the video RAM on board already, as in uh, the memory chips are soldered <laughs> to it, that's the one that is nicknamed Trident, apparently. Or that was its internal development name. I'll put the. Interesting. Oh, it's a new bus. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I've got something similar to that, but it's a PCI variant. Uh, it's got loads of memory sims on it. Yeah, they had a version that had, uh, I guess it was the half the VRAM on board and two VRAM sim sockets. That had some other nickname. And then there was a version that had all the memory populated on board and no VRAM sim sockets, and that one was tried out. Okay, you made me curious now. I'm going to have to go and find it. So it's common enough, another one will show up and I'll probably regret it. In fact, I may actually have one already. You have a pre regret? <laughs> if, if, my Macintosh 2CI, my Macintosh 2CI repair, uh, I have another 2CI logic board. <laughs> Someone has it for repair. And I sent them a video card to test with, and I believe it might have been one of those Trident cards. That was my mom yeah. on the phone. Oh, hi, mom. How you hi, doing? Mom. So, so let me ask you, Justin, on on these Trident uh, cards, um, why are they so problematic? Is it is it is due because they were? Um, is this because the age age of them, or was there? Did they kind of were they not they very were, well made, or what? They were the low cost option. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think they were just not very well made in some cases. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, Tried the it. one that I have is like that. Oh, okay. That's not that's not the one. Yeah, that's not the one that's nicknamed Trident. What am I doing? I don't, yeah, that's for like the. <clears throat> so is that for like some of the Power Max that had a really yeah. weird? I've never video. seen one in a Power Mac before, but it's really odd. I, yeah, I don't know what that one goes to, but yeah, that is a weird slot connector, because that's not PCI. It almost looks like that goes in the PDS slot in hey, some Power Max. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Ryan yeah. says cheap and regretful. <laughs> Go Trident S V G A I S A. It does have built in memory. Um... Yeah, the Trident, uh, the the Trident I S A Super V G A works pretty well. It has I one. That, I think that might have been Trident's best chip. That the nine thousand I. That was probably Garf's, one of their. That was yeah, one of their Garf, better chips. Uh, Garf said it's a HPV card for a seventy-one hundred or eighty-one hundred. That means nothing to me, Garf. High performance video, HPV. Oh, okay. Human papillomavirus. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Joe. 
<laughs> it's soon tight. So it's not a P oh, it's a, a what do you call it? A VDS, VDS slot. He says, "Got it." Yeah, Google it. Oh, Google, Google, it. Google, 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 Google. Read, Dave. Yeah. yeah. Or Garth, <laughs> you know, Garth could actually come in here and tell you. Yeah. So it it was in the seventy one hundred. So I'm assuming that it has. Oh, I know why they put it in the seventy one hundred because it had that stupid. Uh, alternative um, video connector on the back of it. Hey, baby. This stupid connector. Where is it? Can you see it? Oh, the um... the AV one. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That's why they put it in there. No, not AAUI. It's got um, a weird thing. I've got a, I've got an adapter for it upstairs. Owie. AAUI, owie. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! I need to go and find it. No, I don't. It's the. Gar said it's Apple's best AIO video connector yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just released the previous connector. We're going to release a new connector with completely different pinout and timings. Of course. Just to confuse The connector more. is the same. And, and it puts positive 48 volts directly on the ground line. I mean, 7100 <laughs> has to be like the worst power Mac ever. Hey, girl. Hey, baby. That, I stole some tiny cups. That last part sounds really strange. Plus 48 volts. That's oddly specific. <laughs> what, just like you're 138? Joe's got it. I picked a random Joe's voltage. I picked <laughs> a random voltage that popped into my head. I was probably thinking of POE. Dongle voltage. company. Chrome voltage or something. Yep. I mean, why, do, why not at that point Apple just put 120 or 240 volts line voltage on one of the pins just to spite you? Um... Didn't because Apple. On one of the adapters once? Yeah, because Apple. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's use that for an excuse. It works, right? Why did I put that away? What the heck am I oh, doing? Oh, crap. Flippity flip flop. I don't know what you're doing, Joe. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing either. That's the problem. You know what I love about HyperTalk? Uh, I love that? seriously or love it's sarcastically? Hyper. You, you can define variables... Or you don't define variables. You just use them. So if you misspell a word in a variable, mm -hmm. it's just an empty variable. It's not going to say, syntax error, you forgot to declare this variable. I wonder if there's a lint tool for HyperCard where you could say... <laughs> Is there know, anything else you can put in Uninitialized <laughs> variables or something. If there isn't, I should write one. Hmm. I'm going to let Google that. Right, back on the shelf, never speak. Take it down ever again. All right. Does anyone know how much hard drive space you have to have to install Windows 3.1? Uh, approximately five megabytes. Oh, okay. It's not a lot. Maybe 10. I happen to surprisingly know the exact number of megabytes required to install Windows 95, and that is 75. It's what? 75? I don't know why I remember that, I just do. Um... I mean, I knew it couldn't be like a whole lot because the base install like fits on three floppies, six. right? Yeah. Yeah. Six. It's actually six, but who's counting? You are, apparently. Oh. <laughs> well, I am because I'm actually installing it right now. So I know how many disks are on the.
Frederick, what system did you wind up putting on that Mac? Uh, well, I managed to bypass the administrative uh, the password that the guy had installed on his machine with the. Oh, okay, user cool. Mode, yeah. So, uh, yeah. And it's I've updated it already, and it's at the maximum of uh, ten five eight. Okay. Yeah, you can yeah go and uh, you can go in terminal and uh, trick it to be like a new install. Yep. Yeah, you delete uh, the, the file that. Yeah. Yeah, forget the name, but uh, already. <laughs> I would. And then you can put whatever name you want in it. There you go. Yeah. There is not a lint or a linter for HyperTalk. I just now have my next eighth month, eight month uh, program programming project to do. Uh oh. So. A three hour tour. Well, a three first you have to write a, a uh, assembly language a compiler for it. <laughs> nah, I got compile it. I don't need one. Um, no, but I want. I wonder if compile it's got a tool for linting scripts. I don't know. Linkin. My mother-in-law. That's what she calls LinkedIn. Sometimes she calls it Linkin. Oh, it's, it's a my mom. Linkeding. Linkeding. You guys know what a linter is, right? Yeah, it's that rolly thing that's got sticky tape on it that you... <laughs> yes, you run it over your code and it, it picks up all the crap. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that'd be a good um, uh, logo to put on it. <laughs> yeah. on would be a lint, lint. lint roller. Yeah. yeah. Huh? That's funny. Oh. A nine-hour tour. I made the same mistake in multiple places. That's this cool. I was thinking of putting, like, Windows 2.11 on this computer, but I don't know that... There are Windows 2.11.2. Yeah. yeah. That's Windows yeah. 2.86. Or it may just be 2.1. Well, well, Windows. Well, well, Windows. Windows 3.86. I've got pieces in one spreadsheet. I've got... Sounded do, like a rap. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's, a, it's an advertising thing for Windows 3.86. It's all of it. The dumbest thing. I love it. Windows setup. Disk three. Oh, there we go. That was hot. See, now it works. But I. I don't. I don't know that there's video uh, Windows 286 drivers for the Trident video card that's on this computer. There's a Windows 3.1 driver. It'll be fine. Really? I don't know. I'm <laughs> making crap up. Joe's at it again. Joe. Yeah. It might work. I, I mean, it might. It also might not. It might, Rabbit. It might. It might also be a moot point because maybe Windows 286 doesn't need more than just the standard VGA driver that's built in. That sounds like a very Windows 286 thing. Oh, my did. I just thought I would, in, I'd like to install that on one of my 286s just because I've never had the privilege of using it. A nine hour tour. A privilege, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think anybody bought that. <laughs> Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. 
Also, I think installing Windows 3.1 on a machine with only one megabyte of RAM is uh, it'll probably work. not the... I mean, it'll work, but I don't know that it was the best idea. I should have... It'll swap pro- like crazy, but... I should have probably installed the other RAM I have in the computer first. Tell me yeah. Oh, no, no, you can't be scared. That would require me to change a bunch of jumpers, though, so... Oh, that's always fun, right? Yeah. Jumpers that are, like, falling apart. Tell me about... Oh, no, no, you can't be scared. Ooh. Can you tell I like Fleetwood now? Fleetwood no! Uh, never would have got that. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't listened to them in a while. I got to throw some of that on the YouTube. I like them. I've always, uh, I've always uh, liked their music. Yeah. I haven't listened to them, yeah, Eagles, I, or Journey in a while. I always thought you were a, a Fleetwood Windows person, or maybe a Fleetwood OS2 person, but... Never, never <laughs> would have tagged you as a Fleetwood Mac person. <laughs> that would be wow. a wow. 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 I thought wow. Where's the wah 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 thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I want losing. I want losing horns for that bad one. Apparently, it wasn't even worth that. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Love it. <laughs> You're welcome, Joe. I would definitely deserve that noise. <laughs> oh, my goodness. oh my god, don't lie. I mean, according to the YouTube algorithm, he's a, a Fleetwood OS2 person because, okay. like, er, yeah, it's that, like YouTube suggests that his US, his OS2 video to like all of us, if we mm, haven't watched it in the past, like, this four day. Oh, so it's still doing that, huh? Yeah, it's still doing that for some odd reason. Just the comments on that video. I thought this was supposed to teach me how to install OS 2. Unlike. Like, okay, great. I'll see you. <laughs> oh, Gypsy. If I live to see. Wonders. Frederick's got a ginormous Mac screen blocking his almost entirely his, almost his whole face. I'm glad you finished that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little tongue tied there because I'm, I'm watching three different things at once right now. We got poker on one screen. The stream I just and then another screen. And I thought, oh my god, where is this going? The Big Mac screen. So what? Uh, wait, wait, what wait, wait, Martin, it? are you uh, are you are you channeling your your inner Trina? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> he's uh, he looks like he's got one of those professional drawing tablet things. It looks so big. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, kind of. Is that is that the uh, what size okay. what size screen is that? I uh, believe it's 17. That okay. looks more, more than that. No. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 17. Yeah. Cool. Yep. I hope this person realizes that, like, when you buy... Cat fuzz. Good lord, a cat fuzz. Um, <laughs> Tiny comp kits from you get two because they bought like oh. three whole kits assembled. Whoops. Like either they have a lot of machines they need stuff for, or. Or they're going to have extra. Yeah. In worst case scenario, they pass the, the um, extras on to somebody else I know. Give me pies, give me sweet little pies. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I like pie. Pie is good. I was on my call on that call with my mom, and she's like, "What do you want me to make for Christmas dinner?" I'm like, "Cherry pie." Yeah, mm-hmm. for me, it would be my sister asked that question. It'd be your homemade apple pie. It's my favorite irrational uh, food. I can go with either 
pecan, apple, pumpkin, or cherry. There you go. Okay, the only one of those that knew that's an absolute no for me is the pumpkin. Really? Does anyone like you me? are not, not an American. Does anyone like I'm an American as apple pie. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find a picture of something that I made last Christmas and everyone loved it. Oh, okay. Past Christmas. It's gonna be one of those Klingon pies where the, the the things are still moving inside the pie. No, it was like uh, an apple. <laughs> it was like an apple crumble sponge. Is it oh. that bad that mm. I knew Joe was going to sing that? Start singing that song before he did. I've got it in my head now. I had it in my head, and then he started singing it. Like, <laughs> Did everybody see that question that Francois asked? Does anyone has one of those L-shaped HDI thirty adapters and can make and can take measurements? Anybody? Anybody? HDI thirty. HDI thirty. Yeah, whatever that is. Hmm. I don't have one of those adapters, so I cannot take. Where's measurements. Adam when you need him? I bet he has one. Well, I'm sure he does. Why is this shit? Ooh, that guy just that guy just won three hundred three hundred thousand dollars on a poker hand. Wow. Why are you still here then? Why am I still here? Because I didn't <laughs> win that money, somebody else did. Oh, I thought you said you did. So I know I'm watching the the uh, the World Poker Tour uh, Championship on another screen. Uh, <laughs> watching other people win money. Other people with money that can I afford to play so lose that money. <laughs> I had a friend who uh, lived off of playing poker for a couple of years. Hey, if you can make money doing it, I have a friend. Uh, my, my friend Manny. It's all about being better than the league you play in. Yep, and being lucky. He used to go time. to the casinos. And uh, get in on the uh, games. That's, well, if Will was here too. He he'd probably know on that. Oh yeah, the HDI thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised Joe doesn't know. The problem is the connector. The, yeah, they don't make wants... the connector. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure if you Google, Google it, you can probably find the, the measurement. Of the protruding <laughs> plastic oh, part. To, to as far as like, the... oh, making a new one. Uh, I don't have one yeah. of those because I don't have yeah. a machine that needs one. Ah, okay. You yeah, might be I surprised. I figured Adam know, would have one because Adam seems to have everything. Books. 10 8 hearts. Oh, 10 8 suited. Oh, I hate it when I do this. I hate it when my Schwartz gets twisted. Yes. I see your Schwartz <laughs> is as big as mine. Let's see how well you handle it. <laughs> I love that movie. That's got to be one of the best movies ever, right? There. That and Blazing Saddles. My brother, sister's cousin's former roommate. What does that make me? Absolutely nothing. I'm a real bona fide prince. Raspberries? I hate raspberries. Only one, one man, one man that would dare give me raspberries. raspberries. Lone, Lone Star! And the camera smacks <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, Billy Darn, I'm gonna have to watch that movie. I haven't watched it in years. Set it to suck. Handsome stranger. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that that movie is just classic. Right right there. Handsome yeah. stranger. They don't make movies like that anymore. Nope. That and Blazing Saddles. Yogurt. Oh, I yogurt. If they did, they'd get canceled. Strawberries. There's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of things that you can't do nowadays because you know we're too. PC. Well, that's why you get to watch them in reruns. There you go. <coughs> Stupid. Thing. I love. I love. You know, my favorite is the uh, all the '80s movies. Mm -hmm. You got you know, Real Genius. You've got uh, Weird Science. Gotcha. Those type of movies. Sneakers. Sneakers, yep. Just so many. Well, there's so many movies that you could you could say, like you know, Big Trouble in Little China, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the Last Dragon is one of my favorite movies. The Never Ending Story. Oh, only the first one. Only the first one. The rest of the Never Ending Stories are horrible. 
Yeah, I agree. Five forty-five. Never ending story. Uh, la 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 la. la. He's big. Valcor. Oh, that dude. What? Yeah, there you go. Smart man, ship that. Okay, I just heard a fart noise, and it's on one of the other streams I'm watching. You sure it wasn't one of your cats? If my cats <laughs> made did that, they would be splattered against the wall. Although we do have a cat that's uh, right here. You can't see her really well. She blends in right there, but that's Belly that's uh, so so yeah. aka skunkins. We call her Skunkins because she used to crop dust us. She used to run right in front of us across our computer desk and then gas us out. <laughs> oh, it was it was horrendous. They did that shit on purpose. Sorry, that stuff she, on purpose. She did. They absolutely, absolutely do it on purpose. Well, we changed the food, so it's not that bad. It doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> so when I lived at my other house, the neighbors had cats, and the cats would like to lay on my car. For whatever reason, and I go out in the morning warm, and I get in the my car, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't move off the car. And so, like, I'd have to, like, they just did not care. They did not give two two craps about me being on the car or trying to move the car. And so, I would, when I'd come out, I would, you know, shoo them and, like, you know, be like, "Get off my car! I need to move my car so you know you don't end up splattered on the street." And what they started doing is they started taking the crap right in front of my car door. <laughs> Smart kitties. So it would step in. Yep, that and they would hide it in the grass really well. Good kitties. And I'm like, I love you. Your cats are great. You're fine. But like, get off my freaking car. I don't want you to be hurt when I move down the road. It's like, we're going for a ride. Yep. <laughs> you just did not care. Like, this is my space. I'm like, no. I think you misunderstand the hierarchy here. Yes, you did, Joe. You did. For, you know, there we go. The have some apple cake. No, they misunderstood the hierarchy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. the hierarchy. oh, that looks. Oh, that looks good, Martin. Ooh, let, let me make you big. Ooh. That looks really good. Wow. Here, let me make you. Big. <laughs> is that the apple crumb? Yeah. Is that the apple oh, crumb? Oh, wow. So you're going to make that layers, too, right, Martin. You're just going to like ship that to me. And that's caramel <laughs> on top. Still to caramel. Oh. Oh, and you've got layers. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Us Americans want to be fat. Want nice. to be. Okay, I already am. Because <laughs> we, we would devour that, that whole very tasty. thing. That's would. It does look good. That looks, yeah, that looks really good. And the other thing that my sister makes that I, I really, really love is the uh, Buckeye balls. It's just peanut butter balls covered in chocolate. Basically, a Reese's peanut butter cup, but homemade. Everybody in Ohio makes those. They're awful. It's the Buckeye balls. This used to be breakfast for me until I started eating random crap. What is that? I see. It looks like strawberries, maybe some oats, but is that yogurt? Is that yogurt and granola and strawberries? Oh, it's a banana. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the other thing. It's banana. Okay. Yeah, that, that was, was a typical breakfast for me. That looks good to me. I'll take it for breakfast. Yeah, yeah it looks Heck good. Yeah. I love oats. I love bananas. I love strawberries. I love yogurt. Is that plain yogurt or like a vanilla yogurt or what kind? Yogurt. Uh, it's just uh, it's just plain natural yogurt. You going? Okay. Mm, yogurt. Oh, I haven't had yogurt in a long time. I need to go now and want some. Gosh, dearly darn it! And bananas and strawberries. Hey, banana. Granola. Is that oats or is that granola? Uh, granola. Yeah. Is that Martian soil? I don't know what he's talking about there. He's talking about the uh, apple thing you had on there. <laughs> Did you know that the word granola is very similar phonetically to the, for the word for frog in French? Oh, really? I, I wouldn't know that because I don't know anything about French. Francois, is that true? Granouille. <laughs> well, that would be awkward ordering at a restaurant. You think you're ordering granola and you're ordering frog. Frog that legs. Granouille, granola, Meh. yeah, it's stretched a bit. I know that was the joke. 
problem. <laughs> that, with that, that, that was. I French think that joke was lost on a lot of us that stream. don't actually know anything about French. My my husband speaks <laughs> French so. and German. Oh wow! I took a semester of German. Very bilingual. Yeah. Sometimes he thinks in German and will like talk to me in German. I'm like, honey, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> And then he repeats it slowly, like I'll get it. I'm like, I love you to death. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, now, Joe, uh, the first thing you learn in foreign language is all the bad words. There you go. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Nice. Those are ones you. Those are ones you remember. I know that one. He, the only thing I remember in German is like nine, nine. Uh, when I when I well, I'm I'm part um. I'm half English, half German, and anyway, so when I used to live in Indiana, when I worked for A.B. Dick, I'd go to a lot of these old churches and stuff, and you get a lot of these old Germans, these uh, German churches, and they'd see my last name, they go, oh, Stoll. I said, yes, but uh, I know speaking the German. <laughs> no speaking the Dutch? I said, I, you know, I, I mean, I just, you know, used, you know, Danke or... Um, Shushkoff, you? you know, that kind of, you know. <laughs> so here's, here's the typical British way of cooking a turkey on Christmas Day. Oh, we're going to oh. need that bigger. Oh, There we go. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> Buy a turkey, have a glass of wine, stuff turkey, have a glass of wine, put turkey in oven, relax and have a glass of wine. Now here it gets funny. Turk the base, basty, wine of glass, another hunt for meat thermometer glass yourself another what glass yourself another just four getting hours. Drunk. Wine. you're getting so much wine already <laughs> ba Bake wine for ba four hours ba uh, take the oven, oven out of the turkey uh, tet the stable grab another <laughs> bottle of wine wine and oh, turkey God, the awesome. Tur <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Garth, if you're watching that's you you're the only one drinking wine on stream <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask, how do, how does it taste after it's all done? Yeah. You don't care. Like At that point, you don't care. It's like wine. Yeah, you don't. You're asleep. <laughs> Until you wake up the next morning, what happened, right? The smoke house is filled with smoke. The turkey's just toasted because you fell asleep while it was going. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yep. Smoke detector goes off. Tell me wine. Tell me sweet little wine. Taught me wine, sweet little wine. <laughs> Drink me wine, sweet little wine. What time is it? It's only seven o'clock. Give me Christmas. Not quite. Twenty minutes. Yep, it's getting there. Oh, wow, so many crazy. We got twenty minutes I, left of the stream. For a moment, I thought Windows wasn't going to finish installing before the stream ended. I was still thinking about it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> It was copying files. It took that long to copy them because I windows. Yeah, or at least old school Windows. Uh, it's Windows three dot one on a two eighty six with only one megabyte of RAM. That'll do it. I forgot. I should have put the four megabytes of RAM back in it before installing Windows. It probably would have copied files a little faster. Not too too because it would have had more RAM to read more stuff off the floppy. All right. Oh, Guy's about to lose some money. So, which so step which are you step at? Are you at? Is it, who are we talking about? Justin here or the molt the wine? <coughs> It's about to ask me to reboot. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, oh correction, no. The okay, tutorial was... and now Now reboot. Or in this case I'm gonna go back to MS DOS because I'm going to install the four megabytes of RAM. Go ahead and install the RAM that caused this whole problem in the first place. All right. Good luck. Well, I mean, right there is one. Well, it got to the point Thursday where 
it, the, even the one megabyte of onboard memory was giving memory errors. So either the power supply was... Although I'm not using the same power supply, so I think the power supply might have been not supplying the right voltage. All right. So in order for this to work, I have to change these jumpers. All right, let me just... Oh, Gypsy! Oopsie! Oh, Gypsy! Oopsie! What time is Triple R? I forget. 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, 6 Mountain, 5 Pacific. <laughs> Four the next time zone, three the next, two the next, one the next. And then we're pretty much in the water after that, huh? You know that? Yesterday! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In the water. What time is it now then? It is uh, quarter till seven Eastern. Eastern is 7.43 p.m. It's uh, 3.43 Pacific time. All right, it's it's 6.43 Eastern. 6.44 Eastern now. 6.45, 7, 8, 9. Ha-ha! Fine! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do math when 7, 8, 9. Two more years until you're dead. Ha, ha, ha. Really, Justin? <laughs> really? That's that new math. Yeah. And one... That, that was that uh, common core math, I think. That's dumb. I should just remove these jumpers and put oh, the ones that have the nice handles on them to make it easier to switch them, but whatever. I get to make a keyboard encoder, which means that thing I just put away, I've got to get out of here. Yay! Cool! So, Joe, how's your weather station uh, thing going? Have you made any progress on it? I have or? made no progress because I've been busy oh. doing other things that involve my financial security. I see. Like designing a, a new boards that I was to release that then somebody went and said, hey, we're doing that exact same thing Joe's doing, but we beat him to it. That made me Oh. Oh. That's fine. Well, I mean, it's... The, the VGA card, you mean? Yeah. I'm like, well, poopy. You could still make it and call it Blue VGA. That'll sell. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Now, I think uh, Trina said she was going to stream on Christmas Eve on the 24th. Um, yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, I will be there. She said, she, she said she's doing a 12-hour stream. Yeesh. I'll be with family. Yeah, this I, this I got to see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, how, how long did she say she was going to do? A two-hour stream? Tw 12 hour, tw yeah, 12. Hey, Two? There won't be much that. to it to fall asleep early on, forget to invite people, and then it'll just be like... <laughs> like she'll, she'll stream for two hours and call it quits. And see her cats randomly wandering around the... Uh, <laughs> Hi, Trina. I love you. She would... <laughs> <laughs> she would never make a 12 hour stream. She would make even two hours into it and then she'll fall asleep. Eric Randall says she's just going to burn a log for 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a loop. <laughs> a 15 second loop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's that's hilarious. I would love to see her actually survive a 12-hour stream. I wouldn't be there this time around. Cause like I said, I have family coming into town. So I have my uh, two yeah, we, younger sisters we have, and a nephew. So I won't yeah, be we around. Have, we have stuff going on that day. So, yeah, that's yeah, why. I have... I have that Saturday, Sunday, Monday off because Monday's Christmas, so I have those three days off. So I won't. I'll be with family those oh, days. Oh, I have I have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off. Hey. I don't have yeah. Tuesday. I, I got to go back to work on Tuesday, which is going to stink because it's going to be a lot of companies be like, my stuff is broken and you people are off. <laughs> You're not humans. You're robots. Serve me. And you're like, please hold for the next available representative. And you... Beep. Time to hang up. Because you're a jerk. <laughs> so anyway, uh, power to her. I hope she's able to do that. She and, uh... <laughs> I have no faith. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn that off. It's hard to listen to like five different streams at once. Then uh, I didn't. I turned. I turned. I just have the poker in this one now. <laughs> poker, I can just mute because it's just commentary. I can just watch the cards on the screen. Wow, there's 293 people left out of 3,800 people on day three wow. of this tournament. Well, that's a that's a lot of people uh, uh, that started out. Wow. Yeah, it's a forty. This is forty million dollar tournament. Wow. But the top, the number one winner, obviously, they got to pay out to a certain degree of people. Right. So I think the so top, what's, it's a five million, I think, for the top. Yeah. So what's the um, the breakdown of the prize? I mean, well, they obviously you get the bit, the big prize, but what's the? Uh... Uh, that I have no idea. I just started oh, watching okay. this stuff. I've only been watching this stuff for like about a week. Yeah. I just found it one day. It's like, oh, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Have you guys ever watched snooker tournaments? A what tournament? Snooker. I have no idea what that is. So it's no. like hyper English billiards. That would be a definitely no. Like they wear suits and ties and and like everybody has to be quiet and there's like specific uh, rules for behavior and like it's pretty cool. That sounds like In color. other words, it's golf. Yeah, but it's <laughs> golf and suits. <laughs> Uh, four. A golf game takes like eight hours. A snooker a snooker tournament takes like thirty minutes. Then you got the poker tournament, which takes like five five six days. Thirty minutes isn't long enough of a nap for me. <laughs> yeah, I always wondered why they never had professional putt putt golf. Professional putt. I think you'd really get a lot of traction with that because people would die laughing. Professional mini right? golf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We like to call it putt putt. Isn't that called golf with your friends? <laughs> on, 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 on the online version? Uh, I don't Only know. if you get paid to do it. Yeah. Can you imagine? Like, you have a YouTube channel, right? <laughs> and you, you, you're just like the world's most popular uh, golf with friends player. And so on your resume, you're like professional putt putt golf player. <laughs> Because you get paid by YouTube to play the video game on the internet. For all I know, there is a professional putt putt. I'm sure I could be. You probably ha have putt putt tournaments all over the world. Yeah. Last putt putt tournament I had is when I went to Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yay! I think it's going to start Windows. Nice. Oh, and you can't see it because I forgot to turn. Camera switch. There we go. Actually, it's quite snappy. That's good. As long as well, are you running nine, Windows break. 98 on there? Uh, it's Windows 3.1. Oh, 3.1. All right, let's see if the advanced logic setup program will work. Snappy solitaire. The whole reason I installed Windows is so I could install the sound drivers because the DOS installation program didn't want to work. 
and then you delete the Windows directory and you're done. Yeah, I could. Or I could just leave Windows installed. If it works. Hey, Eric, that's what you that's what you should do uh, is make on your hypercard, make the the Yule log, the burning Yule log. <laughs> <laughs> I could. Justin, <laughs> oh, that'd be that'd be hilarious. <laughs> I'll do that as my um, my uh, I'll be back screen for uh, yeah. for next week. Or oh, there the you go. Record. Yeah. Yeah. Justin, if the That'll machine be... did not originally come with Windows 3.1 on it, is it right to install it? I don't know what version of Windows originally came with it, if any. I just cut capacitors instead of resistors like a dupe. Hi. <laughs> Take a break, Joe. Well, maybe no one will notice. Oh, wait. Joe already noticed. Never mind. Uh, I took a break by sleeping in until 2.30 in the afternoon. Take another break, Joe. Yeah, no. Take a Kit Kat break. Get out the door. People will be grumpy. Speaking of financial yeah. security, oh. Is that resistor? What the hell? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, here. Ten. Fault. Do. Oh, my. There. Resistor doodles. Resistor doodles. Juicy juice. Drink it, then convert it to something there I can't stand the stream. That's a that's yeah. a happy cat. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> She's a little out of focus there. <laughs> She's a sleepy head. Yeah. Interesting. I believe this sound card does not work on a two eighty six. Don't. At least the drivers don't. We guess it uses 386. <laughs> Probably, because I just installed the Windows drivers. It created the Windows program group, and then I saw that the screen <laughs> resolution changed, and I'm now staring at a black screen with no flashing cursor. It crashed the kernel. Yes, Thomas, there is a retro roundup tonight. Yes. Yep. Retro repair roundup tonight at 8 p.m. We're going to hang out. And have our final one of the year, and it's going to be holiday themed or something. I guess <laughs> I don't know. Trina's what? Trina's is the one who plans all of the time. Of course, she's That's not funny. around to confirm anything. I mean, yeah. she's not around to deny anything either. That's true. Yeah. All right. Tans so what if... Drink it, then burn it to food. All right. There we go. Hi, Mims. Testing memory. Smart oh, drive. Yep, I believe it has crashy crashed. Houston, we Thomas, have a problem. Tom, we have crashed. Thomas says, "Is it a rum and coke roundup?" <laughs> no, no, it's a rum, rum and eggnog roundup. I should really should go out and get some egg before the show. Ah, same. Me too. We have an hour before, right? So, if I actually really cared about egg dog, I probably would. But I'll stick with a beer. All right. Well, I guess this. What in the world? The sound card will drink though. Because I'm probably gonna have a shower before the next stream. Cause... Yes. Showers are good. Yeah, cold shower. Okay, not so good. <laughs> Cold shower in the winter. Do we, like, do we like really would... get going that much that you need to take a cold shower? I mean, I always have a cold shower. You are weird. Yep, I'll agree with that. I, I, I tried to a scalding hot shower. shower. I, I, good I did try it. the cold shower thing. It's supposed to be really good. It is supposed to be good for um, yeah. inflammation and stuff like that. No, I I just couldn't do it. <laughs> No. 
Yeah. It's cruel and unusual punishment. The water yes. coming out of tap here is 54 <laughs> degrees. I moved from Maine for a reason. I even tried just doing the, you know, turn it to cold for the last, you know, 30 seconds or something. It's actually really bad for you to have it really hot. Yeah. Well, give it to well, me. it's not really hot, but it's yeah, very it's warm. Hot. Make my skin pink. No, that that is bad for you. You're right. How is that bad for you? Uh, well, for one, it dries your skin out. It's not just that. If you like, well, if, you, body if you suffer with blood pressure issues as well, it's not good for you. Yeah. Hasn't hurt well, me yet. Over I'm on for blood pressure. Hmm. And there's Thomas a lot of people that Eric. don't realize they have uh, blood pressure issues either. Is the thing Joe is building on his website yet? What this thing right here we, that I'm building right now? Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah. This is a keyboard. Yeah. I think this was literally the first product I ever had. Uh, so I Eric, the answer that question is yes. Oh, Eric Rangel, not the Eric in here. So that would be a resounding yes. Yes, absolutely. You might have to sort of define what thing is. There's lots of. <laughs> that's what. It's just yeah, like. One, yeah. I would have to guess that's what he's talking about because that's the only thing Joe's building right now. It is a thing. Yeah. I think it's almost time to shade the sides off again and get itchy. Yeah, we've got our final minute to go. What? Yep. No, no pressure. What? I got a minute 10. Okay, I'm being exact because it's on the stream. You forget I'm in the future. Yeah, but it's on the stream. <laughs> yeah, he can he tell says, the future. He yeah. says, where does he buy that uh, thing with Boo Bat? Well, funny you should ask it, Thomas. Uh, you can get that at uh, Joe's website right there. JCM-1.com. And buy now. There you go. Buy them all. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no promo code for now. Yeah. Well, maybe they'll be. Yeah. Thank Thanksgiving's all gone. No turkey code. But That's Christmas right. is coming up in a week. There should be yeah, a Christmas, Christmas coupon code. Joe, Joe, Joe. <laughs> Joe. Christmas coupon code. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, that was bad. Uh oh, what did you do, Joe? Oops. Look at all the solder bridges. Uh oh. Yeah. Solder wick. Wow. That's what it's yeah. for. Oops, it's solder easy. wick. Solder wick. Does what a on, spider wick does. Yeah. So on that note, yeah, we're going to uh, end I'm the stream. No. So, yeah, time to end it. <laughs> yep. So uh, anyway, hey, thanks everybody for being here. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Appreciate all the people that's been in all the, all the chat all of this uh, the, today. And I'd like to thank mm -hmm. our fine f friends here that has been hanging out all day with us. So. Uh, I'd like to thank Martin, Frederick, Jason, Garth, Gutbaum, Eric, Joe, Justin, and Adam. So thank all of you for joining in. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me. Thank you. You're absolutely welcome. Always love Martin, where can, where can people find you at? They can find me on Discord. <laughs> they can find me on X. <laughs> they can also find me on Blue Sky. Mm -hmm. And on YouTube at Macintosh Unboxed UK. All right. And uh, Frederick, where can people find you? Uh, people can find me on YouTube, but uh, Micro, Micro Hobbyist. Find me on Discord also, Micro Hobbyist, and uh, Twitter, Micro underscore Hobbyist. And uh, website is still not up yet but it's uh, retro homebrewcomputers.com but eventually they'll have a, a nice little page now that i have my first video uh, of the new series I'll, I'll put something there eventually some sort of blog cool yeah yes yeah, very good i'm and, sure uh, there's other places where they can find me but i just don't keep track <laughs> hey joe where can people find you <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Joe of Joe's Computer Museum. I do all them types of cool things. I do shorts, videos sometimes, and also make a whole bunch of really old, cool stuff to keep your old computers working, like blue scuzzies and keyboard encoders and all of that stuff. You can find me by going to jcm-1.com or these little link doodles down here in the lower right. And since everybody is doing it, I'll do it. 
And then there we got we got the little rubber ducky over, over there. And Eric, where can people find you? At? <laughs> well, you can you can find me under the rubber duck. No, I mean uh, you, can, you can find me at uh, Eric's Edge videos at YouTube, and I'm on uh, Big Bang Dot Social, Eric's Edge. That's pretty much it. Yeah. And on fine streams like these. Oh, thank you, Eric. Very kind That's of you. That's way to... <laughs> and, and, and Justin, where can, where can people find you at? There you go. <laughs> well, you can find me not refusing a googly eye glasses challenge. <laughs> See, Martin started it and I realized, oh, I know where mine are. You can also find me on YouTube at JDMCS where Tuesday I will be having my 25th anniversary domain anniversary stream. So I'll be working on the 2CX. Uh, you can find me on X at JDMCS. You can find me on Mastodon, JDMCS at bitbang.social. You can find me on Blue Sky at JDMCS. You can find me on Instagram or Threads at Justin D. Morgan because I think I might have figured out why I can't get my usual handle on Instagram and somehow someone managed to get it first, I think. So apparently, or, or the yeah, ads weird. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm Justin D. Morgan on Instagram and threads. So maybe I need to stop hating on meta for hate. Um, it may not be them disliking short usernames. And Jason, where can people find you at? Uh, I can't, they can I can't find get me. this to work. Well, that's pretty much the only thing I really <laughs> check is, uh, you know, Starbuck Tech on Twitter. That's pretty much the only one I really check. I'm on the, the BitBang. I'm on the all the other stuff, too, the Blue Sky. But I never even go to those things. It's just pretty much Twitter, um, Starbuck Tech. I do not have a YouTube channel, but I do like to hang out with you guys anyway. Oh, we appreciate it. And uh, you can find me uh, on uh, Twitter, Mastodon. Uh, you can find me on uh, Blue Sky. You can find me on MeWe. Those uh, fine. Uh, he missed bit bang. We call them. Those uh, uh, what do they call them those days? I guess social uh, media. Social media. Thank you. Social media. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. Yes. The media. And, social. Uh, yeah. Appreciate it. And hey, Christmas is upon us. If you need a fine multimeter, get your Kiwis KN601. You can save fifteen percent off of all Kiwis products. So hey, don't delay. Get yours today. There you go. It's better than saving money on your car insurance. Absolutely. We're switching to Geico. And we, we made, have we have a we tires. have a uh, <laughs> we have, <laughs> we have <laughs> okay. Uh, we also have a uh, store, so you can get propaganda like this here. Uh, propaganda. You want a yellow Mac <laughs> Plus? There, you can get it right there firsthand. You can drink out of it every morning too. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have a coffee account if you want to donate to the channel. Uh, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. The YouTube algorithm likes that. I like that. And uh, I believe that's going to be a wrap. So anyway, I will not be streaming on Christmas Eve, uh, Sunday the 24th. Uh, Trina supposedly said she was going to do a, a, a live stream and supposedly 12 hours. We'll see. You can confirm that tonight on Virtual Roundup. <laughs> It's a 12-minute stream. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's more like it. <laughs> so we'll, we'll give her the benefit of the doubt. We'll see if she can uh, do that there. So, But anyway, so let me get rid of all this stuff that's uh, streaming across the thing with Jiggy here. But anyway, yeah. So anyway, really appreciate each and every one of you for hanging out. We will be streaming on the 31st, uh, and we're all going to be doing a kit build. Well, maybe not all of us, but some of us are going to be doing it. Uh, I'll be building yeah. kits. Blue scuzzy kit. <laughs> well, that will qualify <laughs> too. So there you go. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you very much. We'll see you guys. Have a merry, merry Christmas, a great uh, New Year, which will be here on New Year's Eve. Uh, share all the love with your friends, your loved ones, and uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye. 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 me